Hey, what's up? Um, so I'm back. I just talked for the last two minutes and none of you could hear me. <laughs> so that's very cool. God damn it. <laughs> oh man, the whole VOD is messed up now. Man, I was trying to do all the right things in regards to like how you start the stream. Hello, what's up? If you skipped the last two minutes because I wasn't talking, welcome. We're trying to find messages on the bottle because they're really good right now. Anyway, my PC crashed. We're back now. <laughs> Oh my god, what a day. Uh, yeah, so what happened? Um, my CPU was broken. And I can't afford to replace it right now. Uh, but it hasn't ever crashed in Sea of Thieves. It hasn't ever crashed on a live stream. And I think it's because I was streaming a uh, higher bitrate than usual. So usually on Twitch I do 6500. Oh, god damn it. Um, on 1080p, and I tried to stream at uh, 24,000 on uh, 1440p. So I think I just, I mean, I really don't have it. I need to, I need to find a way to uh, replace that CPU. Well, welcome back. Um, as you can see, I'm struggling to find this, even though I feel like I'm on the right path. Oh, this is not the right piece of land. Don't tell me I'm on the wrong side. Um, compass. I'm so confused. Yeah, this is supposed to be looking so... Hold up. How do I get the shovel? Uh, I think Twitch drops. By the way, chat, for those of you who are new to the whole, like, me live streaming thing, um... We stream occasionally on twitch.tv slash Kotherios, and because we are a Sea of Thieves partner, uh, roughly once a month... Such dramatic music for something that you can just one-shot. Uh, there's something called Twitch Drops. Basically, when you connect your Twitch account to your, um, to your Sea of Thieves account, to your Microsoft account, uh, you can get free stuff, like, once a month. And the next time is gonna be, I think, the 9th of February? Through to the 11th, I think. So yeah, if you want to get some free stuff, um, like free in-game cosmetics, feel free to follow me on Twitch. Because I don't do it on YouTube for some reason. Why not live streaming on Twitch? Well, not everyone has Twitch. As you can see in the chat. A day after my birthday is cool. Consider it a delayed birthday present. I love your videos, never been able to catch you live, or well, welcome in, Henrik. First try. <laughs> do you play Sea of Thieves every day? No, I don't. I would burn myself out if I did. Just got back into Sea of Thieves. Nice, Jack. Hope you're having a good time. I miss this game. I mean, the game is not gone. You can, you can still play it. I'm just gonna stop picking up random stuff. Why not? Don't you guys have Twitch? I don't know. Like, I'm pretty sure uh, the functionality is there to give drops on YouTube. I, I don't know why they're not doing it. Um, specifically, Rare. I don't know why Rare's not doing it. Maybe because they... I Okay, here's the thing. I'm going to sound like a little salty YouTuber here for a second. Because... There's no way for me to say this without sounding salty. <laughs> it's just like... Uh, I saw the multi-stream to Twitch, I think TikTok, Facebook, and, and YouTube. And they paid zero attention to YouTube. Like, they were making a mocking of YouTube. Like, oh, YouTube streaming is not a real thing. Oh, yuck. And I'm just like, homie. Like, literally, YouTube pulls in twice the viewership of Twitch. YouTube is massive. Like, you're underestimating how massive our platform YouTube is. Streaming is huge on YouTube. And you're not taking it seriously because it's not the proper platform. I really hate that. I just like, again, no way for me to, I'm, talk, I'm trying to talk about, about numbers, right? It's just like factual, it's just numbers. But there's no way for me to talk about this without sounding egotistical. Um, but my YouTube channel in viewership dwarfs the biggest Sea of Thieves Twitch channel. Like it's not even it, like a comparison. So it's like your biggest creator is literally on YouTube and you're still not taking it seriously. And that's just, that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate because I feel like 
if they leaned into it a bit more, uh, and if they leaned into like influencer marketing, the game could be really, really big. Not that it's not big right now, but it could be even bigger. E2 drops are usually really freaking bugged, so that's probably why I usually struggle to actually give the drops in time. It's really weird. I see. That's the Sia that I know. <laughs> What's up, Sia? I saw another Sia earlier. Like Pirates of the Caribbean? I'm fine with it. I'm fairly indifferent. I see Pirates of the Caribbean kind of the same way I see like Star Wars or Lord of the Rings. I'm not crazy about it. I don't hate it. It's there. The best emissary. You've asked this question 11 times now, monkey. I, I already answered. The best, in my opinion, the best emissary is uh, Reaper. Simply because you can sell any piece of loot to them. Yeah, it's me. What's up? Uh, I do not want to do that, Maple. I'm gonna make videos on stuff that I, I'm excited about and stuff that I, you know, want to cover. And I'm not excited about that game. And I know somebody else is gonna ask, no, I'm not excited about Skull and Bones. <laughs> the only way you get me to play Skull and Bones is, is if they pay me. And I'd probably not do it on YouTube, I'd, I'd probably do it on Twitch. Um, like, I've played Black Flag, and I liked Black Flag. Do I need an entire game that is basically Black Flag's ship combat? Probably not. I can probably do without that. I think the reason that I really like Sea of Thieves and I'm not excited for Skull and Bones, even though, I mean, it could be a perfectly fine game, I don't know. Um, it's because I don't like the idea of being like an omnipotent god that controls an entire crew and a ship. I just want to be a guy on a ship, you know, like first person, like Sea of Thieves. Be a guy on a ship. I don't know why everyone says it will kill CLTs. It's because people don't understand target demographics. <laughs> people don't understand that the kinds of people that play CLTs are very different from the kinds of people that play uh, Skull and Bones. The target audience is completely different. It's 70 euros? Sheesh. Yeah, if there's one thing CLTs does really well, it's immersion. You're absolutely right. The best weapon combo for P PvP? Well, in any PvP scenario, um, you know, taking people out faster, you know, high TTK, time to kill. Uh, sorry, low TTK is always the best. So anything that kills the fastest will be the best weapon combo. And in Sea of Thieves, that happens to be a blunderbuss eye for each. That doesn't mean you can't win games or you can't win fights with other weapon combos. You absolutely can. We have done it. Um, but yeah, if you want to look for the absolute best loadout for PvP specifically, that is going to be blunderbuss eye for each. Uh, Prophet, never duo on a Brigantine. I know it lets you do that, but the boat was designed for three people. Never ever duo on a Brigantine. The moment any, like, a solo slooper could take you out on a Brigantine. Because you can't repair and bucket the thing fast enough to counteract the damage that you're taking. You need the three people. I like the sword, uh, because... You guys know me. I, I like doing a little bit of everything, and I will usually adjust my weapon loadout depending on like what I'm doing. Um, so you know, you'll see me double gun when I fight the other double gunners because uh, it makes it easier to take them out. Uh, I will usually sword against other people that use sword because it just works better for me. Um, but because I like to do everything, uh, I don't want to shoehorn myself into a loadout that makes PVE miserable. And the sword is just the best thing for PVE. Because you don't need ammunition, right? You can sword dash a bunch of, a bunch of AI at the same time. So... Oh, we have a super chat! Is that five Australian dollars? Always happy to uh, always happy to be here. You are my favorite YouTuber. Have some money. Thank you, Kermit the Frog. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. How would you suggest getting good at the game? Uh, my opinion is always if you want to be good at something, like you got to just do it. Right? So it's like, the question is, what part of CLTs do you want to get good at? If it's PvP, then go do PvP. The more PvP you do, the better you get. The hell? Dude, this UI is so weird. So I'm still... Uh, I'm also- I see, I'm so not used to the YouTube UI. 
We do not do the live streams on YouTube very often. Am I just out of reach? You've got to be kidding me. No, it's just out of reach, but we can fix this. How long did it take to finish 100 Merchant? Uh, oh, how long was that? Like three days of streaming, I believe? I think it was three days. A little something something. Not too much, but got some here. Got cooking. Supplies. I love the new bottles. I once got a Reaper bounty from one. Yeah, we found one the other day as well. I wish I could find any of them today. <laughs> Let's go to a Rapier K Southeast. To be fair, we got a little sidetracked by uh, <clears throat> the blue screen. Your video sent me through my sickness last week. Hey, glad to hear that you're feeling better now. I'm glad to know that the content was uh, useful to you. Yeah, Reaper bounties were in old ball quests. Absolutely, yes. You are correct. What are you playing on? PC. He's just a guy in a boat? I mean, I'm just a guy on a boat. What do you think of the new harpoon mechanic? I remember the days of having to take the items off the harpoon. I was not a fan of it at first, because there's this like kind of gameplay economy, right? Where like, you take treasure and getting the treasure is kind of tedious and it takes time to give other people a chance to catch you before you can sell, right? Like, that's the whole gameplay loop. You get treasure, you fight other people trying to take your treasure, and then whoever wins gets to sell it. Uh, and I was like, oh, this is gonna, like, expedite the whole process, and people are not gonna have a chance to, like, catch you anymore. But I've really come to uh, appreciate not taking 18 years <laughs> to collect loot anymore as somebody who predominantly plays solo. What is the box of Wonder Secrets? It is the rarest item in the game. And you guys know, if, I'm, if I ever find it, there's gonna be a video or a short with the title, The Rarest Item in Sea of Thieves. Hey, have a good night, Capybara. Thanks for dropping by. Are you doing messages and bottles today? That's an astute observation, Python. <laughs> astute observation. Is repairing a ship needed when it takes damage? Yes, absolutely. If you mean like restoring it at the shipwright? No, that's just cosmetic. Isn't it easier to anchor and unanchor than just to stay unanchored? What do you mean by that? Is it to anchor and then instantly unanchor? Well, yes. Sure. You can absolutely do that. You mean to like stop your momentum? Yeah. The mistake people make is that they don't unanchor. <laughs> They're just like, okay, anchor down. Uh, I can go now. And then they get like attacked by somebody and they can't leave because their anchor is done. So yeah, you can totally just stop your momentum with it. Um, but make sure you pick it back up. Uh, do you think you will record other games in the future? I'm sure I will. Um, the thing with other games is that the way my brain is kind of wired is that I always hyper-focus on, like, at most a couple games at a time. Uh, I'm not a variety gamer. I don't just play a little bit of everything. I always, like, go deep on whatever I play, and I spend a lot of time on it. Um, if I ever came across a game that gave me that same satisfaction as Sea of Thieves, and the videos get the same or more views than Sea I would absolutely do that. Um, just don't get me wrong, it's important that the views are there so I can continue making a living. Otherwise, there's going to be no videos at all. But right now, there just aren't any games that really kind of scratch that itch that Sea of Thieves scratches. So rather than looking for other games, I'm very invested in Sea of Thieves being the best version it can be so I can play for as long as possible. Uh, yeah, Jolly, they do have uh, different loot pools now. The crates, they are called PvP crates, actually, colloquially, anyway. Because um, they have, like, cursed cannonballs, cooked food, and chain shots in them, which PvPers really, really like. I wouldn't say it's, like, mostly them, but, yeah, you can find them now. 
<laughs> Kermit with another. Oh, sorry, I was reading from up top. Uh, play Subnautica for eight dollars? No, <laughs> I'm not playing Subnautica. Uh, I've already watched a playthrough. But thanks for the two uh, two bucks. There's a new season. Yes, yes, season eleven. It's so good. How do we find three Ashen captains, but not a single regular captain and not a single message in a bottle? What is happening? Rare. I'm trying to show these good people the wonders of the message in a bottle. I've also played Raft already. I'm not really looking for like game recommendations. I just I play whatever I feel like playing. You know. Dude, this season's really good. Really, really good. You're too lucky for your own good? I'm not really I'm not really looking for uh, Ashen Captains, so I don't know that I would consider that lucky. Find another one of these. Unfortunately, no message. We can make it work. It's the best ship. I think nothing beats the vibe of uh, of the galleon. Here's the thing. I like the I I like sloops and galleons a lot, but for different reasons. The only ship I don't like is the brigantine. Where did I put the key, by the way? <laughs> Has to be somewhere around here, surely, right? I don't like the brigantine. Just like. I don't know, man. Like, mechanically, I don't like how it's, like, by far the fastest ship in the game. That's really annoying. I don't like how it's made of paper mache. Double the balloon pouch. Shoosh. There's nothing I enjoy about the Brigantine. Absolutely nothing. The only reason I play in the Brigantine is because it's a three-person ship. And I usually play in a group of three. Um, but the Galleon, the vibes are immaculate. The Sloop is really fun. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much what I just don't like the Brigand King. Mm, Crescent Isle, Southwest. We will find at least one message in about this <laughs> this stream, trust me. We can always just hop onto a different server if we don't find anything. Okay, it's so a Skelly, thank God. Isn't the Brig objectively the best ship in the game? No, not really. It's objectively the fastest ship in the game. How's they going? Besides my little blue screen, it's going pretty okay. Thanks for asking. What? You don't like going Mach 4 into a rock? <laughs> Turns out, no. Not the biggest fan of that. What island is that? Oh, that's Smugglers, isn't it? I'm like looking at the map 17 times. I'm looking at chat. I'm forgetting where I'm planning to go. No, that is Chris now. You just go west. Do you think they should add a feature to change your ships at an outpost so you can have more people join mid session? I would enjoy that. Um, I would take that one step further because we have so much like server hopping technology now between um, Hourglass and the quest table. It'd be cool if we had basically like player housing or guild housing and we could dive uh, dive into the ocean like you do with the quest board and then show up at our guild house where we can like hang out with our guild mates and then change ship sizes. That would be really cool, but probably really technically demanding. I'm not a developer, uh, but that would be really cool. You should think there should be a five-man ship. No, not really. I think there should be more variations of the ships that are there in the game right now. I can guild hideout, yeah. Can't believe I was timed out for you so long by YouTube to chat here. Sorry about that. <laughs> we do, uh, we do the strict moderation setting. Um, 
Because we're trying to foster a, a community that is pleasant to be around. Uh, I do apologize for the inconvenience, but it's just part of the job. Why do you put the treasure here? It's it's kind of like an old remnant of back in the day where there wasn't sovereigns. Um, I would dock, I would like run into a dock and I would just like throw my loot onto the dock like this, which would be faster than if it was anywhere else on the ship. Is that another Ashen Captain? There's no way, chat. How the hell? How the hell? What are your thoughts on dual wielding swords, flintlock, or being able to dye clothing? Uh, dyeing clothing would be pretty neat. I don't know about new weapons necessarily. I might just be salty because like hit registration is really bad, to be honest. I'm not gonna waste cannonballs on this guy. I don't know, it's it's one of these things where like I don't know how crazy I am about them adding new weapons as long as hit registration is not fixed, but then again, they're not gonna ever fix hit, re hit registration, so they might as well add new weapons. So yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit conflicted. I think just like from a pure content perspective, it'd be cool to have other weapons. I don't know where I would land uh, balance-wise. Oh, you tried out Hourglass. Ooh, boy, howdy. Uh, last time we played Hourglass, tell you what, man. Um, I did a whole day of Hourglass. I say a whole day. It was like four and a half hours. I think we did 17 matches, and I got my teeth kicked in for all of, all of them but four. So out of 17 matches, I won four, and two of them were handed to me. <laughs> so... I'm so bad at PvP in this game, I could only legitimately win two of my 17 matches. <laughs> One of them, the guy was like, oh, my anchor is bugged, I can't interact with my anchor. Yes, that is a bug. You can't interact with some stuff on your ship sometimes. Um, so he was like, you can have the free win. And another guy was just like, lost farming. So, if there's a surefire way for me to have a bad time in Sea of Thieves, it's doing Hourglass solo. The 10 matches and I won one and came across a gold-looking ghost. Dude, you... That is so unlucky. <laughs> that is so unlucky. The gold curse, the gold ghost curse takes a thousand levels in... Uh, what are they called again? Swims of the Flame and... Guardians of Fortune. It takes a thousand levels in Guardians. God. Australian servers are whack. Yeah, I, I believe it. Uh, there's actually, I believe Nessie is Australian, right? Nessie does? Let me check. Nessie... Oh, what's the... Uh, what's the tag again? I forgot. But there's like an insane PvP or um, Australian PvP or called Nessie. I'm sure they would have some tips, <laughs> probably. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, dude, I went all the way over there. I was I, I was checking for uh, for messages in the bottle. I forgot to dig up this thing. Let me check this beach real quick. Canoe and balls. Storage crate. Let's find a bunch of supplies, huh? The Cave of Wonders? That's one way to put it. Fastest way to get peace balls. I mean, it's always going to be RNG. Uh, but technically, if you find a skelly ship that shoots peace balls, we did that for a video once. I think the video is called The Strongest Cannonball in Sea of Thieves. <gasps> Yo! We finally found one! The Promised Land! At long last! It's a boss. Where the heck? Mermaid's hideaway. Okay, we found one! Hell yeah! Alright, guys. Found our first message in a bottle. It's a boss. Uh, boss quest. I learned a hit drag is a lie and you can make it uh, tell the truth in settings like what? Uh, <laughs> I hate having to explain that to people, but yes, basically you're right. <laughs> Chat, let me explain what he means by this. If you go into settings, I believe it's on HUD. Uh, is it HUD or gameplay? Oh yeah, 
So chat, this is not on by default as far as I know. There's something called server authoritative hit markers. It basically means if you don't have this setting on, the hit markers you get don't matter. <laughs> you get hit markers and that doesn't mean that you hit the person. So if you want to know that you hit the person, you need to turn on server authoritative hit markers. So you only get hit markers when the server says, yes, you hit that. <laughs> and it highlights beautifully um, the problem with Sea of Thieves, which is that hit, re hit registration is awful. Why is that a thing? It's worse because it didn't used to be a thing, believe it or not. <laughs> Uh, James, thank you for the 99 cents. Appreciate that. Uh, Kermit with another two Australian dolls. Video Robot Armada raiding every sea fort. I do gotta do some more uh, robot stuff, but I got so many other content uh, ideas in the work right now. I, I'm working on several projects simultaneously. Um, I don't have time for robot adventures. They're extremely time intensive, uh, and they need to have a really good idea to sell on uh, on a title and thumbnail. Uh, I can't just like be on a robot and expect to get 100,000 views, unfortunately. Okay, let me take a sip of water, make sure you stay hydrated. This game gaslights you. It's more of a technical limitation. I hit a mask five times in a row with a chain shot and didn't take it down. I'm so triggered from hourglass, I'm never touching it again. Honestly, that's what a better dude. I need to be like... Completely honest with you, there's another bug um, that made me stop playing Hourglass. Like, I was on the grind. Dude, the music is, like, so dramatic. So I'm I'm working on a PvP-related video where I play Hourglass, right? And um, I stopped playing because there's a... Chat, listen, there's a bug in this game that basically makes it so you can't interact with anything on the enemy ship. And when that happens, you also cannot see how much damage they have taken. So basically what that means, you could shoot down a mast with chain shots, but visually the mast would still be up. They could be going full sail, and for you, the sail is still up. And also, when you board them, you cannot interact with the anchor, you cannot interact with the wheel, so you can't run them out of bounds, you can't anchor them. Um, you can't interact with the ammo box, so you can't even spawn camp them. Uh, and also, to you, it looks like every single place where there can be a hole in the ship, there is a hole, but there's no water. So you have no idea, and that is literally what made me quit Hourglass <laughs> for the time being. You cannot see how much damage you have done to a ship. Because of that bug. It's literally game-breaking, and it's been in the game since uh, the launch of Season 11. So again, Season 11, really, really good. The bugs, kind of egregious. Almost as egregious as my bad sword dash. Hey, good luck, Coop. Hope it goes well. So it's not like that normally? No. Uh, here's the thing. Hit registration being bad, like, always happens. Um, it's, it's just part of COTs at this point, but the things that you experience are the result of new bugs. It's not usually that bad. Usually I can play a day of hourglass and not want to claw my face off. <laughs> well, if I play with somebody else anyway, uh, solo, I'm probably still gonna want to claw my face off. I'm not good enough at PvP to where I can carry somebody else, so I always need someone to carry me. <laughs> it's basically long and short of it. Uh, let's finish this real quick. Have a little snack. I had to restart my game twice yesterday because I couldn't track with my anchor or the harpoon. Yup, that's another bug. Thank god I've got my curses in the last season. That sounds horrible. Yeah, it's not great, man. Listening to the stream, I surround sound and hearing the sub go crazy. I'm in the kitchen thinking it's a bad all time. <laughs> Sorry about that. <clears throat> Do you double in FIFA from time to time? Not at all. Not even a little bit. I'm not crazy about sports ball. Uh, let me piece down below. Alright, on to Mermaid's Hideaway. Uh, we're probably going to do a pit stop at Sea Dog's Rest. Yeah. Gonna do Sea Dogs Rest, Laguna Whispers, and then Mermaid's Hideaway for our uh, quest. These are so good. I love them.
I think last thing of note is five max ships, not six now. Yep. Yep. Because believe it or not, uh, hit rate was even worse when we hit six ships on the server, and they had to tone it down. The performance of this game is definitely like a whole thing and a half. That is usually why I try to stay away from. Uh, I try to stay away from hourglass. I do enjoy PvP in just uh, in adventure. Because it's not usually quite as sweaty. But yeah, hourglass PvP really suffers from all these problems. By the way, chat, does this stream look fine? Because I'm running 1080p, um, 6500 bitrate right now. Down from like 1440p, 24k. Will you try Skull and Bones? Absolutely not. I've played Black Flag and I like Black Flag, but I don't need an entire game of that, just that ship combat. Only way I would play it is if they paid me to play it, to be honest. This is like full transparency. Trim is fine? Alright, thank you guys. How do we... Did somebody... I can't tell if somebody rang my doorbell or not. Uh, do you think the Skelly Curse is worth a grind? I mean, you Only you can answer that question. Is the Skelly Curse the, worth a grind to you? To me, it wasn't until I came up came up with the idea to make a video about it. Because uh, I... Oh, man. It's so hard to make engaging hourglass content. Because at the end of the day, it's the NASCAR of CODs content. It's like, he's taking a right turn! He's taking a right turn! Oh no! He's taking a left turn! It's horrible! It's just like, it's the same thing over and over again. Right? And I hate doing the same thing over and over again. It's so boring. Uh, but I finally came up with a with an idea that I think would make for a compelling story uh, involving me trying to get to the scout curse. Can you try the max level merchant uniform? You know what? I will endorse you this one time. This one time chat room because it's a really nice uniform. I even bought new uh, emotes. I know the lighting is not great right now. In fact, it's really bad, actually. What do you have your lights turned on at night? Everyone sees you? Because it's dark and I like seeing things. That's another one of those, like, new player myths. Not myths, but, like, things that new players do. Uh, let me, let me, you know, let me, let, allow me to let you in on a secret, okay? Um, anyone that you should be scared of seeing you will see you with the lights on or off. People that need to see your lights to spot you are not dangerous. You're literally just making sure that you're having a worse experience by virtue of not being able to see anything. Trust me, chat. If they need the lights to spot you, they're not dangerous. What's your least favorite world event? Probably Fort of Fortune. Ugh, just bullet sponge the video game. I really like it. I enjoy Ashen Winds, and I know the Ashen Lord is the last boss of the Fortune. I know, I get it. Uh, I enjoy Ashen Winds because you can learn the encounter, and you can get better at it, and you can optimize it. Uh, our record for finishing Ashen Winds is 3 minutes and 40 seconds, because we got better at it. Um... But like all the other ones are just like bullet sponges. We're gonna have to uh, ask these guys to leave. Our island, that's our parking, because that's where our boss is. Oh, they added a new uh, cosmetic for you? Hold up. Let me see the merchant ledger. No, I'm not even at the lantern yet. Ooh, it's so good. Damn, you're right. I've done nothing for merchant. You need to buy Sea of Thieves, the company, and fix everything, please. <laughs> Bro, I can't afford a new CPU. You think I can buy the company? <laughs> my, my PC just a blue screen because my CPU is broken. I can't afford rare. Microsoft just bought Activision for like 69 nice billion dollars. 
Uh. You're saying that glass bottle has more value than literal treasure? You get literal treasure from bottles. <laughs> this is the point I'm trying to make. You get, like, actually good treasure from bottles. Um, that's not a captain ship. That might be a new player. I'm not gonna harass him if he doesn't want to fight. If he comes back to fight, I will definitely fight him. Uh, but he seems like he doesn't want the tents. Uh, we have played Lethal Company, actually, Beast. Um, we played it on Twitch. I don't know if the VOD is still up. It was super fun, though. I played with uh, Candy and Boom. <laughs> Thank you for the $2, Silverhead. <laughs> this will help buy Sea of Thieves. <laughs> Thank you so much. Appreciate it. <laughs> All right, gamers. Oh, we have a robot. Again, no attachment, unfortunately. Ow. Um, no, wait. Wait, 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 wait. What stonefish is that? A wild stonefish. Damn it, it's not a proper bad one. So before I face this boss, I'm gonna wander blunderbuss. Purchase company! I got two Australian dollars. <laughs> I do not understand the physics of this game. Don't worry, neither do I. All right, by the way, chat room, um, I know the last video was all about us acquiring new drip, but uh, we have a new outfit for this season slash year. Um, what do you think about it? I graded out of 10. How do you enjoy this? Oh, me. Are you seriously asking me if I'm playing safer seas while I'm looking at another ship? <laughs> I'm sorry, but like... 8, uh, 9.5, a 6, Ooh, a 10, 9 out of 10, 8, cliff out of 10, 9, 9, 0, come on, man. Did I see a 6.9 there? Oh, there's a lot of you guys. Oh, there's a lot of chatting. Oh, God. Nice drip. Thank you. <laughs> oh, there's so many of you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> a Christian with another two Australian dollars. See if he's fun. <laughs> Thank you, Christian. Oh, God. Chat, chat, if you ever wonder why I stream more on Twitch than on YouTube, this is one of the reasons. I get so overwhelmed. There's so many more of you in the in the YouTube chat than the Twitch chat. Uh, but again, like just to reiterate what we talked about before the stream crashed. Uh, guys, I want to I want to do my best. I want to try and commit to bring you guys content every single week again. Uh, 2023 was really hard because there was nothing to make videos about. Um, so, I'm still not at a point where I can promise, uh, new long-form videos every week. Uh, because my, my projects are getting bigger and more ambitious and they just take more time. Um, but I want to make sure every single week there's gonna be at least a live stream, a short, or a long-form video. So you can be certain that... Oh, God. That's annoying. And I did not bring fire bombs. So you can be certain that every week there will be some content. At the very least, I want to live stream or upload a short every single week. And you guys can hold me to it. The drip of 87. Okay, that's a nice one. Uh, 499 from Jonesy. They can't outbid us all if we consolidate our resources. Do we have 69 billion dollars? I mean, to be fair, that's not what they spent on uh, on Rare specifically. But that's how much they spent on Activision Blizzard King. Now we have nine dollars. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Thank you so much for the four ninety nine. Uh, and a one ninety nine from Fraz. Nine, what? No one ninety nine pounds. Thank you so much. No message. Read you, Fraz. Plus two. Let's go. What happened to Birdie? Uh, Birdie is really busy. Birdie and Brandon have real jobs, <laughs> so they can't always help me with videos, unfortunately. I need to follow me up here soon. Oh, what's up, Clip here? Welcome back. I recognize you from the comment section. This is where I find out there's already a. Uh... Ammo box? No, it's not. Ow. 
So a much easier way to deal with these guys rather than pumping ungodly amounts of ammo into them is to just wally them up like that and then one by one. The best gun for PvP? Uh, Blunderbuss and Eye of Reach is the best combo just because it kills the fastest. Gotta give him a college tuition to buy COTs? Trust me, your college tuition is a better investment. <laughs> It would be cool to be able to use the dry dock at Merrick, uh, you mean New Golden Sands, to change the ship type. And we talked about this earlier. I think what would be really neat would be if they added a guild hideout that you can dive to and change the ship type and like meet with your guild mates. You're really cool. So we can like keep the supplies. Yeah, close stream on that YouTube today. Welcome in. That was Golden Boys again. Whoop. Dude, Shadow Skeletons throughout the day are like so easy because they literally just stand there and let you hit them for the first like three seconds what if they added battle royale mode i don't think we need that i don't think it will be very good Characters close. On Twitch, we have a command for all the items. Unfortunately, I don't have that on YouTube. I need you guys to pile up. Come on, come on. Get together. There we go. Oh. The gun didn't want to shoot that for some reason. You're a small indie company. Too many of you survived that. Did that not deal damage? There we go. Us fighting up here? It's a little inconvenient, but at least I can see the horizon. Uh, I'm very experienced. How come you're just killing skeletons? Oh god! I'm dead. It was nice knowing you guys. I'm stunned! Oh, oh boy, howdy! Uh, I'm on a boss quest right now. I found this in the message in the bottle. And you gotta kill the, the waves first uh, before the boss shows up. I saw my life flash before my eyes chat. Boss o'clock. I just realized having this ammo crate up here is a really bad idea by virtue of him having a push attack. Did he just shoot his own guy? <laughs> this is why I didn't want to be all the way up there when he does that. I guess I didn't really need the ammo box considering there's so much ammo from the skellies. I didn't really think about that. Okay, I have an idea, chat. So he's gonna drop a bunch of loot. Let's try to get him closer to a ship so I don't have to move all of it manually. How many hours have in this game? About 800. Adding new ship skins. Yeah, I do. Honestly, that's an idea that was floating around for a while as well. Um, on stream on Twitch. I do agree, like, ship skins or, like, more variations of existing ship sizes 
like a different kind of galleon, different kind of sloop. A brigantine that isn't annoying, you know, stuff like that. What do you think about the change I made to the Athena's Emissary quest? I haven't done an Athena Emissary quest. What did they change? Which one is skin do we have? This is... Uh, what do they call it again? Um, Gilded Phoenix, I believe? No chat. Work smarter, not harder. And overshoot the boss. Aha! Excellent. Now let's keep firebombs, because we're probably going to do multi -V. Now... This should be in harpoon range, I think. And what's up, veteran? Uh, not too much. We only just found our first message from Bottle, funnily enough. Uh, and we just finished our quest? Alright. So these items, chat, are really valuable. These new effigies are like the new items for the Order of Souls. And they're really, really valuable. I like them a lot. I like all the new loot, honestly. It looks sick. What are those cannons? Oh, I... Sorry, I do not remember what they're called. I think they were from last season's Plunder Pass. I had the gilded... Uh, the golden leaf cannons to match my wheel. But, like, I don't know. Something about the golden leaf just really messed with my aim, I feel like. And one thing we haven't done is actually check the beaches here for messages. So let's do that real quick. Yeah, those are Order of Souls items. Which is probably a bit confusing for new players, now that I think about it. Because usually, when you think Order of Souls, you think... Skulls. Bro, why am I finding so many storage crates everywhere? Alright, thanks for hanging out, Emil. I use the same cannons, they're so clean. I do like them a lot. I just doing the bounties? Uh, I'm trying to find as many messages as I can. That's the whole goal of today's live stream. By the way, thanks for hanging out, everybody. I know I don't stream often, so it's always really humbling to see like how many of you show up to hang out with me. And I know like you could spend your time doing anything, right? Anything more productive, anything more fun, but you choosing to this, you deciding to spend your time here is really appreciated. So thank you guys. Think I'll start downloading Sea of Thieves? Hope you have a good time with it. Again, I do think this is a really good season to start playing. If you haven't played for a while. Uh, dashing! I want to say I love your videos. Thank you so much. Thank you for the kind message and the super chat. I appreciate that. I don't know what currency that is, <laughs> but I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Last time I played was season 9. Ooh. I mean, to be fair, season 9 lasted 9 months. <laughs> so, like, I don't blame you. Uh, but yeah, this is a really good season. I really enjoy it thoroughly. What's the best advice for a returning player? Best advice for a returning player. Huh. I, f I feel like that's a tough one to answer because, like, returning player can mean anything from, like, I played it once for a couple hours to I already have a thousand hours in the game. But I think, I think for most returning players, it's probably just going to be really fun being able to, uh, like, re-experience the game. Like, one thing that's so awesome about Season 11 is that they took content that we haven't looked at with our left butt cheek in years. Like, when was the last time we, we got genuinely excited about diving down to a, uh, to a shipwreck? When was the last time we got excited about messages in the bottle, you know? It's like, or, uh, or Sea Forts. Sea Forts now having better loot. Or skelly forts, even that, it's like, all this stuff that used to be obsolete and doesn't matter, being able to like re-experience that and have that sense of wonder of like, oh my god, new piece of loot, I, I have never seen these before. Do another sip of water, chat. Alex! Broke my leg during skiing, so finally able to catch your stream. Hello from Switzerland, love your videos. Is that the... Do, does Switzerland not use euros? I, I don't know what that currency is, but thank you so much for giving me 10 of it. 
I'm sorry to hear that you broke your leg. I hope you recover quickly. Uh, chat, do we not enable monetization on the stream? Oh, we did enable monetization. Why do I not have monetization enabled? I guess we're not making ad money. Oh well. I can't turn it on right now, so I don't know what to do about that. That would be a good time to insert ads. Thank you, YouTube. I would if you let me. Uh, it's going to be Wanda's Refuge. Or do we want to go south? Do we want to go f further south? Southeast. South by southeast. You read One Piece? I watch One Piece. Hey, thank you, Ali Master. Appreciate that. Glad you're enjoying the content. What's your ship called? The Gilded Horizon. Uh-oh. Any second now. <gasps> Yo! Purple Shrouded! Let's go! Uh, I'm not running an emissary flag right now, no. Yo, chat, it's the Purple Shrouded! Why do I hear boss music? <laughs> Favorite song? In Sea of Thieves? Uh, some of the Megalodon. Why did my... Oh, there you go. My instruments. Skin did not load. But I'm telling you. I'm so, like... <laughs> I'm so glad we can do these YouTube streams. I get to, like, enjoy the music of Sea of Thieves. Because usually when I stream, I also record for YouTube. So I don't get to listen to music. Because I gotta be able to insert that in editing. A veteran with a 20... I think that's Danish? Have my Danish kroners, funny man. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Appreciate that. Thank you for giving me 20 of those. Dude, this music is so good. I love this music. Uh, another currency that I don't know, but 40 of it. Thank you so much. I have a plan of making content for different games. Uh, I'm expecting... Yes? Planning? No. Um, I don't have plans right now for other games, and because there are no other games I'm really excited about. Um, we talked about this earlier on stream. I'm very much like, I'm kind of a one trick. I like playing at most a couple of games at a time. And uh, I'm not much of a variety gamer. So I, I, I'm not the kind of gamer that just like goes and plays a little bit of everything. That's just not me, realistically. Kroner means crowns in Danish. I'm not running an emissary flag because I don't want to put a target on my back. I could do a guild emissary because we're getting like a bunch of mishmash of loot or reaper. But um, at rank 5 guild emissary or rank 1 reaper, uh, you put yourself on the map. And I don't really want to have that today. I just don't feel like dealing with that. Yeah, the single reason I always come back to see of these is because your videos always inspire me to play. You make it look so fun. Well, I hope you're also having fun when you finally do get around to playing it. Uh, five pounds from Jacob. I'll take one rare share when you take over, please. <laughs> uh, is Microsoft publicly uh, publicly traded? I'm sure they are, right? How much is a Microsoft share right now? Chat, find out for me. <laughs> This music is not going to go away, is it? I'm so confused about the monetization thing, by the way, chat. Oh, it's on now! Uh, why is it on now? Why wasn't it on for the last, like... How long have we been streaming? How long have we been live chat? Half an hour? Uh, oh, almost one hour. Oh, wow, time flies. God damn. I'm actually... Okay, chat. Hold up. Can you calm it down a little? I know you're there. You're not the main character. Please, stop. What a drama queen, bro. Anyway. <laughs> what I want to say, uh, I know my streams on YouTube are usually very short. Like, around three hours. But, because I've been streaming more on Twitch, I've built up streaming endurance. <laughs> so, I'm actually expecting to be live for quite a while today. Um... Not gonna do just three hours. 
So I'll be looking forward to the next few hours of uh, us trying to find treasure. Uh, your spy with another 40 over that. This is Indian Kerr. By the way, if it is a unique figure. I hope unique means that you enjoyed them. <laughs> and thank you for the uh, super chat. Indian Kerr. I so do not know currencies. I'm like, is it US dollars or Euro? No? Okay, I don't know what that means. <laughs> I do not know how much it is worth. You missed a bottle? Ain't no way. Hold up. Where? Where? What can is it? Can you make a room tour in your ship? Uh, tell about each part. Uh, yes, I can actually. Did I miss a bottle? Bottle of war? Bro! You're not the main character, stop it! How would you recommend leveling up each faction? It's not the most efficient way, but I would recommend just do whatever you feel like doing. Do what's fun for you. Uh, cause if... Here's how I work. It's if I keep doing only all the most um, efficient things, I get bored. I get bored just doing the same thing all the time, so I mix it up. Sometimes I will do voyages that are not as profitable, or like take me longer because I'm not good at them or whatever, just because it's fun. Um, Windows Ben, thank you for the 10 euro donation. Greetings from Germany. Hello, hello. I have recently reached Pirate Legend. Congratulations! What would be the most efficient way for me to make money solo? As a Pirate Legend, one of the most efficient ways... I'm so sorry about the music, by the way. Uh, Pirate Legend Voyages is the Legend of the Veil. Vale. So that thing guarantees a rank 5 emissary flag. And I think, I don't want to lie, I think it's in the vicinity of 160,000 gold per run. Um, and you can get really good at them. You can get really good at them. Now that you're Pirate Legend and you have access to that, that is something I would recommend. Wow, okay, okay, dude. Shoot like that. Okay, little room tour. Um, so the ship skin, uh, sorry, the ship. Okay, you know what? Let me let me take care of these guys so we can talk about my ship cosmetics. Because I know that on, on Twitch we kind of take this for granted, but I don't stream on YouTube very often. So I do want to address my cosmetics. Because um, I know it's like always interesting. So my ship is called the Gilded Horizon. How to, how to see? The Gilded Horizon. I'm using the hull um, from the Fates of Fortune ship set. So the one where you need 30 chests of fortune. That is the uh, that is the hull. And my ship right now for season 11. Are you serious? You're not him, bro. You're not him. You're not. So. <laughs> Um, there's a theme I'm going with. I, I kind of, if you guys pay attention to the videos, if you watch all the videos, you will notice kind of a character progression, right? So the Fates of Fortune ship set is to reference my um, my Chess of Fortune video with Akai. Um, I have a bunch of trinkets here that reference my videos. The guild videos that I did for the uh, guild coin, the Reaper era of the pre-Pirate Legend um, time on my channel, uh, the Hourglass for uh, the Hourglass launch video that did really well, we got the gold hoarder ship made for the Shores of Gold's tall tale. And we have an empty, it's not really empty, I have like a hatch down there that doesn't really mean anything. Um, and then we got the merchant one, because that's what we end up doing after PL, is a lot of merchant stuff to make money. Um, there are more cosmetics. Uh, the sail, the sail just I use because it matches with the color, but it's also merchant themed. This is merchant emissary ledger, merchant, merchant ambassador sails. And because we're kind of going for like a pompous, like we're rich now, uh, arc like I've 16 million gold, which isn't a lot to some people. It's a lot to other people. Um, because we're kind of going for like the pompous, the like I'm rich now arc of uh, of my character. Uh, I'm taking a lot of gold plated, gilded um, items. So the gold leaf wheel, for example, and I used to have the gold leaf cannons, but I replaced them with these ones uh, because they're just really cool. And uh, the gold leaf cannons, I don't know something about shooting them was just very unpleasant to aim with. Uh, also the gold leaf capstan for that same reason. Uh, I think I have a couple of trinkets. More merchant stuff over here. Merchant banner. Uh, obviously, <laughs> there's a quill. There's a, like this whole writing set in the book. This is because story guy, right? It's in the thumbnail. Uh, sorry, it's in the uh, in the channel art. Um, I got this guy just because it looks cool and it's like it's another message again, like storytelling. And now we got the fish. Because uh, 
My Hunter's Call videos went absolutely gangbusters. And the fish is just to be a reminder for the Hunter's Call videos. And then this, um, this picture, it's just because it looks cool. I'm being intelligent, but it just looks cool. It's like slightly animated. It's sick. So yeah, uh, and then we got a couple lights here and the hat stand. These potions don't really mean anything. I guess this could be a reference to the um, Forgotten Treasure episode. But really, they just look cool. So yeah, a lot of things on my ship have meaning. Not all of them. Uh, but we're adding more stuff as time goes on that like kind of reference all videos. Uh, how long is the Red Ship World Event been in the game? They added it this season. It's the same as a regular Skelly Fleet, but it drops the Chest of Fortune. Name of the cannons? I, I'm, I do not remember the name of the cannons. I'm so sorry. But I think it was last season's Plunder Pass. Get him eventually. How are we just getting so many Ashen Guardians, chat? I want messages. In bottles. What do you get for level 50 Hunter's Call? Oh, God. Um, hmm. So these people are here now. They're full nosing into me. Hello, sirs. Colon slash slash. And the. So I one bolt one of them, and the other one teleported on my ship, and I one shot him. <laughs> oh man! Imagine cheating and still being bad at the game. That's crazy. Uh, we're gonna be looking for a new server chat. <laughs> this server's dead anyway. We haven't found any messages in the bottle. Um, I don't think I, I can dive when they're so close. Just need to get distance from them. How do I get a ship set after I buy my own sloop? I go to the ship right. You can buy cosmetics that you have unlocked. I'm so super 300 hours in the game, any tips to keep me entertained? Well, chat room's usually what keeps me entertained, so... <laughs> not very replicable for a lot of people. Uh, what likes? Thanks for the two... I don't know what that... Thanks for the super chat. <laughs> Love videos, this is my first donation to any. Thank you so much, Web. rather um, inconvenient because I cannot dive with this thing right next to me. Two kegs! I'll take it. just make this as annoying for them as possible. You will not get the satisfaction, my friends. I will keep this one. Now here's the thing, chat. I used to say, uh, with a sloop, you can just sail into the wind. Um, because this, sh this sloop is the fastest ship into the wind, but that's not really true anymore. Because uh, there's always some amount of crosswind that... 
Okay. There's someone of crosswind that um, people can people can get. Okay. Um. Damn, that's crazy. Uh, there's some amount of crosswind that people can always get on a brigantine. It literally does not matter. Damn baby boy, you kind of awful. Better. Okay. Don't give them attention, chat. That's why I've chat turned off entirely fair. Is it still the bottle run? Yep. Fed cheater numbers have increased this season. I think they've increased by virtue of the game being more popular, right? That's probably it. Uh, that's my ship. I mean, it takes a pretty bad player to be cheating and still dying. <laughs> that's just, I'm sorry, but actually I'm not sorry. One of your bozos gets one bolt because you're trying to harpoon me. The other guy flies onto my ship and still gets one shot because he didn't eat like a bozo? Where's your accent from, if I may ask? I made it myself. MTV and video games. No, don't do any, like, mass reporting garbage or whatever, chat. It's fine. Calling script kitties cheaters is overstating. All right, let's move on to it. Let's move on from it. All they want is the attention, because their parents are not giving it to them. We're not here to fix their parents' mistake. It's fine. My chest falling apart as we speak. I really need a new one. Me, but my CPU. <laughs> Unfortunately. Hey, you free the fortunes up again. Yeah, what? God, I hate this NPC so much. It's like, you didn't need to pro uh, program. You didn't need to write this character to be rude. But you decided to do it. You decided to do it. And now we hate her. Mm, am I gonna bobble with cookfoot? I think I will. Later, I suppose. God, she's so unpleasant. So incredibly unpleasant. She might also scam you? Yeah. Somebody in my chat yesterday said, uh... <laughs> they make the game more realistic. NPCs can now scam you out of supplies. <laughs> uh... Oh, you can buy meat? Yeah, as a, with a captain ship, you can uh, buy additional supplies from the shipwright. And they put them di directly into your barrels. Unless they don't. Because <laughs> that is a bug that happens sometimes. Uh, you can get scammed out of your money. But we did get our cannons. And we got our food. Hell yeah. Nice. Thanks, that makes sense. No, you're very welcome. Uh, Akarak? Akarak? I'm so sorry, I don't know how to pronounce his name. But thank you so much for the membership. Welcome in. Welcome to the crew. I appreciate that. I don't have any alerts yet. Also, by the way, chat room, um, you might be seeing me stream more, both on Twitch and YouTube, uh, once my new emotes are done. I'm so... You have no idea how excited I am. So I commissioned an artist to design a mascot for me. And that same artist is going to make a whole bunch of emotes for me. Now, we don't have a lot of emote slots on YouTube, but we have a lot of them on Twitch. Um... So, our mascot is a ferret. A really cute ferret. I saw the first uh, draft of the character design, and I love it. It's so cute. And I'm really looking forward to you guys seeing the, the new emotes. And then, when we have new emotes, the subs are actually going to be, like, worth a damn. <laughs> like, when I stream more often, and, you know... Because right now, it's like, yeah, you can subscribe, like, you can, you can buy a membership, and that supports me, and I'm super thankful for it. But it feels a bit bad for me because it's like, I, there isn't a lot of value to it, right? I don't have any emotes right now, just like generic emotes, placeholder emotes. And I don't stream very often, so it kind of feels like you're throwing money into a fire. Uh, unless the only thing you care about is like trying to support me. Which again, thank you, I appreciate that. But I always try to provide something of value. So I've commissioned an artist to make these emotes for me. And I'm so, so looking forward to finally getting them done. Because they're so good. 
Is the fire going to have your pirate's eye paint? I mean, the ferrets just kind of have that pattern naturally anyway. Like, the color around the eyes is usually a little different before. So, to a degree. Money in the fire, I knew Cliff is hot. I wish. <laughs> By the way, guys, if you have any questions about the game, uh, I know I I don't stream often on YouTube, and I know a lot of you guys don't play the game or you don't you, you don't have a lot of experience in the game. I will try to answer as many as I can. Uh, I hope you can cut me some slack because I'm not used to the chat moving so fast. Because usually my Twitch streams are a lot smaller, a lot more contained. Um, I don't usually have like 900 people watching me <laughs> if it's not drops, uh, and then most people are AFK anyway. But I will try to answer as many questions as I can. Hey, welcome in blue box. Welcome to the stream. That is bug where I can't hear people. My volume's up to 80. Oh, that's something you're gonna have to uh, hit up the forums or uh, customer support about because there's some like finicky stuff with audio in this game. Is it me or is the skeleton Ford very cool? Um, very cool for Order of Souls now. It is. Uh, I do agree with that. Because on top, like if you raid a sea fort, not only do you get Order of Souls specific items, but because you're killing skeletons anyway, you get additional skulls on top. And that's why uh, Ashen Winds and the Skelly Fort are so good for Order of Souls raids. I'm currently playing right now and I have two Ashen Chests. Where do, do I get keys for them? Ah, uh, uh, good question. Because they changed how that works. Usually, if you find an Ashen Guardian on an island, like we found like 10 of them today, um, they will drop a key and they will drop a map with an X marks a spot for the box. If you just find the box, I don't actually know how you can find a key besides uh, sinking skelly ships. What's the best way to make money? The best way, I don't know. What I can tell you is that now a lot of things are viable in Season 11. Uh, basically, Nothing really feels like a waste of time because they have rebalanced a lot of the activities and voyages in the game. So it's basically like, whatever you feel like doing, you will get your time's worth of money for that activity. Uh, but there are some things that if you're like, if you're planning to do a long session that are a lot better. Like for example, stacking Fort of the Damned. Now, the problem with stacking Fort of the Damned is that you will very likely get contested by other players. So that is assuming you are comfortable and willing to uh, PvP those people. And if you're not, then Photo of the Dance stacking is obviously not the solution for you. Uh, another thing is Legend of the Veil. Vale. Again, like, the fact that you get a rank 5 emissary flag of Legend of the Veil vale and you can sell everything immediately. It's about, like, 600, sorry, 160,000 gold per run. And you can get really efficient at these, so. Hey, welcome in, Skipper. I swear skeleton ships are so annoying when I'm going Megalodon hunting and Kraken hunting. And it's always the thing that you don't want, right? <laughs> the annoying thing is the thing that you don't want when it happens. What voyage is go good for Gold Hoarder? I mean, any of them are. Any of the voyages are good. I wouldn't recommend a Vault of the Ancients if you're solo. Now, the problem with Vault of the Ancients is that... Uh, where is it? Buried treasure... Treasure Vault. The Treasure Vault. Don't do the solo because this one does not have the new loot. I tried the Ashen and I tried the regular ones. They have the old loot that is worth less per piece and you have to move a ton of them. Like, the cool thing about raids is that you get less items that are worth more. So there's less work for you to move the items. But the Treasure Vaults still have the old items and you need like a ton of them. So don't do that. <laughs> Other than that, pretty much all of them are good. How long does it take for you to clear a veil? I never timed it, to be honest. I reckon maybe half an hour. Give or take. Have you done a veil in less than 30 minutes? I think I have. I'm not 100% certain, but I think I have. Again, I haven't timed it ever. Ashen Lords, I would agree, are the best raids for solo players. Uh, by virtue of you being able to clear it in as little as 5 minutes. 
A while ago, you showed a rather nice banjo skin. What is it called and how you get it? Thanks in advance. You're my favorite YouTuber streamer. Thank you so much. Uh, it depends on which banjo you mean. Do you mean this black one? Uh, was made in Twitch. Well, like 50 minutes per veil? Uh, this one I got from like a... This music, Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, I got this one from a promotion, uh, from like a Game Pass promotion. I was a Game Pass Ultimate subscriber and they gave everyone a code at one point. I feel stupid now because I just did a treasure vault solo. I mean, you live and you learn, you know? Live and you learn, it's completely fine. Did they fix anti-cheat? Unfortunately, uh, you can't fix anti-cheat. Like, no matter what game you play, chat room, um, there always will be cheater if there's like an online competitive component to it. It's an arms race, basically. It's the cheat makers versus the anti-cheat makers. And it's always an arms race. They're, they're always fighting each other. It's, an, it's a never-ending battle. You can't ever fix the cheating problem, unfortunately. Let us go to... Um, Sanctuary. Oh, no, I want to dive. Uh, Tall Tales. Wild Rose. They go really hard, right, Peg? <laughs> they go so unnecessarily hard on some of the music, and I love it. The way to form keys is just getting to any small island and shooting yourself from a cannon at least two mermaids away. And resets the NPCs on the island. Repeat till they, the key master spawns. Interesting, I did not know that. It sounds a bit boring, but like... If that works, it's not a bad way. Can you do a raid voyage but cancel the voyage before completing it to get the f uh, full loot? I don't see... Unless you're Reaper, I don't see why you would want to do that. And we can try it if you guys want. Maybe we'll do that next stream. Because <clears throat> today I said we're going to do uh, Messages in the Bottle. I don't think those exist anymore, TL uh, TLND. I'm running max settings. Hey, thanks for dropping by, veteran. Hope you have a good one. Hey, we were just talking about you earlier, Miff. What's up? Mifu with the gift sub. Thank you so much. Smarty was gifted a membership by Mifu. Hey, let's go. Not that memberships are super useful right now because I don't have emotes, but <laughs> like basic place all emotes. Thank you, Miff. How you doing, man? All right, let's start at Boulder Koi, Northeast. How do you warp to an outpost? Uh, with the, I learned this from Toxie Sinclair. Um, if you if you dive to uh, to the Wild Rose Tall Tale, it will always get you to Sanctuary. My lucky day! Hell yeah. Chat, I have a question. Um, I'm not super used to YouTube streaming, but is it normal that uh, all of your names are gray? Because I, I only see like the green names from people that are subbed with memberships, and I see blue from moderators, but everyone else is gray. Are you going to try to get the PvP curses? I'm going to try to get one of them, eventually, when I get to it. How long do you think you're going to stream now? We're going to be live for uh, a little while longer. It's not going to be a short stream. It's normal. Oh. Even my screen is gray. Oh, okay. All right. Thanks for letting me know. I know that, like, you know, as streamers, we always say, oh, you know, you're gonna stick out in the chat because, like, you subscribe and whatever. And, like, sure, that's true, but, like, it's especially true on YouTube. Just, like, the different color makes a big difference. 
What do you get if you raise an emissary flag? If you raise an emissary flag, you can level it up by putting treasure on your ship, corresponding to the company that you chose, and it increases the value of the loot when you sell it. So if you raise a Merchant Alliance uh, emissary flag, and you put enough loot onto your ship to get it to rank 5, enough merchant loot specifically, uh, you will get 150% more money for your loot. And more reputation as well. Let's do a little drop anchor in here. I don't think there are any Kraken varieties, no. It'd be cool, but as far as I know, there's only one kind of Kraken. Windows Ben with a new tier 1 membership. Welcome to the crew. Appreciate that, man. Aha! Captain Zoe Banshee. She doesn't want to fight me. That did not take a lot of effort. What do we get? What do we get? PvP crates! On a day where I'm not playing to PvP. <laughs> Sick. Do you have any tips for cannons? Cannons is like the thing I'm the worst at. <laughs> My biggest problem in PvP is, uh, is cannon aim. So unfortunately I don't have any tips for you right now. It's really good food. Oh yeah. Do you know how to level up guilds? Uh, you can level up guilds by selling stuff to the sovereigns. Another little combat crate. Okay. Uh, next island. Sandy Shallows in the west. A little bit of island hopping like in the good old days. Ghost Fort or Skeleton Fort? Which one do you prefer? Well, the Sea Fort is like a five minute ordeal, right? I like them for different reasons. Going in the wrong direction? No. Um, so the... The sea forts, or phantom forts as you would call them, are good for resupplying, because there's a lot of supplies in the barrels, especially really good food. And the skeleton fort is more like for loot. It takes longer to clear, it has more loot in its vault, you know. There was a bottle? Nah, you're trolling me. I don't believe you. Guild MC is way too hard to get. If you don't get invited, good luck leveling up your own guild. Made my guild a month ago, and I'm on level 5 out of 15. Oh yeah, I do agree with that. The thing is, it's scaled to be a group effort, which I understand that's what guilds are for, but there's no looking for guild functionality in the game. You really have to go out of your way uh, to find, like, a guild. What's up, Ness? Have they increased the leveling rate? That I do not know. Ah, this is a guild emissary flag. There's a lot of uh, complaints I have with the guild system. Not the least of which is the fact that they took nine months, to, not nine months. It's the fact that like the guild system delayed seasons for like literally no reason. Like the gameplay impact of guilds right now is so low that it should have never warranted delaying a season. This feature was like dead on arrival basically. Guilds and Monkey Islands are like my number one pain points, to be honest. I really wish they never spent development resources on either Guilds or Monkey Island. Instead, more like what we see in Season 11. Because Season 11 is really good. And more like um, the Skull of Siren song. Stuff like that is really good. Guilds are so low impact. Monkey Island was so bad. And we waited like nine months for that content. Another copy time and a message in a bottle. Xbox is bought. Ooh. Okay. And we got Lonely Isle. Here's my home. Let's go. Final looking up chat. Stone Cold Killer. Mm. 
is the other one right now. I've done Skull Silence Song multiple times now. I've never seen another player attack me. <clears throat> Funnily enough, um, yesterday I got to attack a whole bunch of them again. <laughs> if you guys didn't have pistols, you would be half as annoying. Server authoritative, authoritative hit markers, by the way. What's emissary good for? Uh, it's like Reaper. It's like Diet Reaper, basically. At, at rank 5, you are put on the map for everyone to see. Uh, you can sell everything to Sovereigns for a 75% bonus at rank 5. So it's not as good as Reaper. Reaper's 150%. Um, but you get reputation for all the companies. So it's like, it's a middle of the road kind of company, to be honest. Another combat crate. I would really like some treasure, you know? How do you make a guild that is in the UI? Yeah, it only shows on the map at rank 5, as far as I know. All praise Rare Thief for that tall tale guide, seriously, man. Shout out to Rare Thief. God, I love this new loot. The skulls look so cool. Uh, Goofy, they actually changed that. Uh, Krakens are no longer tied to world events. What am I doing? I'm like mentally not here. It's me trying to reach out while sorting out stuff. What's the point of uh, burying treasure and giving people the map? I see people have done that in the quest board outpost. Oh, man, how do I explain this? Um, it's a dead feature. So the point of it used to be, like, it was meant to be, hey, if somebody finds it, you, you get reputation for it, basically. And it was supposed to just be, like, a little fun thing to do. Um, but the feature never went anywhere because, as you can figure, there's no incentive to get a little bit of reputation for burying it versus getting all the reputation for selling it. So... The maps you find at outposts, more often than not, are AI-generated. And not AI-generated. They're randomized. You get um, you get garbage tier loot that's auto-generated. There we go, that's what I meant to say. So yeah, burying treasure is like... The mechanic of burying treasure makes sense because you can like hide loot from other people. You can take the, the map off of your ship and hide the map, but you only have a couple hours before it despawns. Um, so like, burying has purpose. Uh, what doesn't have purpose right now is putting it on a quest board. So are we gonna catch up or no? Don't wait, Chad. He's gonna get there. He's gonna get there eventually. Kegs. Usually we'll find kegs at the back of the ship. If your cannonball doesn't face through. Okay, cool. No kegs. That's my mast. Try to spread out your damage across the entire side of the boat so they take damage in more than one place. Try to hit low if you can, because high is only going to damage the skellies, not the boat. And you can sink them really, really quickly. Are they easy in Season 11? No, it's just completely random. It's like sometimes uh, Skelly Galleons are super easy because like the pathing bugs out. Uh, and sometimes they're really, really obnoxious because uh, they just circle you and spam you with Chris Cannonballs. So it's not that they're easier, it's just that the, the encounter is always random. I literally made a video on Commodity Run's uh, Cosmo. 
What's your favorite cursed chest? It has to be Chest of Sorrow, right? Because yeah, you can literally sink ships with that. It's cool. What's your ship skin? Uh, it's a combination of a bunch of stuff. Uh, we have a command for that on Twitch, but I don't remember the name of every single cosmetic. Uh, off rip. I'm so sorry about that. How do I get two ammo pouches, but then the first actual piece of treasure I'm trying to get, I whiff horribly. Wow. Good job, Cliff. Oh, they play music when the emissary flag levels up. I never knew that. Very cool. I haven't canceled the total. I should probably do that. I just forgot. That's a guild emissary flag. I'm not putting this on my ship. Go away. Oh, we're on our way to South, right? Okay, okay. Hey, thank you, Victor. Appreciate that. Have you seen or heard of Spy Family? Yeah, I watched a few episodes. Because I'm doing FOTD or damned. Watch a few episodes. Uh, level 15 with the, with the guilds is when guilds unlock emissary flags. And you can get them from the Sovereign Tent. <laughs> Good luck with that, Finlay. You throw that skull. The skull is worth like a hundred gold. <laughs> it's just a bitch. Don't worry about it. Throwing out something low value just would be dramatic. Someone told me I should throw away the empty storage crates to avoid lag. Is that true? I mean, I've never heard of it, but it could be true. Only because I never heard of it doesn't mean it's not true. I just don't know. One thing you gotta be really careful with, though, especially in COTs, is that people will very, very, uh, very easily tell you something with confidence. They will be like, "This is how that works, 100%," and they they will be completely wrong. They they would just be guessing. Um, so don't believe everything people say in COTs. What's up, manatees? Are the balls rare? Oh, I mean they're not abundant, but they're not like super rare. That's when you get the emissary flag for that. What's up, Maria? Guys, this is gonna be big. This, I'm so certain, is gonna be King Treasure. And four of them on a small island. Did you run to anyone? Nope, just a skelly ship. Somebody doing FOTD though. Off the damage. Hmm. Not a Reaper. Usually it's Reapers doing it. Thanks for introducing me to CLDs. It's fun. I'm glad you have a good time with it. I'm really happy to hear that. Well, the X mark is white. A uh, high contrast setting. Find it. I believe it's in under HUD. Don't jinx it. I mean, whatever happens, happens. It's okay. Oh no! One hitable skeletons, whatever am I to do? <laughs> this music is like so unnecessarily epic.
Give me that. Hell yeah. Chat, I love this treasure. <laughs> I just, I can't get enough of it. It looks so cool. It looks so cool. Like, look at this. They really are done themselves with the treasure. Big fan. Oh, there's already two Reapers. What is happening on the server? Oh, me. Uh, so there's one here. Oh, the treasure hunt going? We finally found something. One here, and one here. We found a chest of sorrow? I feel kind of scammed. I did say it's my favorite. It's crying itself into a puddle. Oh, it's eternal sorrow, isn't it? Huh. <sighs> How do you get this chest? Uh, you can get them from... It's Boundless Sorrow. So I don't think this one stops trying. Uh, you can get these from Messages in the Bottle. This is what I'm trying to tell you guys. It's like, Messages in the Bottle are really good. You get treasure like this. Bury it? I could do that. Oh yeah, I completely forgot about that, uh, GT. Uh, hey guys, if you're enjoying the stream, make sure you hit that like button. Because apparently uh, that helps uh, with promoting the stream to other people. So, if you're enjoying yourself, smash the like button. Either way, thank you so much for being here. You better make the stream title a video one day. I'm working on something. I don't know if this would do well as a long form on my channel. But I'm, I'm working on something. I'm working on something. Here's, here's the, I don't want to like spoil everything I'm working on, but there's a bunch of really big projects that are like really grindy that I'm working on right now. Uh, something is related to messages in the bottle. Uh, there's something really rare you can find from them, and I'm trying to find that for the video, basically. Uh, do we do an intermittent cell because we have the crying chest? I'm going to Lonely Isle next. Where's Lonely Isle? It is east of us. <clears throat> Did no cliff streams? Well, welcome in. The thing that we, we have to pay for that chat is that because my, my video projects are getting like more ambitious, I can't do weekly videos anymore. <laughs> It just isn't possible. It's not feasible. Um, that's why you can expect to get at least get one short or a stream every week. So on every week where there is no um, no long form video, you can expect to see at least a live stream or a short. That's the plan right now. Are Skelly Forwards uh, still world events or are they just player spawn now? No, they, they still are uh, world event versions of it. <coughs> How's the day going? Besides the little blue screen, uh, going quite well. Shorts terrify me. The thing with shorts is that I'm not super excited about them. Like, inherently, the content I enjoy making is, like, the long con, you know? The story from start to finish and, like, condensing that to just 60 seconds is not as satisfying to me. That's why I haven't been on the shorts grind. I know they're super beneficial if you do them right. I've seen the benefits. It's just that if I'm not excited about it, I'm not going to put as much time into it. What's up, Oliver? So no video this week? Yeah, if you see me stream on YouTube, that means no video this week. Because I'm working on really big videos right now. But I think you guys are really going to like them. It looks like the equivalent of saying, let's, play, let's pay these workers less. Yeah, it's the, the value proposition is way different. I mean, I always enjoy talking shop, so for those of you who are interested in uh, working on your own YouTube channel, and I know some of you guys are, um, so the way that I personally found shorts to really benefit my channel is that they're loss leaders. They don't make the money back that I spend, right? They don't make... The time I spend, like, whatever hourly rate I would pay myself, shorts don't make that money back. The way I use them is that I don't just make highlight videos. I know that a lot of streamers do that. They have, like tutorials, guides, tips and tricks, and then they make like stream highlights or shorts. Um, I found that does not convert very well. 
What I do instead is I do the exact same format that I do in long form, but in 60 seconds. So all of my shorts are still stories, they're still narrated, there's still gameplay in them. Uh, but the story is only 60 seconds short as opposed to like, you know, 10 to 20 minutes. So what happens is that when somebody watches your short, they are more likely to have your long form videos put on their homepage. Now only because it puts, on, puts it on the homepage doesn't mean that they're going to click it, right? But when they click it, I notice there's a higher conversion rate when the content of the shorts is similar to the long form. So because both of them are stories, like story-based content, I found the conversion rate was a lot better. So at the end of the day, it's really hard to quantify the benefit in dollars because the shorts don't make money, but the shorts bring new viewers to my long-form content, which does make money. So the reason I'm not investing hard into shorts is not because they're not beneficial, it's because I'm just not super excited about them. So I kind of have to like force myself to go through it. I hope that was uh, useful to some of you guys. Do you like doing YouTube? I love it. Literally, since I was a teenager, I always wanted to be a YouTuber. This is uh, literally my dream occupation. Which doesn't mean it's not work. It is work and a lot of it. Um, but yeah, I do enjoy it. How do you make a lot of gold with low rep voyages? Uh, that's a video I'm working on right now, Logan. Well, not right now, right now, but I'm currently working on a video for new players on how they can make their, their first fortune, so... Give me some time, give me a week or two. It's a really big video, because I'm trying to, like, show new players how they can basically make their first million gold. Uh, and it's really, really grindy. <laughs> and I'm trying to make it, I'm trying to pr produce it in the way that's replicable for, uh, for new players. So, give it a couple of weeks, and then I'm gonna have that answer for you in video form. those cliff. I'm starting to think that it's gonna be more efficient when we just go down there. Cats or dogs? Why not both? It's like asking pancakes or waffles, you know, like, why not both? Why is it just so upset? There's like a whole bunch of lore reasons. I mean, for this one specifically, I don't know. There's a male version of that chest and that has like a bunch of lore attached to it. God damn it. In case you, in case you guys don't know, the plant guys are vulnerable to swords. Which really just means they take less damage from guns. It actually the Boundless Sword that doesn't stop crying? Yeah. There is Boundless Sorrow, there is just regular Sorrow, and then there's another one. Everlasting Sorrow, I believe, which is the Tall Tale version. I look for crowns of hope. I'm looking for crowns and candle holders. Those are two items I have not found yet. But I will take any loot I can get. How do I get an ad in the middle of a live stream on YouTube? Uh, so YouTube tries, and God bless the heart, they sure are trying. <laughs> uh, YouTube tries to insert ads at times of like low activity. So they're trying to gauge the live stream and be like, okay, now will be a good time to uh, to run some advertisements, but they don't get it right a lot of the time. So I apologize for the random ads. Chat, another question, because I don't stream on YouTube very often. Um, if, you, if you buy a membership for my channel, do you get ads on my channel? Or is it like Twitch, where if you subscribe, you don't get ads? Not seeing the candle holders? Yes, yeah, same. No more ads? Okay. Hey, thank you, Julian. I know I've never bought one. That's fair. 
I did get ads right now? Oh, man. So it's not like Twitch, is what you're saying. Uh, I'm probably gonna have a third skull, right? Yes, I do. He's messaging a bottle quest. I, we got three Wrathful King's uh, bounty skulls. Those are so good! Those are actually so good. Uh, do you gotta have premium to become a channel member? That's probably the deciding factor. No. I know that YouTube premium gets rid of ads. But you don't need to have premium to buy a subscription or membership. Uh, I have the guild emissary up. Okay, I need to actually pay attention so I don't actually miss any bottles. Uh, loot does not sink in shallow waters. At least, I think it stays longer? I haven't had it sink before. Let's put it that way. Uh, red gem. If it wasn't so inconveniently located, I would get it. Yeah, these skulls are worth a lot of money. Like in the update, I love it. Honestly, I've been playing more Sea of Thieves in, like, this update than I have in, I don't know, like, six months combined in, in the last season. As, uh, in the last year, sorry. Like, that's how much I'm enjoying this update. And just because I want to play. It's like, yes, I'm working on a lot of videos, but sometimes it's not about just making videos. Like, I actually got this feeling I just wanted to play again, which was almost completely absent in 2023 when we got, like, no updates. Hey, don't worry about it, Ak. What's up, Zib? Uh, I was a member on another stream, and YouTube actually advertised it with no ads, yet I was getting ads because the ad blocker thing that was going down. Oh. They changed the amount of chests that you need to sell for the order of Barnacle Gold from 300 to 5? I've never looked at the accommodation, so I could not tell you. What's up, Dutch Gamer? That's how you know it's a good update. Yeah, you just want to play. You like I honestly I think the Skull of Siren song, conceptually really good. Execution needs some work. I think it needs some tweaks to reach its full potential. But conceptually, I think Skull of Siren song is like one of the best things they ever added to the game. So Terrarian. My door just fell off its hinges. Uh, what is the best thing you can do when you just done playing the game in 2024? Uh, I'm working on a new video that's very beginner oriented from zero to one million gold uh, as a new player. Uh, for the time being, I would recommend I have a video live right now that's called what to do on your first day in Sea of Thieves. Um, the UI is going to look different because they just updated it in season 11, but a lot of the core conceits are still the same, which is that it's better to do island hopping than it is to do voyages. Now, there's one thing I will add to that with the new system, because voyages are free now. So, actually, if you can put down voyages for the locations you're going to anyway, which it will generally target the closest island, um, that's a really good combination. So, you're going to get voyages done and do island hopping at the same time. So, basically, if you knew... Let me, let me put this into... Um, let me put this into more actionable terms for you. Give me one second, chat. So here's what I mean by that. Let's say you log in and you're like, hey, I spawned at Sanctuary Outpost. What do I do, right? Uh, you should do island hopping. So just like go from island to island to island to island and just see what you find. You might you might find messages in the bottle. You might find skelly captains. Whatever you find, do it, pick it up. Um, because that teaches you like uh, learning the islands and learning the different quests. And they have really, really good rewards. If you find shipwrecks, go for shipwrecks, right? But now I'm like, hmm, I want to double dip. I don't want to just see if there's something. I want to make sure there is something. So I would recommend plopping down a gold hoarder voyage because they're free now. You go to a quest table, voyages, gold hoarder, and then just do a pirate's treasure map. If you go into a big island, do the captain's treasure map. That's the only difference. The, the pirate's treasure map is for small islands. Uh, the captain's treasure map is for big islands. So I'm like, hey, what location did I get? 
Oh, this one. It shouldn't be too far away from you. Like a couple islands over at most. What is this? Uh, I'm not good with islands. R Rum Runner, here you go. So you're like, hey, I will just like go to Lonely Isle, then go to Rum Runner, and you know you will get something at R Rum Runner, but you might, f besides this voyage that you have now, now you're also checking if there's like skeleton captains or random loot or like whatever you can find, messages in a bottle. That, in my opinion, is the best way to start um, as a new player. Because if all you do is just these voyages, they don't pay a lot of money. Um, but all this, like, emergent content does. I hope that was uh, useful. How was it, Boston? We're chilling. Having a good time. Do you advise to do the riddles uh, in the bigger islands for the beginners? Uh, I mean, you don't have to do them if you don't enjoy them, but I, it's a good skill to learn. It's one that I never really properly learned because I just don't like puzzles generally or riddles. Um, and that does bite me in the butt every once in a while. So I think like one of the good things about these messages in a bottle is that it teaches you everything about the game. You, you will get merchant delivery quests, you will get skeleton hunting quests, you will get X marks the spot, you get riddles, you get everything. Uh, and that is why I really like them because they teach you all the basics of the game while paying you a lot of money for new players. Oh, that chest is 6,400 gold. I did not know that. Very nice. Hey, welcome back, Weasel. Back with your sword and then... Oh, for the sword lunge? Somebody asking about the sword lunge? I get that often. People ask me, like, hey, how do you sword lunge so far? So here's how you sword lunge for it. Let me show you. So if you do regular sword lunge with just holding down mouse one, this is how far you go. Not very far, right? So here's how you sword lunge very far. You hold block, so right click on PC, and you hold this button the entire time. When you then hit left click to sword lunge, as soon as you hear the swoosh noise, hit space, hit jump, okay? Whatever your jump button is. So I'm holding a right click, now I'm holding left click, and I hear the swoosh, I jump. As soon as you hear the swoosh. As soon as, as long as you follow that, you can do it 10 out of 10 times. I hope that's useful. My favorite curse is the skelly curse. I don't have it yet, but it's really cool. Cut viewers getting mad with Cliff because they went to Plunder's Valley for Captain's Chest. Uh, what are Captain's Chests again? Are those the old chests? Because they don't exist in Voyages anymore. Do I have a robot? I do not. Uh, this is a guild emissary. Oh yeah, the long sword launch works in combat as well, of course. It is very good. Yeah, Weasel, same dude. Uh, I'm not used to this overlay because usually I'm on Twitch and not YouTube. I can do it now? Hell yeah, let's go, Matt. Hey, thanks for chilling, Python. Have a fine rest of your day. Did they remove the old chest? No, they're still in the game. Uh, they're just not rewards for Voyagers anymore. So you can still find them. Um, just not from Voyagers. Okay. Crescent Isle, my beloved. Southwest. I think Ashen Curse is by far the easiest. This is a very, very straightforward. I thought you were much from 100? Yeah, I'm distinction level 1, which is 100. There's an emissary ship there. Okay, chat, I'm gonna take a really quick bathroom break. I'm gonna be back in two minutes, alright? Uh, I will try to run some ads. That's usually what we do on Twitch when we go AFK. I don't know if it's gonna let me, but I'll see you guys in a couple minutes, okay? Thanks for hanging out with me today.
Come back, chat room. There's a rock. What are you getting AFK kicked off the, the wheel? Huh? Hey, what's up, frog? Welcome in. There's somebody at our island. You weren't doing that, you have no proof? Hmm. Chat history begs to differ. Emissary is that. I can't tell. I actually do that. Is he not captain? Board of Souls emissary. He's hightailing it. Oh. Hold up. There might be a message here. Ah, oh, another foul bounty, gosh dang it. Oh! Oh man, it's a crusted one. Ugh. For shrine? Yeah, we're stashing that. <laughs> we're definitely not doing that. Oh, it's a bar code, welcome in. Are we this lucky? You just uh, get sailed without anything happening while you were AFK? I must just come for like two minutes. How does call level? Max level. We've been max level for a while. Have you not seen the uh, Breath of the Sea episode? Welcome in, Narpy. I enjoy the content. What's up, kid? Welcome in. I actually enjoy shrines. People call me crazy, but I really enjoy them. I, I mean, for one, I'm really bad at um, I'm bad at puzzles, right? And on top of that, I just don't like the idea as a solo player of leaving your ship uh, above water while you're doing stuff underwater. Not the biggest fan of that. Should I do Reaper's Bones or Merchant for Pirate Legend? Whatever you prefer, man. Uh, Reapers are probably more prone to PvP. Okay, I wasn't gonna attack this guy, but he's at a shipwreck, and I want that. Flotsam with gunpowder would be bad if you AFK? Yeah. Go away from my shipwreck. Is that even here? Am I seeing the... Am I blind? Oh, it's all the way back there. Oh. I guess we'll just be going the same direction. Okay. That's fine. Um, I should probably make my attentions known. Uh, that's by lessons from last season's Plunder Pass. <laughs> Unleash fury upon the waves. Now, I'm not usually one to look for fights. More of a self defense kind of guy. Most of the time. Unless they have something I need. If they have something I need, then uh, it's a different story entirely. What's this new max level? I haven't played this game for a while. So, they increased the max level for all the main companies, except for Hunter's Gold, to 100 and 5 distinctions. So, one distinction is basically uh, um, prestige. So, I'm distinction level 1, level 36, which is level 136. Basically. Oh, 34, sorry. You can see a little banner that says 1, that's distinction. So, 127, 134, and 130. Out of 500. Uh, Boomark and GT, thanks for the 99 cents each. Appreciate you guys. Hey, glad you the content, Jules. What do you get with this distinctions? Ah, oh, my friend. It's a tale as old as time. 
cosmetics. Let me show you. Let me show you what you get for distinctions, for I am a man of culture. Of first great distinction in, yes, three companies. I'm kind of a big deal. <laughs> Let me show you. I gotta take my gloves off all that. So, dear ladies, gentlemen, and non-binary homies, let me present to you the reward you get for distinctions. You get rings. You get one ring for every distinction. So if you're rank 5 distinction, you get 5 rings on each hand. It's so good. I just wish because I have I've have one glove that's fingerless. I wish I could see it through the glove. But they're so cool. If you see the like the rank 5, check out the like the trailer, uh the features trailer for season uh, 11. They show you like what the level 5 one looks like. It's so cool. Especially order of Souls. So the blue one is merchant and the green one is a uh, gold order. Let me show you the order of Souls one. Order of Souls rank 5 is so cool. Oh, I didn't buy it yet. Ah, okay, chat. Remind me to go to an outpost. Uh, remind me to look at it when we're next to an outpost, okay? You're not coming back, right? Your ring said 1,000 distinction. <laughs> or 100 distinction. I wonder if they're gonna do something like that, like necklaces or whatever. Necklaces, earrings, you know? Toe rings, who knows? What's up, Scout Pancakes? How you doing? I'm telling you, man, like, the cosmetics they added this season, for level 100, you get a brand new cosmetic, a costume as well. And I showed one of them off earlier. I love the costumes, they're so cool. I literally put my raw um, reaction to finding out about the costumes into the last video, the Merchant 100 video, because they're so good. Mm -hmm. I think I'm only going to take King to your loot. Aha! There's two of them. <gasps> Message in the bottom! Only one quest. Okay, we take those, though. Ashen King's Bounty? Hell yeah! Do you think they should add crew games such as in-game chess boards or codes instead of uh, instead of diving? I mean, it doesn't have to be instead of diving, but yeah, it'd be cool. I'd love if there was like... I mean, there could be a reason to like uh, go to um, New Golden Sands, right, to the port. Um, right now, the problem with, with New Golden Sands, the port in the game, is that there's no reason for you to, to spend time there. But it'd be really cool. Scott Pancake, thank you for the one pound. Appreciate that. Thank you so much. It'd be really cool if we had games like that. If we could play cards, if we could... Uh, Play dice roll. I mean, we can do dice roll games with uh, with emotes, sure. But it'd be cool if they had mini games like that at um, at the outpost. You can like gamble your treasure. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold up. Do you think they should add mini games like chess? I'm. While sailing. Uh, tennis while sailing? I don't think that's a good idea. What's up, Ryan? Why do you need bars? I don't need them. I just really enjoy them. What quest do we get? Ah. Oh, okay, it's Crescent Isles right behind us. Perfect. <clears throat> it's not a boss quest, unfortunately. We're going to get three skulls, right? Two chat. This loot looks so cool. I love this loot. <laughs> Shout out to the art department and to, for, to the composers as well. Like the art in this game is top notch. I'm running a merchant, eh, not merchant, <laughs> guild emissary. Sorry. We sports while sailing. Okay, dude. And oh, what's up, elf? The new loot is phenomenal. I love it. They had to cut it out for rating? There's no gambling because of uh, rating? Really? That's fascinating. I can see why. There's one ship, and I think there's another one at the outpost. The waves, let me see. Oh, maybe I'm high. Maybe I did not see one. It's just this guy. What are guild emissaries? Exactly what it says on the tin. 
instead of getting 150% at rank 5 to a specific company, it's 75% at rank 5 to all the companies. It's like Reaper Light. Diet Reaper. Yeah, the whole, like, getting drunk thing. How does that not affect the rating? I'm the only person that ever uses the crow's nest for recon. Uh, yeah, it's very rare that I do that. Can you show the hour, please? What do you mean the hour? Water spots and tsunamis? I I feel like the game isn't technically capable of having that. Like with all the performance issues and like how technically demanding the waves are in this game, I don't think a tsunami is going to happen. You get cosmetics for the guild emissary? Yes, uh, my chest piece is a guild emissary. Is a yeah guild reputation grind. I forgot what level. I don't think it's very high because um, our guild is not even distinct from one. But yeah, my chest piece is uh, from that. This guy is that the same guy? Looks like a fresh emissary. He must be really annoyed with me. Oh yeah, if we ignored performance and like technical viability, a maelstrom would be sick. It's something I kept talking about. It was like, you know what would be really cool in Sea of Thieves? If we had an, an encounter that we can spawn, like a Hunter's Call Voyage, where you summon a maelstrom at like the edge of the map, and then you have to fight a sea monster in it. Like a Kraken, a, a Megalodon, maybe a Sea Serpent. And um, you have to kill it before the maelstrom destroys your ship, basically. Oh, he's leaving all his treasure here. Because he's afraid of me. Or oh, is that just in the sand? That might just be random stuff in the sand. Why is there stuff in the water? I'm so confused, chat room. Message in the bottle! Yes! Hell yeah. Oh, four digs on a small island. Don't mind the voider. Hell yeah, chat. It's fine, I'm not trying to attack you. If I go to New Golden Sands, it's enough to take down the FPS. Imagine a tsunami, yeah, pretty much. I think you're happy. Is the game dead? Far from it. It's definitely not... I, I wouldn't say it's at its peak, but it's like it's far from dead. I think you need to. Glad you enjoyed the content. Just join to say good luck on the high seas. Thank you. What do I have to do to kill Stratagos in the same way as you? Is the voyage for this? Uh, that was a, a limited time adventure, unfortunately. That's no longer in the game. I'm sorry to say that. Um, a lot of partners, like CLD's partners, like myself, have implored Rare to... Uh, to basically add a way to replay all the adventures in sequence. Because they tell a story, right? But they were all limited time, and that's really frustrating for people that weren't there at the time. So I hope that's something they work on, so maybe on Safer Seas or something, you can replay all the adventures. That'd be sick. See? Captain's chest. Seafarer's chest. There's a lot of treasure on this beach. Uh, the giant flame heart head is now replaced by the tornado. Uh, it's the same world event, it's still like phantom ships. Um, but it looks different now because flame heart, like it's a whole story thing where they are reviving flame heart. That was over a year ago. And apparently this year, flame heart is going to come back. Uh, like in person. Hey, let's go, Mark. Hell yeah. I keep running into snakes. I miss Flamehot shouting at me? I don't. <laughs> Here's the thing, chat, right? For those of you who are not aware, uh, Sea of Thieves has a partner program. Which are, you can apply to it, you know, there's certain criteria you have to meet, um, and like, size of your uh, viewership and whatever else. 
And what they do is they let you give away some stuff. Uh, now I don't have the I don't have the bot on on YouTube to do that giveaway. Um, but if you go to Twitch, a lot of partnered streamers do giveaways on a regular basis. I don't, um, but other partners do giveaways on a regular basis. So if you're interested in getting free stuff, uh, make sure you check out Twitch. Oh, also, yeah, that reminds me, Twitch drops. That's what I was going to talk about for COT's partner, and I am COT's partner. Uh, we get Twitch drops. So on the 9th of February through, I believe, the 11th, um, you can get free cosmetics just by watching me on Twitch. So join the Discord if you want to be not notified, or just come to twitch.tv slash uh, on the 9th of February. All you have to do is connect your Twitch account to your Microsoft account. And you can get free cosmetics just for watching. I don't know that if that's one thing we like, it's free stuff. <laughs> Furthermore, um, there's a second tier of partner. It's called Partner Legend for some of the biggest uh, creators in the, in the partner program. And sometimes, not often, but sometimes they give us sneak peeks for like uh, future updates. And obviously I'm under NDA. I, can, I cannot tell you what's coming, but I'm very excited for the direction CRTs is going. I did not like what they did in 2023 with all the story content. I think the game is better when you let us tell our own stories instead of making like all these adventures and whatever. I feel like that just kind of takes away from us telling our own stories. I'm looking for bottles, by the way. Um, but I've seen what's coming in the next season, season 12, and um, actually, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm pretty happy with it. It's like the direction they're going, I'm pretty happy with. More so than, you know, more so than me being super excited for Season 12, it makes me excited for the rest of the year. Because here's the biggest thing. What they need to continue doing is three-month seasons. So far, we got two, two seasons after only three months, which, you know, compared to nine months last year, uh, is a huge upgrade. With, if they can go back to normal and have a new season every three months, and the seasons are like this one, like Season 11, um, I'm going to be super happy. The cadence is important. I love the new excitement. I feel finding a ball now. The king's chests are so worth. I know, right? Same with like um, what do you call them again? Same with um, shipwrecks. Like shipwrecks and messages and ball are finally exciting again. <laughs> Good luck, Smith. <laughs> you got this. Uh, we need to go Laguna Whispers, so pit stop at Sea Dogs Rest in the south. Uh, why do you put the chest on the bow? Uh, it's just easier to unload. Dude, this poor guy is always at the same islands I'm going to. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh. Uh. What's your favorite Tall Tale? Um, this, this shows a gold series of Tall Tales. I really like. My favorite one in that series of Tall Tales is the, the Trap Maker. Forgot the bounty? Oh, that was on Crescent Isle. Oh, I'm so... Yeah, I'm such an idiot. You're right, chat. Now, why do you place the ammo crate on the ladder? So, it's one of these things that... Um, it's one of the, like little PvP things that I, I started doing as part of me uh, trying to get better PvP for a specific video. Um, so I'm practicing how to helm. And your job as a helm is taking pot shots with, with your sniper rifle. And I found that having this here, it doesn't... You know, when I want to do sails, it doesn't get in the way. I'm not going to accidentally pick up this. I'm like, oh, I want to do sails. Oh, no, I picked up the, the chest by accident, you know? So having it here just makes sure I, I don't accidentally touch that when I want to just pick up uh, the sails. Um, there's also something uh, called the Sea Guard, which is from uh, a player called Sea Roar. He plays with Toxic Sinclair very often. They invented this, uh, this little defense strategy where if you climb up the ladder, it's not great with the, with the ammo box because it's, it's so short, but you can't see what's upstairs. You know, you have to fully commit to going up to see if somebody's waiting for you or not. Um, 
So usually people will like wait for you with a blunderbuss right here. And they'll be like, oh, you're here? Boom, one shot blunderbuss. So this is supposed to like make sure they don't see you waiting for them. You can argue about its effectiveness. I'm not saying it's a be all and end all. I'm not saying it's make, it makes a big difference, but it's like, it's a thing that it doesn't hurt doing. Okay, chip size? Probably the galleon. Just for pure vibe. Firebombs. Uh, this is the Gilded Phoenix Sniper. I think I got that as a Twitch drop. I don't actually know which Twitch drops we're getting. You can check the official CRT's Twitter. They always talk about what costumes you get for Twitch drops. Uh, Gold Leaf Helm. Hellwalker. Yeah, it's like the thing I like about it is just I can reload my gun without needing to get off the helm. The having to go all the way down to continue taking pot shots is just that sucks. Wait, no, Cresna, I was like, is it Mermaid's Hideaway? Are these guys downstairs mean? I got you, Weasel. Thanks for uh, dropping by. Enjoy your game. They're probably in the cave. Well, in that case, I'm definitely going to bring my ship around. I want to have an eye on it. A uh, Skull of Siren Song sells for 50,000 gold. Thank you, Skull Pancakes. I appreciate the kind words. I mean, Adrian, I I think that they're going the right direction of adding more stuff to sink our gold into. Um, but right now, what's more important, what makes stacks valuable again, it's not actually just the gold, it's the reputation. Reputation mattering, uh, I find right now is more important because they can always add more cosmetics to spend gold on um, as the game goes on. But the reputation grind is... The only reason I need to uh, keep stacking loot. Cold inflation of 2020. Yeah, 2022. Hey, thank you, Link. I appreciate you guys uh, giving me all these encouraging, kind messages. Thank you so much. Okay, where the homies at? Cave on the opposite of the vault. Uh, no, you just need Servants 100 for the Skelly Curse. But if you get Reapers 100 as well, uh, then you get the new bones, the Reaper bones. Bro, where are these Skellies? <laughs> but all across the island! Chat, I cannot find these guys. At the tallest tree at the highest point. Didn't we just go there? For the music? What would I do if I didn't have music enabled? Which I usually don't. You know, just reading this would have solved all of my problems. What's up, Amethysium? Hello, hello. Okay, tallest tree and whatever. That is it, that's the tallest tree. There are no skellies here, chat. <laughs> huh? Music is definitely here. Hmm. Hmm. Oh! I meant to do that. Man, I have to go to the ferry to reset the island now, but my overheal. My overheal. Dang it. Okay, well, if that's the only way. Just short. They can spawn out of bounds. Cringe. Oh yeah, I have stuff in here. 
Where the hell did that go? Cal saw that? Drink your water, chat. Stay hydrated. Also, make sure you drop me a like if you enjoyed the stream. That one below deck. Very interesting. Ever thought about changing your outfit? It's funny you would say that, low man. It's funny you would say that. <laughs> Hello. Welcome to 2024. All right. I should probably have at least one blunder bomb just so I can see. That glitched. Into the ground. Wouldn't be a day on the Sea of Thieves if I didn't find any bugs, eh? Ah, they spawned. Here we go. <clears throat> One pellet hits me, I can't sword dash, dang it. Oh, I forgot the clan skellies. Mm. It's not too bad to have my ship here, I can just put the skulls and harp them. Overwhelmed. Found a good boy cannon robot. Hell yeah. Let's go. Okay, gamers. Rally up. Captain Dirty Play Dorman? Interesting name. Epic boss fight music. Hopefully this is harpoonable. Okay, perfect. Damn it! <laughs> Pistol skellies are such a nuisance. I think because their aim is so good. Ooh, more fire bombs, hell yeah. Dang it. Let me sword dash. <laughs> I did the cliff. I tried to get more of them and I'm getting none of them. Finally. You can start off. Give me your ammo. Was it a challenge? It's not really a challenge. I just enjoy. Uh, I just enjoy looking for messages in the bottle. So we're doing message in the bottle quests. Put on my gloves again. As you can see, my ring right now. <laughs> Skull name is better than cheaters. <laughs> it's funny because it's true. Oh, 
Right. We had another one, right? Ah, uh, yes. Hell yeah. Okay, don't you understand how much I enjoy doing this? Like, there's a commendation progress for the treasure of adventure. I found 110 of these already, Jack. <laughs> I want grade 3 treasures fit for a king. And that only counts the highest tier of them. I really, ah, man, I just, I love doing this. I love the message in the ball system they got going on here. And the loot actually being good. I love it. I went on Twitch and was so confused. I, I leave a link in the Discord, Neptune. But hey, what's up? I'm going to head to work. Been awesome meeting you live. You take care. Hey, thanks for dropping by, Ben. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Also, gamers, if we could get the uh, if we could get the stream to 1,000 likes, that'd be super as well. I'm not sure how um, I'm not sure how exposure works on live streams, but you know, more likes probably wouldn't hurt. We're getting pretty close to that 1,000, so. If you enjoy uh, being here, make sure you drop the like button. What your stream makes me want to hop on CFDs right now, but I gotta work on my dissertation of watching these streams, though. Hey, Alex, consider it, you know, when, once you're done with this, this is gonna be like your reward. I gotta spend some time in CFDs. That's how I see it very often. I'm like, oh, okay, done with my voiceover, now I can finally play CFDs. <laughs> you know? What's one of your favorite YouTubers or Twitch streamers? Uh, Somebody asked me that the other day, and I, I really struggled come on, coming up with anything, because, like, there isn't one content creator that I, I watch more than the other. I watch a lot of content creators for many different reasons. Most of the people I watch on Twitch are just my friends, uh, like Toxic Sinclair, Blurbs, all the rest of it. Um, and YouTube, I follow such a, like, vast variety of content creators, from travel to food to science. Like, I don't really have one that sticks out as me liking them more than the others. So I like them for vastly different reasons. <laughs> Thank you, Brad. Some people would fight you on that notion, but... <laughs> you know, I'm only big in the COT space. Outside of COTs, I'm a nobody. <laughs> non Best non COTs YouTube niche channel. Uh, oh, God, you really gonna make me choose. I don't know, man. It's like, I can give you some examples. Like, for example, I, I watch Jeff Nippert for, um, like, uh, workout science. I watch um, Sam the Cooking Guy, ironically, for like a lot of cooking-inspired videos. I watch uh, Tokyo Lens for travel and exploration. Oh, what else am I watching? Skill Up for reviews, like ga game reviews specifically and gaming news. Uh, LTT, mostly for edutainment. So yeah, that's like, you know, all these are like vastly different verticals, and I, I enjoy watching all of them for different reasons. Wasn't there another big boy? What do you use to make your thumbnails? Uh, a really old program called Fireworks. <laughs> you probably expected like Photoshop. I have no idea how to use Photoshop. I've been using Fireworks for literal decades. I'm too stubborn to learn something new, and I'm way too stubborn to pay Adobe their ludicrous fee for the dumb software. And one YouTuber that will have to say number one is Technoblade, YouTuber who sadly passed over a year ago. Oh man, I'm sorry to hear that. But it's good to hear that uh, he made a good, like, positive impact. Station, can you watch your stream? Have I missed anything? Uh, we just completed one of our messages. Killed the skellies. Uh, and now we're looking for more. But there ain't nothing here right now. Wait, wait. We're gonna want this to despawn, but doesn't despawn chores. Hmm. Okay. Oh! I almost missed this! No! I had seven crates, though. We can go to Mermaid's Hideaway, sure, why not? We'll do it. We'll do it. Uh, why, you don't, why don't you turn off the lights on the ship? Uh, we talked about this earlier. Um, anyone who needs the lights to find your ship, you don't have to be afraid of. And people that you should be afraid of don't need the lights to find you. So, it's dark. 
I want to be able to see things, I keep the lights on. Trust me, it makes, like, almost no difference to, uh, to, like, how safe you are. Literally, any player that I'm afraid of doesn't need the lights to find me. And the people that do see me because of the lights, I'm just not afraid of them. Yeah, oh, that's another good reason, it's just that it makes the YouTube videos more watchable. Because, <laughs> like, uh, after, after rendering and processing, um, low-light footage looks really bad on YouTube. That's why I crank the brightness in post at least a little bit. So yeah, imagine I turned off the lights as well. That's just all sorts of bad news. Who's there? Yo, Blue Shrouded Pog! He's back! The name of my sloop is Gilded Horizon. Buggers! I just noticed uh, ships at night more passively if they got lights on. Like, uh, on the course scanning for ships, I'll see them uh, light or no light. Yeah, exactly. Because, like, the, the shape is, like, really distinct. They really stick out over the horizon. Is that a good boy cannon robot? It is a good boy cannon robot! Look at that chat room! I got a lucky find. Do you ever play StarCraft 2? Uh, um, I have not. <laughs> I'm not good at strategy games. Is the guild emissary worth it compared to other emissaries and new voyage system? Uh, I personally, I prefer to like hard send one faction at a time. I'm not the biggest fan of like doing a little bit of everything, which is what the guild does. Um, I'd much rather be like, hey, I'm doing merchants today. I will raise the merchant line spike and I will get big bonus on it. Uh, the smaller bonus you get is just a little bit, you know, less satisfying. It's not that it's bad, it's just unsatisfying. Uh, Ted, I'm, I'm not streaming here exclusively. <laughs> uh, I'm actually streaming more often on Twitch, uh, but I'm trying to make a commitment to, uh, to my viewers that I will try to have a new story every week. And if I don't have a long form video, because they take longer and longer to make, the more ambitious my projects get, I want to have at least a stream or a short. So because I don't have a long form video this week, I decide to stream. So that's where we're at right now. What's your best PvP tip? Uh, check out Blurbs, both YouTube and Twitch. He has a whole bunch of guides for uh, for PvP. We're gonna not need that many pineapples right now. It's the best brightness settings. I think I'm just in default. So what do I do here? Uh, pick up cargo. Right. Oh, I keep forgetting to put on my damn gloves. Voice interact on E? Because that's what it is in other games. It being on F just felt wrong because it's the only game I played where interact was on F or not on E. What do you want to bring this? North Star Sea Post? God damn it, man. I'm going to do a whole trip and a half. Cold fingers? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, one of my gloves is fingerless, so... I love like as soon as I touch the water, it's like don 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 don. There's a megalodon don 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 don. My first time getting on your stream, been watching your videos for a while. Well, welcome in, then. Oh God, no, please. Not my cargo. Not my cargo. Don 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 don. What's up, Star? And they're gonna go on land. Yeah, right. Man, the wonders I experienced by putting on music. 
If the Mega's on an island, what do you do? Just accept my fate. <laughs> Just accept my fate at that point. I feel like not enough people talk about how cool the new uh, merchant items look as well. Is this, you don't see them as often, you usually see the, the crate of diamonds. But like, all this new cargo looks really neat. Even better in the daylight, they're like, prismatic. Is it worth killing a Mega or a Kraken, or should you just ignore them? I mean, if you're solo, uh, you can kill Megs really quickly. It's just the, the loot is not worth it. That's one thing I wish they also had touched on. Because, um, you know, Season 11 made a lot of obsolete content relevant again, which I, I'm a big fan of. Um, but unfortunately, I do not find... I do not find it worth my time to stop to kill a Megalodon or a Kraken, no. Start playing Sea of Thieves again after I watch your videos. Hey, are, are you having a good time? You enjoying it? Did they fix the name? They did fix the name. Okay. Uh, I mean, water spouts. Do you mean like define a water spout? Because we kind of have something like that. Unless that's like a specific term that means something else. I think. Because like in the roar, we have something I would call a water spout, right? What's going on? Uh, we're looking for messages in the bottle. I found a few already. How are you? I'm doing pretty okay today. Thanks for asking. What do you think of skull and bones? I mean, it's it doesn't look super exciting to me. As somebody who has played... Uh, Black Assassin's Creed Black Flag. I don't see myself needing to play just a ship combat of that game. The only way I'd play it is if they paid me to play it. Just straight up. I think that's it, right? What's the inspiration behind your pirate? I hit randomize and then I hit OK. <laughs> I really did not have a lot of thought going on when I originally made this character. Uh, I know a lot of people knew they were going to make content for this game because they, they played like the beta or whatever, so they put a lot of thought into the pirates. When I first played this game, I just played it because Birdie asked me to play it. I, I thought we were going to play it once and then never again. Um, so I just like, yeah, random, whatever, it's going to do. So we need to separate some stuff. Uh, well, come on. Come with me. And then this one is on top of here. Um, let me show you a neat trick. Let me cook chat. In fact, let me grab my salad out of my fridge. It's like my kitchen's like literally one remote one second. snack if we're streaming a long time today. <laughs> All right. Mm. North Star. Northeast. How do you describe Sea of Thieves to somebody who doesn't know the game? And was a Spyglass? As a Spyglass is from last season's Thunder Pass. 
Um, how would I describe the game? It's like adventure sandbox, I guess. So now, chat room, I can let the water slowly fill up for the plants, and I don't need to like endlessly bucket the the freaking water barrel. Let me cook, proceeds to cook the ship. It's all part of the plan, chat. White merchant, because they got the best cosmetics in the game. Dong. Are T5 merchant deliveries any good rep for good rep? Uh, we're about to find out. <laughs> if nothing else, I think they're okay, because they're never like a crazy distance. Like this is, um, this is not that far away. Like, if you don't have a lot of time, it's like... Okay way of spending your time. Ooh, I'm so sorry to hear that, however. I hope you feel better soon. Question Hunter Skull, would that be great in your opinion? Yeah. We, we talk about that very often on Twitch. Um, monster hunting quests. Um, emissary flag. All that stuff for Hunter Skull. Would be really, really cool. I'm just going to indulge in my salad a little bit, chat. This is a good salad. Kraken summons as eating the salad. They'll be very inconvenient concerning the cargo I have, Masha. <clears throat> the pros and cons of Guild Emissary. Pro, you can sell any loot to the sovereigns, except for uh, Reaper chests and flags, I think. Um, and, and con is they only go up to 75% boost instead of 150. So it's like, you know. Um, Jack of all trades, master of none, type P. Can see your settings? They're just maxed out. <laughs> all the max settings. Loading up on salad so you can eat the $65 of Smash Burgers. Yeah, we did not decide to do that. <laughs> uh. For those of you that don't get the reference, uh, on, on Twitch the other day, I was trying to order Smash Burgers from the Smash Burger place. The only place that does smash burgers in my area, and they have a 65 euro minimum delivery fee, a minimum delivery, whatever amount of money you have to spend. And we were tempted. We tried to fill up a basket, but we couldn't like reasonably finish all that food. Next stream sub goal for smash burgers. <laughs> That's where to get merchant rep. Check out my uh, my last video where I hit merchant 100. Oh my gloves, right. Thank you, chat. Here we go. Hey, we got 1,000 likes. Let's go. Thank you, guys. Thank you for all the likes. And thank you for just chilling with me. This has been a really chill YouTube live stream. Usually, YouTube live streams are, like, super stressful. Super hectic. This has been really chill. Hey, thank you for walk watching them clockwork. Glad you enjoy them. Welcome in, Koinu. Please don't spam. The chat window is tiny. Hmm. What can I get chat to spam? Hmm. Chat, what is your favorite company in the game? I think mine... Uh, for gameplay, I would say Reaper, just because you can sell everything to them. Um, for cosmetics, I would say Merchant. Origami, what's up? Glad you made it to the YouTube stream. A lot of Ordo Souls enjoyers, hello there. The build rats, okay dude.
Definitive. Thank you for the 199. Appreciate that. Port of Ocean. No messages. I want more. More messages. C right here. I love the gold holders because I'm the only person in my crew that actually likes riddles. <laughs> yeah, I definitely don't. <laughs> I'm not crazy about riddles. Hey Cliff, seen your videos for a long time now for some of the stream. Uh, I was always wondering, what are you from? I mean, you have no accent at all to me. Uh, the, ac the accent is a weird mishmash of video games and MTV. But I, uh, I currently live in Germany. I'm back from driving and attending to my Volvo Excavator, which, by the way, sounds cool as hell. <laughs> Welcome back. Do you have a titch? You mean Twitch? Yes, it's in the description below. Welcome in, first time chatter. Um, let's... I can just drop this without breaking it, I'm pretty sure. Cheeky little delivery. By the way, we haven't checked um, how much gold we made off of our little run. 78,000 gold. Like, for like, what, 40 minutes of uh, doing just bottle quests? For new players, 78,000 gold in 40 minutes is pretty good. Again, that's why I recommend this to new players. This island hopping. Shipwrecks and all the like. Hey, what's up, newbie? I'm chilling. COTs is uh, finally getting updates again, so I'm a happy boy. Sixteen fifty. This with emissary bonus would be pretty good for like the little amount of effort we're putting into it. I just realized, yeah, this isn't the reason we shouldn't do these because we have a guild emissary. We only get the benefit from doing guild cells. Getting that sound over and over again. Hey, an old frog. What's up, old nonsense? A fitting name for uh, the scholar that you have become <laughs> of this channel. Uh, kind of cool. No blessed. Yeah, I get that, Murdoch. The plants can be really obnoxious. A decent amount of reputation. Again, we didn't have an emissary flag, so... Alrighty. How do you go backwards? You don't. The waves just kind of gently push you away. How long have you been playing this game? About 800 hours. That's a really good salad trap. It's time for good luck. I'm eating in real life. Honestly, this season has helped me recover most of what I lost. I had to resell my whole account due to an Xbox account loss. Oh. I'm glad you got it back. Oh, sorry to hear that you lost your account. It's a lot less hours than I thought. Exactly. 
people think I have a ton of hours in this game, but I don't. Because my job isn't to play the game, my job is to make videos. <laughs> and you know, unlike full-time streamers, I need to stop playing the game to make the content. That's why I don't have a lot of hours in the game. Alright. <clears throat> Let's see if there's some more messages here. Why not? <clears throat> Cliff will know something. Ages ago, I started playing Sea of Thieves in, I believe, season 6 or 7, but stopped because none of my friends had it. But YouTube recommended me the solo super video, and that made me play again. So I hope you're having a good time. I do think that, you know, there's plenty of fun to be had in this game as solo, so... If that helped you rediscover that you can actually enjoy this game without your friends, and... Enjoy it more when you have somebody around... I'm happy. I just hope you have a good time in the game, really. I think you will. I hope you enjoy the game as well. What's up, Donut? Hello, hello. It's kind of ironic, isn't it, Winter? Something tells me that they did that on purpose. <laughs> Pull this cannon cope and not have any cannons. I tried to get into a habit for the YouTube uh, VOD enjoyers um, to read out the questions before I answer them. But I often forget. Because <laughs> I know, like, when you're watching, like, when you're listening to the VOD, and it's like, I don't know, four to eight hours long, uh, you don't want to be looking at the chat replay to find out what I'm replying to. So, hey, if you're watching this in the future as a VOD, thank you. I uh, hope you have a fantastic day. And also, I bet I have a, I have a way of getting you to look at your second monitor right now. <clears throat> chat, are you ready for this? Jiggle physics. Bet you're looking now, aren't you? Smash the like button. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I'm dumb. Do you think Rash will bring back Arena? The game is more competitive than it was four to five years ago. It really isn't more competitive. <laughs> uh, they brought Hourglass as an Arena replacement, which I think serves the game a lot better. Um, Hourglass was discontinued for a reason, and I don't see why they should bring it back. Okay. I guess now we can circle back around to Lonely Isle. North by Northeast. Have you heard of Generation Zero before? Uh, I watched Neeb's gaming play through it. Look kind of generic. What are you gonna have for dinner? Not sure yet. I'm having a salad right now, like as a snack. Part of me wants to order food like reward myself but also I need to watch my weight so more time on the treadmill again because I did not do a lot of exercise in the last few months how do you use flintlock and sword? I don't as you can see Hourglass is not being removed, chat. Hourglass is a permanent feature. It's still here. You can still get your curse. Don't worry about it. They're not... Chat, they're not removing Hourglass. I promise you. 
Ah, uh, this is the Gilded Phoenix, I believe. What's your favorite thing about CLDs? Um, the sandbox nature, the rules not tools mindset. The being able to do my own adventures and tell my own stories. Chat, I, I don't have a go-to loadout. If you watch a bunch of my videos, you will see I, I run whatever makes sense at the time. I'm not married to any weapon loadout. When people use swords, I will usually use swords against them, because... Why not? Uh, when people double gun, I will double gun against them, because that makes them easier to kill. I will use pistol when I feel like it, I will use sniper when I feel like it. Like, I, I'm, not, I'm not one of these people that I'm like married to my weapon loadout. And I don't think neither should you be. No, I don't think they will ever remove Hourglass. Because Hourglass is just part of adventure. They don't need to remove it. Dude, I thought that was a freaking message in a bottle. I got baited. So many snakes. Mm. Okay, no messages. What level are you in our glass? 67, I think. Somewhere in the 60s. Uh, west. Uh, I only do commodity runs more current uh, when there's like multipliers, like Community Day, uh, Golden Glory, stuff like that. I don't tend to do them when there aren't any multipliers, because then the only way to make them viable is to like actually sort your loot and bring it to specific outposts, and I don't do that. I just dump them all at the final outpost. My favorite island is uh, Sea Dogs Rest. I got about eight hundred dollars in the game. Eight hundred. I hope you feel better soon, Zen. Swift recovery. And welcome. Ferry locations to this is a ferry because I visited the most. <laughs> you know, the ferryman and I were on a first we were on a first name basis at this point. I like foxes. I'm very petty with these. I do like foxes. They're really loud and obnoxious, but they're kind of cute. Do you do uh, FOTD anymore? Sometimes, yeah. We just did a stack the other day, like a little cheeky little four stack with Mifu on Twitch the other day. Last Saturday. There it is. Best way to grind motion as a solo super? Um, lost shipment voyages. <clears throat> if you rank 5, um, Ashen wins raids. This is a lot of reputation. If you can kill the boss quickly. If you can get, um, if you can get your Ashen wins down to sub 5 minutes, I think they're super worth it, as a solo. I showed my granddad Seothis and let him play. He's 70 and was better than me. <laughs> Let's go, Grandpa! Hell yeah! My man! For a solo gold holder? Uh, that I do not know. I don't do gold holding a bunch, unfortunately. 
so I don't really know what the best way is. Any more messages? Hello, hello? Oh, no messages. Okay. Why did you have to stop streaming? I didn't have to. My PC blue screens. <laughs> Chat, my CPU is broken. And I just kind of... I have to just thug it out, basically. Because uh, I can't replace... I can't afford a CPU replacement at, at present. Um, so we can't stream at 1440p. It's really the, uh, the consequence, basically. Let's go a little more north. Have a reset. The F-15 Eagle has over 100 victories and zero losses. Is that a... Is that a plane? It sounds like a plane. To Boulder Koi! Do you hit level 100 in every company? Uh, yes, except for Reaper and Athena. But I don't count Athena because I'm not doing it. <laughs> Athena's way too grindy, bro. I ain't doing that, dog. American Fighter. I see. What CPU are you using? I'm using the... Ryzen 9 950-950X. Something on it is broken and I keep blue screening and I can't figure out what it is. And I had a really tech literate friend of mine uh, go through the whole suite of testing and troubleshooting and we could not figure out what exactly is broken. Thank you, Jesse. I mean, to be fair, Mando, you can build very affordable PCs, depending on like what games you want to play. You can make a PC that is about as expensive as a, as a console, and you're not necessarily going to have like the same experience. But the PC is more versatile, you know? Because you can do more than just play games, whereas the console is more just a media thing. Like you can watch movies in the Xbox, but still in the PC. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Ethan, thank you for the five pounds. Just want to say this season and your videos have really got me back in the series. Keep being you, man. Thank you so much for the kind words, Ethan. I appreciate that thing for the five pounds as well. I'm glad you're enjoying this season because so am I. And I think that having a good time is contagious. So it really shows when you're having fun. Um, it's easier to like sell that to other people because you're just genuinely having fun. And cool, the guy is cool. $60? A $60 super chat and no message? Huh? You always have me choking my salad. $60 for the trip to America. <laughs> Just, I don't know that $60 pays for a new CPU, <laughs> but I, I appreciate it. Thank you so much for your generosity, everybody. Thank you, cool, the guy is cool. You are indeed very cool in my book. <laughs> Thank you so much. What a chat. No chat, we're not wasting the money on Smash Burger. Stop it. I need to buy a new CPU, I can't buy Smash Burgers for 60 euros. <clears throat> what kind of salad? So, uh, my local supermarket uh, has a salad bar where you can just like make your own salad or you can get pre-prepared ones. Uh, I got a couple of them. Uh, I made one myself, which was basically lettuce, cherry tomatoes, little um, <clears throat> little tiny mozzarella balls. What else to put on there? Uh, croutons, uh, corn, sweet corn. A tiny bit of dressing and slices of um, of chicken. I also got the um, what was it called? Like tortellini pasta salad. It also has mozzarella because I really like mozzarella. Okay, chances of here being uh, a flipping message in the bottle. 
I mean, we're probably gonna have Smash Burgers in the US at some point, probably. Dude, there's a really nice Smash Burger place downtown. Uh, but obviously, them being downtown, they don't deliver that far. And I don't think they do delivery at all. It's like in a really expensive mall. Chat, if you're squeamish <clears throat> about Merchant Cargo, don't look at this. Ah, uh, what's the fuck I said? Riva. Any messages? I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm still hungry after that challenge. <laughs> Your boy is still hungry. Alright, got nothing else. That's a Disney stick, I'm pretty sure, right? Yes. Mm. Ow. Sorry, I just had to check a notification. <laughs> you monster. I told you not to look when you're squeamish. I warned you. Where dost thou go with? Uh, sales margin no plus. Pirates Life 2 when no, please stop with the IP crossover toll tales, I'm begging. Make shows of gold part two. Or make, like, make something you know, unique to see of these, like the Shows of Gold. I don't want more Monkey Island. I don't want more Jack Sparrow. Please, I'm begging. If you're making a Toll Tale, make it unique to see of these. Make it like the Shows of Gold. Please. You can buy so many ancient coins. I mean, it's a business expense for me, right? It's a tax write-off. Which doesn't mean it's free. It's just <clears throat> deducted from my profits. I think cool messages are seriously underrated. I tend to agree. Especially the um, the shrines I do really enjoy. Left or right? Dang it, I turned the wrong way. The problem with these guys when they spawn on you is that <clears throat> they're not gonna leave you alone. So you kinda have to kill them before going to an island. My aim is very off, I'm sorry, chat. I mean, you're expecting mediocrity, so... I'm just delivering what the people want! Which is me being mediocre at this game. I'm actually hitting. Hell yeah. To spread up my damage so they sink faster, but I also gotta keep shooting at a uh, cannon range so they stop shooting me, damn it! And they're done. <clears throat> you sank to a skelly ship? I'm sorry to hear that, up, dude. I mean, it's happened to me before, right? I'm not being high and mighty about that. It's happened to me before. Did you know that Denmark's navy uh, comprises over 100 vessels, including frigates and patrol boats, ensuring maritime security? I had no idea. My brig was bodied by a sloop because my crew left mid-fight. Yikes. So yeah, that. We just saved ourselves some of this damage so I, if I hit their... Uh can line a bit more. A9, I sank your battleship. <laughs> okay, dude. How often do you stream? Uh, I don't really have a schedule. I kind of stream whenever I feel like it, whenever I have time. But it bears repeating because I, I, for those of you watching the VOD in the future, it's, I, I'm sure it's annoying for me to repeat myself constantly, but you know, there's new people coming into chat all the time. So I, I want to repeat this so as many people hear this as possible. Uh, I want to try to get back to having a new piece of content every week. And because my projects are getting bigger and more ambitious and they just take more time to make. Um, rank 5. I want to provide at least a live stream or uh, a short on weeks where I don't have a long form video done yet. 
I want to try and build that trust again. Because last year I was not very good at uh, keeping my one week per <clears throat> sorry one video per week quota because there wasn't really anything to make videos about. So yeah, I'm trying to get back in the swing of things. Unfortunately, I can't promise a new video every week, but I I will try and hold myself to having something every week. And if it's not long form, it's gonna be a short. If it's not a short, it's gonna be a stream. And if you enjoy the streams, uh, you can also follow me on twitchtv slash Carrios. Link in the description. I stream a lot more frequently than once a week. And also, there are new emotes in the making! <laughs> I have to say this, because like... A lot of the draw of subscribing, both on like membership on YouTube while like, subscribing on Twitch, are the emotes. And I know my emotes are trashed here. I hired an artist. She's designing a new mascot for me, and she's working on the emotes, and they're phenomenal! It takes a while for all of them to get done. Will you try Skull and Bones? Uh, not unless they pay me. I'm not really that crazy about that game. My chat, keep your eyes peeled for messages in a bottle. A bottle of water. Hmm. So far, putting uh, yeah, okay, veteran. <laughs> I'm not gonna read that out loud. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna read that dad joke out loud. Hope you're proud of yourself. What's the plan here? It's finding messages in the bottom. Because I really enjoy them. Oh, chat, I just realized um, we're rank 5 now. People can actually see us on the map. Uh, yikes. I forgore about that. Dude, come on. <clears throat> There's so much beach here. You just did that. There's no way. What? Excuse me? Cool. The guy is cool with a $100 super chat. Hi. There, I sent a message this time. <laughs> what? Ser Seriously, thank you so much. Holy crap. That's- that's huge, thank you. That's half a steam deck. Uh, Ash and Guardian. My beloved. Dude, thank you so much. Jesus. The CPU fund, hell yeah. Is that anyone near me? It is. It should be, yeah? I also forgot to dig up my four chests. Uh, okay, let me do this real quick. No, that lag. This should be right around here, I think? No, it's above here, yeah. It's over here. Even more Smash Burger stops then. <laughs> We're not ordering 65 euro Smash Burgers. Don't get about the key. <clears throat> I could have bought that. Oh, buddy. Dude, the music makes them like so scary, but they're literally one shot. Nothing feels better than Captain Souls on the same island you're on. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> veteran. This you need to be stopped. And at another twenty dollars, no message is a message to you. <laughs> Thank you for your generosity. I very much appreciate it. Chat, we are not getting Smash Brothers. Listen, listen to me, chat. 
They're too expensive. But I am funny. Okay, dad. <laughs> the heck is a smash burger? You don't know smash burgers? Imagine instead of having like a thick patty, you have like a bowl of uh, of ground beef and they smash it on a flat top. So the edges get like really crispy. And you have that as your patty. Usually like two of them at a time, I believe. Buy your own burger and smash it yourself. But then I have to clean my own kitchen and I hate that. <laughs> Did lightning just strike my boat twice? Sheesh. Uh, I didn't check the other side. It's like, yes, I could make smash burgers at home. But I like the convenience of not having to do that. Message! Yes! At long last? No! <laughs> no! Oh, damn it. Well, chat, I hope you're looking forward to seeing me struggle with that. Because I'm not good at X marks the spot on big islands. <sighs> I'm good. I don't need more facts about Denmark, but thank you. Been watching Super Life on YouTube. Been watching you on Twitch now. Well, I remember you, Kanekin. I actually do. <clears throat> uh, we're on YouTube right now, just you know, for the occasional little stream every once in a while. Uh, do you think you would ever try going on a real sailing ship? My experience is great. Uh, so, this is gonna be really funny. Considering I'm the biggest Sea of Thieves content creator on the planet. I get seasick. <laughs> <laughs> I actually cannot be on sailing boats without getting seasick. So, no, I'm not. The irony does not go past me, chat room. I know. I know. What a pirate, he gets seasick in real life. But listen, man, I just play a character. I play a character for, for the videos, you know? I knew it. Okay, Aiden. <laughs> Tall Tales with One Piece? I'd rather they don't do Tall Tales with One Piece. If they could get their hands on the One Piece license, which I don't see how they would, um, they're notoriously protective of their IP in Japan. Uh, I would rather have them, like, put mechanics into the game, like sea monsters, devil's fruits, stuff like that. That'd be sick. <laughs> 78 gold pieces, hell yeah. Hey, what's up, John? Uh, do you have the skeleton curse yet? And if not, it would be cool to make a video of you getting the skeleton curse. So, it took me a really long time to find an idea to make that fun. Because as we talked about earlier, you, you're probably not here for that. Um, our glass is really boring and repetitive. So finding a way to make that story of me getting the skeleton curse interesting took a lot of time. Uh, but I've landed on something that I'm quite happy about. A video that I think will be entertaining and useful for people trying to get better at PvP. So I am, it's one of the projects I'm currently working on. Is, uh, is a PvP related video, and yes, the Skeleton Curse plays a role in that. <clears throat> so, I ask of your patience, because I got a lot of really cool, but also really big projects that are really, really grindy, and I'm working on them simultaneously. Um, so just bear with me. I'm currently working on a really big video, which is the from zero to one million, uh, which is supposed to be a new player guide on how to make your first million. It's not really a guide, it's like my story of how I did it on a brand new account. Uh, doing things that you can as well as a new player. No, I get a response. Let me see your X map. Well, oh, I'm on the helm right now, so I can't really show you. You should do an editing stream. It's not as fun as you think. Uh, I did do editing streams on my old channel, on my Overwatch channel, and uh, they weren't really, they weren't really very popular. 
there's a small subset of people that is interested in watching me edit a video. And especially with, like, how unstable my PC has become, uh, editing has been a real chore. Thoughts on Overwatch 2? Um... Uh, I'm trying not to sound too, like, bitter about it, so all I'm gonna say is, I'm glad um, I, I don't play that game anymore. I'm glad I don't need to make videos about that game anymore. And name is Cliff Terios. you can find it on YouTube. YouTube.com slash Cliff Terios. Or slash user. Something like that. I have no idea where I am. I think that is uh, Smugglers. How about 100 tips for CFEs? You can make it fun, find random players, make them give you a tip. That sounds like a different channel. That doesn't sound like a video that belongs on my channel. I'm not buying Smash Burgers, Nathan! I'm not! I'm not buying S The whole point was I'm not buying Smash Burgers, because the one place that delivers them is too expensive. And now everybody thinks I spent 65 euros at a time getting Smash Burgers. I don't. I've never had food from that place. Uh, here's all. All right. Chat. Do as I say, not as I do, okay? Um, don't ever park in the middle of Smuggler's Bay. I'm about to park in the middle of Smuggler's Bay. Are you eating Smash Burger right now? I wish. It's more of the storm for now. Here we go. What's up, Vivi? You like what do you like more, FOTD or Veil? Oh, the Veil. The Veil is more fun than FOTD. FOTD is just like Bullet Sponge, the video game. Veil has like different modules and stuff. Do as Cliff do, got it? No origami. <laughs> no, do not park. I repeat, do not park in the middle of Smuggler's Bay. What do you think a pirate's favorite letter be? You would think it's R, but it's actually his love for the sea. Already heard that one. How long do you plan to stream for? For a little while longer. Mm -hmm. Do I have any holes? No. Things just rain water. Speaking of war, chat, stay hydrated. <clears throat> Alrighty. Oh boy, this is gonna be a chore. Screw you, foul bounty skull, I'm not taking you. Please give me three. That's another skull? Hold up. Hold up. Will you ever get the gold curse for a video? Uh, <clears throat> I need somebody to help me with a checkpoint cheese. Uh, Mifu and I, we might do it. But the point of the video wouldn't be to get the curse. God damn it. Because getting the curse is really boring. You just do the same total five times and you find journals, right? That's not content. Um, but having it for a gold hoarder related video, I would like to have it just for the B-roll. So we might do it, we might end up saying, hey, it's too much work. I know, yeah. Are you British? Every day I wake up and I thank God that I'm not British. Oops, joking, chat. Go far? You go far, nerd. Two 
two. We take those. We take those. Give me that. Kanakin, thank you for the gifted membership to Token. Appreciate that. Thank you so much, Kanakin. Is that a message from the Void Lawyers boy? Hello there? It's just one. God damn it! This is the worst one! This is the worst one! Ugh. The one message I don't want. Get some wood, only take your outputs. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, so. I am. Um, on the correct side for this one. Tips for a ghost fort. Uh, you can literally just stay on your ship and the ghost will come towards you and then you can shoot them from your ship and you can like, you know, take food and ammu ammunition from your box. Take cover. You don't actually have to chase them around the fort. I know a lot of people do that, but you do not have to do that. Um. Hmm. Chat, I told you I'm going to struggle with this. I told you I'm going to struggle with this one, chat room. Hmm. Do you have an editor? Nope. <laughs> I am my own editor. That's why it takes so damn long to make any videos. It's closer to this one, right? No, it's not that close, never mind. Uh, it's like where this starts, basically. Finally! Yes, it was worth it. I wonder why cats are the perfect animal. They are perfect for making puns, and it makes a lot of us feline good. Okay, dude. Yeah, the island aesthetically, I really like. Um, but man. Do I struggle doing any voyages here? Screw that skull. Kayuba, thank you for the 5 euro uh, super chat. Thank you so much. Is a little thank you for all the amazing content. Keep up the amazing work. Thank you so much, and thank you for watching the content. I'm glad you. I'm glad you enjoy it. Just in general, guys. Thank you. Like, obviously, the financial support is very much appreciated. But just the fact that you guys are here hanging out with me, and the fact that you're watching my videos, means a lot. I can't take that for granted. So, thank you for being here. Thank you for being here when you could have spent your time doing literally anything else. So, hope you guys have fantastic days. Damn it, I was really gonna try to first try. No, not again! Anyway. Uh, big rock. Um, hmm. Big rock, yep. Uh, rock in water. Uh, is this the correct sign? Is this the rock? I'm not entirely sure. At the grass by the sea. Thank you, I can see that. <laughs> it's further up, right? It has to be further up. That's wrong. Like here? Hell yeah. Uh, and to try and answer the question for a while ago, I'm so sorry. Seven the final time. Sorry, the chat goes really fast compared to Twitch. Uh, oh my, my Twitch streams are a lot smaller. 
I classify Water Spout as a tornado that breaks your mast and sends you flying, of course. Okay. Alright, gotcha. Is this on Twitch? No, not right now. Uh, I don't think my PC can handle dual streaming right now because my CPU is broken. So I only stream uh, on one platform at a time. But yeah, usually my go-to streaming platform is, is Twitch. Oh yeah, we're gonna be on YouTube more often now. YouTube only today? Also, I thought I escaped the storm. Alas, it is still here. The king chests look amazing. I love them. So good. I don't think I can reach that stuff, can I? Buy Smash Brokers. Okay, devil. How did one break a CPU? I mean, I don't know. Sometimes you get a faulty one. It was working really well for I don't know, a year and a half. But it's really acting up right now. It is what it is. Are you still using HelloFresh? Would you recommend it? I would recommend it. Uh, currently, I'm not using it because I'm trying to save money. Um, and the way that... Ow, I just put my own tongue. Ow, I'm an idiot. <laughs> the way that I save money is like you, you can cook stuff in bulk, right? You can just like buy a pack of pasta for like a buck 19. A jar of sauce for like a buck 49. And that can feed you the whole day. Um, whereas even the minimum quantity on HelloFresh is currently a little bit too pricey for me. Because I'm trying to save up money. So I would use it if I wasn't trying to save money. Does HelloFresh have Smash Burgers? Maybe. They might. Ow. My tongue hurts. I keep biting myself recently, chat. I don't know why. I keep biting like my own like the the like inner part of my uh, of my cheek. Idiot. Hmm. Chat, we're gonna be here a while. We are going to be here a while. Find like a crossroads. Crossroads acquired. Is it just like right here? Hell yeah. What are you saving for? Uh, I, I just don't have a lot of exp uh, disposable income in general. Uh, as of recently, because I got completely screwed over by taxes at the end of last year. Basically, the German government was like, Hey, pay us your 2023 taxes six months early. Also, we just made up a random number. And that was all of my savings. So I got a tax lawyer to help me with that. Um, but I still had to pay it. So they're like, hey, give us all of your savings because we want our taxes six months early. And that just put me so on the back foot. Only this month that, that my finances stabil uh, stabilize again. To the point where I'm not in danger of being in debt. Yeah, yeah. It's, you know, just taxes. My bro's openly cringing at you hunting treasure. Well, I'm openly cringing at him cringing. What about that? Nerd? Got him, John. The good thing is that, you know, at least having some amount of financial security back uh, helps with a lot of, ex like, finance-involved anxiety that I was uh, dealing with because of that. Um, and I actually managed to save up some money to go to the U.S. next month for a week. I'm going to be hanging out with Birdie, Brandon, and Echo. You guys don't know Echo, but he's also part of our friend group. Uh, but he doesn't play Sea of Thieves. We're going to be hanging out in Dallas, eating all sorts of great food. I mean, great all time. Now in Dallas, tax Texas. I can't really say Texas. <laughs> like taxes? I'm 29 years old. I'm approaching 30 this year. <laughs> so, not looking forward to that. 
Going, to, going on a holiday to New York on Friday. Hell yeah, Jones. He's going to get so many smash burgers in Texas. Uh, we're going to have a lot of great food. You only get king's chest from those? Uh, we also got one crying chest from them. So it's not always only them. Uh, but disproportionately, you seem to get these more than other things. Imagine if Texas was called Texas, yeah. <laughs> Imagine. As someone who turns 35 this year, don't worry, it's only downhill from here, thank you. Glad to hear that. I love the new season? Hell yeah. I'm also a big fan of the season. We're getting our ship in, in range of the last one over here. How did juggle chests? We just drop them and pick them back up? I don't know that I would, like, bother investing into learning how to do that. Uh, because Rare said at one point that they want to patch it, but I don't think they've successfully done it yet. Because, it, you know, by virtue of me doing it. Do you have the PvP curse? If not, would you grind it someday? I'm working on a video on that, Blini. Um But I didn't want to just be... I didn't want to just make it... Oh, I did Hourglass until I got level 100, because that's really boring. It's really repetitive. So I came up with a storyline that I think is more compelling. It's just going to take some time to finish that grind. Um, <clears throat> we're going to continue that, Miff and I, who's teaching me how to PvP. Uh, we're going to continue that on Community Day. Which I don't think they've announced what Community Day is yet. Uh, but Community Day usually gives you, like, Renown, uh, Allegiance, Gold, and Reputation boosts. So we're using the 2 times multiply so that the grind doesn't take quite as long. But that's going to be over on Twitch.television. Slash Cliff Terrios. Link in the description below. Hey, welcome in Squeeze Lemon. Glad to have you here. What are your thoughts on the Briggsy gloves and bell outfit on this Plunder Pass? Uh, this, I might be real, like, season 11 is probably my, my favorite season in a long time. But the Plunder Pass doesn't hit for me. Um, the bell cosmetics, I guess, are cool, but I'm not going to use any of them. I thought last season's uh, Plunder Pass was really good. Really enjoyed that. Um, but yeah, I'm not crazy about the cosmetics for this Plunder Pass. What do you want in Season 12? It's kind of a mood point for me to say that because I already know what's coming next season. It's just I'm un under NDA and I can't talk about it. I do like the ship cost money for this Plunder Pass. I mean, hey, if you enjoy them, I'm happy for you. They're serious lacquer. I'm sorry to hear that, Warburg. Glad to have you here anyway. Uh, Fox, you can zoom into the map by hitting interaction. Your interaction key while you have the map out. Are you excited for the next season? Uh, I am looking forward to it, yes. More so than... It's not that I'm like... Wait, is that a mystery in the bottom? Quicker distraction. Not just a gold pouch or something. It's not that I'm like, I'm crazy excited about the season specifically. What, what, what season 12 has me excited for is the direction of the game. Because I disagreed firmly with the direction of the game all throughout 2023. And season 10, 11, and 12, to me, feel like they're finally going in a direction that I like. The things that I love COTs for. Apparently, zooming in the map is R3 on a controller for all my uh, console enjoyers. Why don't you play some in-game instruments while sailing? Or oh, because I'm usually managing the ship and talking to chat again. Follow to the Twitch, uh, got into COTs recently with a buddy and love your videos, keep it up. Hey, thank you so much, Afro. Love your storytelling content, love from India, welcome in, welcome, welcome. What specifically did you not like about last year's direction? I mean, the biggest thing being Cadence. Um, they took too long to bring up their updates and the updates were extremely low impact. Um, like, Guilds was a nothing burger at the end. It was extremely underbaked, despite them working on it for so long. 
Uh, Monkey Island was easily the worst tall tale they ever added to the game, an IP that nobody gives a crap about. Uh, with the gameplay... Well, if you can call it gameplay. The quote-unquote gameplay of Monkey Island was atrocious. You don't turn an, an action-adventure game uh, into a point-and-click. You, you just downgraded the game. You made it more boring. Um, not to mention that the story was so just not my cup of tea. Um, but also, ignoring Monkey Island and guilds, the whole focus on adventures I did not like. Because in my opinion, what makes COTs amazing is people telling their own stories. Experiencing their own stories as they like, you know, exist in the world, interact with other players. So them trying so hard to shove adventures in story content down our throats, I found extremely annoying. Their insistence on having NPCs spout minutes long exposition at you. And they just do not shut up. All, like, not all, but a lot of the NPCs are so far up their own butts, it's actually crazy. Like, they just love the sound of their own voice. Funny, coming from me, who narrates his own videos, but... <laughs> yeah, I just, I hated their focus on, on narrative. It felt like they wanted to make a single-player adventure game, uh, and not a multi multiplayer sandbox. So, what makes TV special is the sandbox, the tools not rules nature, and how we tell our own stories, and they said, hey! Screw your stories, we want to tell this story, and you're gonna like it. And you cannot skip any of this uh, exposition. That's my... There is my 2023 rant. <laughs> this is why I did not like 2023 in CFTs. Do you have any, le any tips on how to get Pirate Legend fast? I would recommend not to rush it, because that just leads to burnout. I would say just play the game, like do whatever you enjoy doing. And as you play, you will notice that your levels go up anyway, as long as you turn in treasure. And at some point, you're gonna be like, hey, I'm like a few levels away from Pirate Legend, and you can just finish it. That's why I did it. It took me three months of playing like once or twice a week. Uh, but I got there, just playing however I like to play. How do you feel about the idea of adding other ship types? I would rather have variations of existing ship types. So another two-player sloop, another, uh, sorry, another two-player, three-player, four-player uh, vessel. Instead of being like, hey, here's a one-player ship, or a five-player ship. Can I find anything specific right now? Uh, we're just doing message and bottle quests, and we're picking up whatever we find with our guild emissary flag. Would you ever grind for the gold curves? Uh, unlikely. I would probably just checkpoint she's not. It's almost like doing the same thing five times is not content. <laughs> it's really boring. At least in Monkey Island, uh, you don't have to complete the total five times. Yeah, but the fact that that's our, like... The fact that we consider that a good thing is kind of sad for the rest of the game, if you think about it. Um, the... Oh, what's the, the Tall Tale code where you get the Ashen Curse? I think that one got it the most right. I still don't love it. I don't love them being like, hey, do the same thing three times. But for that specific Tall Tale to get that curse, uh, you could take three different paths. So at least your playthroughs were a little different every time. How to Fire. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's How to Fire. Yeah, for How to Fire, you had three different paths you could take. So, And they only made you do it three times, not five times. So that was like the lesser evil. But five times? That just sounds like padding to me. Like content padding. fast unload like that i just i i just harpoon it <laughs> you just keep holding plus one or keep clicking plus one recommend strategy on making money solo uh, get a rank 5 emissary flag for order of souls uh, and then learn how to do ash and winds really quickly i think if you have a rank 5 order of souls emissary 
uh, and you can complete Ashen Winds in like, I would say, if you can get your Ashen Winds clear time down to under five minutes, it's worth it. Um, and then with a rank five Order of Souls Emissary flag, you get at least 50,000 gold per run. With the diving, you know, the, the raids, the Ashen Wind raids. I think that's a really good way because it's like, like, yeah, sure, you need to level up the Emissary flag. But once you've done that, um, it's pretty smooth sailing. How much is this specifically worth? Oh, I have too much other stuff. 5,800. Shoosh. Yeah, you can use uh, Total Checkpoints to choose it as long as you have somebody else in your crew. You can't do it solo. Right, how much money have we made so far? 144,000 gold? I mean, not crazy, but not bad. Not crazy, but not bad. It's a list. You still remember the Athena? Uh, the Arena mode? I have never played Arena. I had no interest in playing Arena. What time of the 32 million you had? I, I never had 32 million. <laughs> I don't think I ever had uh, more than 17. I don't think we ever touched 20 million. At the end of last season, we had 17 million. And we spent like 4 million, I think, um, buying new cosmetics. Our captain votes worth it uh, for main gold hoarder. Not if you're solo. There's so many reasons for why the vault is not worth it when you're solo. <clears throat> for one, you need to leave your ship alone while you're doing the, the thing, right? While you're in the vault. That sucks. Also, they don't have the new new loot in the vault. It's the old loot. And that means you have a lot of low value items that you need to carry, which takes time as a solo. Might have you confused between you and Toxie? That's fair. I think Toxie has more money than me. Oh, I'm kind of overshooting you. How do you get better rarity vaults? Uh, I think it's just the difference between pirate or a captain. You just take the, the one that takes longer. How many times do you stream? Uh, I don't really have a schedule. I just kind of stream whenever I feel like it. But at least once a week. If you guys enjoyed the stream, uh, make sure you follow me on Twitch. Link in the description, twitch.tv slash cliff, uh, sorry, cliff terrios. Um, because we do tend to stream more often on Twitch. Another Ashen Captain. So just to show you guys real quick, for Gold Hoarder. If you uh, do treasure vaults, so a pirate's treasure vault, that's a low value one, and it takes four out of five in length. And then the captain's treasure vault, you see it takes longer. Uh, three pieces versus six pieces of the treasure map. Uh, this one's the better value. And then same for the uh, Ashen variety. So the one that takes longer usually pays off better. That's like, that's a, that's kind of the rule of thumb here uh, in Sea of Thieves, is that if you look at this and it takes longer, Usually it means it pays better, but there are some exceptions. Uh, notably, the shrines and the uh, the treasuries. They do not have great payouts um, compared to like literally anything else. <laughs> they don't even have hero items, so I would not recommend those. Strange because I link your voice to a story narrator, not just a casual one. Yeah, I, I get that a lot. Oh, you guys have defeated some phantoms, huh? These skulls are so worth it. I would be upset about getting Ashen Captains as opposed to Skelly Captains. Because uh, now that... <laughs> now the voyages are free, I don't really need the balloons anymore unless I want to buy cosmetics. But the skull itself is super valuable. 
so. It's hard to be mad about that. One, two, three. It's number three. Next to the plant, right here. When you reset your rank with a company, do you have to re-unlock the raid voyages? Uh, no, don't think of it as a reset. Think of it as prestige. It says level, like, it says distinction one, level one, but it's really level 101. What's your favorite game of all time? It's a JRPG called Tales of Symphonia. That game is why I taught myself English. Because I really like the narration in that game. Uh, yes, Fire Volcano. If you have the Guild Emissary flag up, you get reputation towards all the companies. So if you don't want to specialize on anything, if you don't want to grind out something specific, uh, that is usually the way to do. Chat, what do you think for the next live stream? Uh, for the next YouTube live stream? Should we just do a bunch of raids? I'd be down for that. I enjoy doing raids. I can show you guys how to uh, do Ash and Winch really quickly. But to be fair, I've shown it in the uh, what to do on your first day in Sea of Thieves. So if you want to watch that, you can find it. My favorite emissary flag is definitely Reaper. The fact that you can see other emissaries at rank 5 and you can sell everything to the same company and get max uh, rewards? Sick. Is Fire Fortune doable solo? Yes, it is. Uh, the best way to do it is with firebombs. So you kind of want to like play Ring Around the Rosie with the AI, like clump them up and then throw a firebomb at them and let the fire kill them. That's the fastest way to do it, I think. And then uh, usually Disney sticks, uh, tridents for the bosses. I think that's a pretty fast way of doing it. Update since last stream, uh, I found some competent friends to play with. Nice one, Radioact. I'm glad to hear that. Have having a good time. The last stream I was at was the sick fishing stream. Oh my god, I remember that. <laughs> that stream was so cursed. Four kegs, really? Hold up. Do my eyes deceive me? No, they do not! Only one quest. Another delivery! It's the worst one again! Crate of wood? Crate of cannons? Are you serious, Rare? Uh, if I didn't have overheal, I would take the easy way out. A normal Ashen chest, right? Ashen chests are always better. The, the Ashen variety of any loot will always sell more than the basic variety. How are you doing the sword dash with the jump? Uh, I can show you on the island again. I showed it once on stream, but not everybody here was there for that. This does feel pointless. I wish they didn't have these. The 16th. Uh, today's the 12th. This game's still popular? Yeah. In fact, it's getting more popular now that the updates are coming back at a regular pace again. Alright, gamers. Let me show you the, the sword. Technique. How to lunge very, very far. So, for those of you who were not here earlier when I showed this, um, let me show you a basic sword dash. This is just me holding mouse one. Okay, well, let me kill these guys first. You see how that doesn't go very far, right? By comparison, this is the, the far lunge. It goes way further. Once again, we start at this wood thing, right? At, the, at these planks. I don't even get to the ammo pouch. Now if I do it the other way, I'm like almost at this thing, right? So the way you do it is uh, you hold block. So in my case, it's right click and you keep holding this button the entire time. You hold block and then you hold mouse one. And when you hear the swoosh, you hit space or jump. So now I'm holding right click, still holding right click. And I jump when I hear the swoosh. Click and right click. Still holding right click, left click, still holding right click, jump. It's not a dog, it's, it's a uh, it's a fox. She's so happy.
All right. <laughs> uh, we are just here to check, right? Yeah. Let's see, look for bottles. Educational stream over here. I mean, hey, if I can help. Where's like and subscribe? Uh, subscribe is in the box. Uh, like, I think, was Brody's, uh, Brody's dog. What's up, Finn? Can we get an outfit tutorial? There really is no tutorial for outfits. You just pick what you like. Go to the box and you put it on. Yeah, dude, we've been sitting on, on this one for a while. Should probably go pick those up. Message in a bottle, my beloved. Uh, Ashen Athena is worth more than regular Athena. Again, chat. The Ashen variety of loot will always be more valuable than the basic variety. Rule of thumb. I played in season five. How much has changed? A lot has changed. <laughs> There's PvP and PvE on demand now. There's a basically the whole way that you did voyages has completely changed. What the dog doing? What the dog doing, bro? Yo, what the? What is the dog doing? Huh? Are you okay there, bud? Jiggle physics. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no way, bro. What the shark doing? What's up, Clark? Bruce is broken. <laughs> A majestic shark in his natural habitat. I talked about land sharks earlier. <laughs> oh, let me get some water. As a marine bi biologist, I can confirm the success. Okay, dude. Don't disturb Bruce over here. Oh, we disturbed him. No. Yo, is a keg skelly. I'm sick today. I, I hope you feel better soon, Funny Rat. Don't tell Toxie sharks can walk now. <laughs> the real enemy. Not gonna lie, being always hungry sucks. Uh, I ate two pirates plates, so two plates of pasta and I'm not full. I know I know what you mean. Like I've been trying to eat less recently. I, I just I I hate the feeling of like being hungry. It's it's such a first world problem because like it's not true hunger, right? It's not it's not like people who don't have enough food. It's not the same kind of hunger. It's just like it feels bothersome. It makes it really hard to focus. I got scammed! I saw the touch! I saw the touch. I ate two pirates of pasta, listen. <laughs> you make mistakes, okay. Land Kraken next, can you imagine? Now to get the jellyfish ship, ship set? That was either a plunder pass or a store cosmetic. What's the stuff you use on your ship? I, unfortunately, I don't know the names of all of them. I think these cannons were from like last or last of the previous um, plunder pass. Uh, Sail is merchant ambassador. 
Gold Leaf Capstan, Gold Leaf Wheel, um, Merchant Ambassador Figurehead, and the Fates of Fortune ship set. I remember most of them, hell yeah. Fates of Fortune ship set, yeah. I'm accidentally doing the trap maker. What do you mean by accidentally? How does one do that accidentally? Any messages? What piggies? What Are you streaming on Twitch? Not right now, but usually yes. Hey, thanks for dropping by, Toast. Hope you enjoy the game once it's done downloading. Okay, let's not get sidetracked. We go east first and then we go to Mermaid Sideway. Finally pick up this, uh, this stuff. How much is your CPU? I think like 500 euros, I'm not entirely sure. Hey, congratulations Ethan! Congrats on Pirate Legend! My dog just pooped on my cousin, what do I do? Hello Jack. I'm sorry that this is the first message you hear. <laughs> uh, I mean... Sounds like a cousin's problem. <laughs> How many balls have we got so far? Uh, we didn't count any of them. We just did them. Well, we got two of them that are kind of trash. But we've done all the other ones. We made about 150,000 gold. What do you get a pet from? From the Pirate Emporium for real money, unfortunately. Unfortunately. It's the only way to do it. Almost part of Legend, those Raid Voyagers are really helping. That's what I'm saying. People are like so down on Raid Voyagers because they don't get as much loot. But like they give so much reputation and way more gold. But if Amokris need a ladder, just PvP habit. So I don't need to run down to reload when I take one shots. What does getting bottles do? You get quests from them. And the bottle quests are usually better than the ones from your quest table. Usually. Not always, but most of the time. What the What just... Huh? What about the music? Yeah, huh? What about the music? I got scanned out of music. <laughs> anyway... Come on! Server authority fit Marcus, by the way. Why is this guy hugging me? I hope you're having a great day, Cliff. You're my favorite CFTs YouTuber, and you're the reason why I'm addicted to this game. I hope you're enjoying your time. as not just addiction. But <laughs> well, thank you for the kind words. Can confirm the messages and bottles tend to give King's chest? Hell yeah, they do. Man, chat, it is so much harder to keep up with you guys on YouTube versus on Twitch. Just by virtue of there being more of you. So I'm trying to find moments where I can play the game in between replying to comments and I still don't get all of them.
How much does the king chest sell for? I think about 3,000 without emissary. It's so like 7.5k with a rank 5 reaper or gold hoarder. Who do you think is the sweatiest streamer in CFDs? I don't know. I don't usually watch the like the hardcore sweat PvP guys. So I don't really know. I switched from Pistol to Eye of Reach because of uh, watching you play. I've gotten pretty good with it too. If I do say so myself, keep up the awesome work. Hey. I just, just make sure you don't get married to the weapon loadout, you know? I always change my weapon loadout depending on like what I think makes sense. I don't like the idea of just being like, yeah, I'm the sword and pistol guy. I know some people enjoy doing that, and I mean, you know, I can't stop you. You play the game however you want to play it. Uh, I just think you're you're limiting yourself if you're not making use of the full arsenal of weapons in the game. What happened to the Overwatch channel? Uh, Overwatch happened. <laughs> Blizzard let the first game die, and then they released the half-baked second one. Uh, so I did. Chat, watching some of the drama unfold around Overwatch 2's development cycle, I'm like, I'm so happy to be out of that. I'm so glad not to have to make videos on that game anymore. Alright. Now, Mermaid's Hideaway. Best. Much of a, a cheat problem the CRTs have nowadays. I saw you finding someone who TP'd and I just got killed by someone who disabled my sprint somehow. Uh, I don't think they can disable your sprint. You might have just gotten a bug. Uh, I had that bug a couple times as well. There's some button, I forgot what, that like disables your sprint. Uh, I don't think that's a cheat. But I don't run into cheaters all that often. Like me running to one today is like one of the rare times. I can count on one hand the amount of uh, cheaters I came across. But also realize like the way I play the game is I don't run around and fight everybody I see. Most of the time I mind my own business and I talk to people. You know, I talk to people that want to talk, I fight people that want to fight. But I don't do hourglass. Not usually, anyway. Uh, and I don't go around sinking everyone inside most of the time. So, I'm not exposed to as many opportunities to run into cheaters. So take my experience with a bit of a grain of salt. You know Zilbrad, no CRTs? I'm pretty sure you made videos on the game. Right? I'm pretty sure I've seen some videos. Okay, I need to look this up right now. It's gonna kill me. So bad. Yeah, literally that's the second result I get. There's a whole playlist! There's a whole playlist of videos he made. I knew I wasn't crazy. I knew I saw these before. <laughs> What's up, Zinger? Have you ever tried to solo sail a brig? No, don't do that. No, soloing a galleon is not funny. There he is. <laughs> oh, like, there's no way people ask me that question, right? <laughs> Alright, let's look for some more bottles here. If you're not PvPing, yes, it is relaxing. I do agree. I think that's a nice thing about CO3s, especially for streaming. Is that you have, like, really high stakes, high action PvP. But in between these battles, you have this, like, really nice relaxing time where you can talk to chat. Stop! Bruh. Did you play CO3s on launch? I did not, actually. <laughs> I've never played this game on launch. Uh, I heard it was not very good. I heard it had like no content. Uh, first time I played it... <sighs> when was that? Chat, when did they add the Reaper's Hideout before it was Reaper's Hideout? Like when there was just a tent and the Masked Stranger. 
When was that? Like when they just introduced Reaper's bounties. That was the very first time I played Sea of Thieves. And I played for a few weeks and I took a, a break and I revisited like next year. Like I took a bunch of breaks in between playing. Amazing on launch though. I mean, here's the thing, right? I think the, th the thing that Sea of Thieves has going for it that's really strong with is the world. So even if there wasn't a lot of content, I hear a lot of people, you know, rave about launch. And I rave about, you know, the first time I played the game because the sense of wonder of ex and exploration of finding yourself in a brand new, like, open world game like this is just unmatched. It's like the first time I played World of Warcraft and I explored the zones for the first time, you know? I, I cannot recreate this magic of me playing CLTs for the first time, but I, I cherish that memory. So I think uh, that's probably what, what kept people uh, going in the early days, right? It's just like the game being new and the world feeling, hell yeah, uh, just feeling cool to be in. How do I keep getting these? Dang it. Come on. Hmm. Get some overheal back. Nom, nom. Very buggy back then. Boy, do I have news for you. <laughs> Does he know? <laughs> Is that still the Megalodon? What they did like three years... Uh, what they did like three years though... Made PC lobby so much harder by making console plays automatically not to be in PC lobbies. Oh boy. Oh boy. Ooh. Uh, I can see myself struggling with that. <laughs> I'm not very good at PvP. Uh, okay, let's see that. Whatever, let's do it. Northwest. Uh, northeast, don't mind. See if this wasn't always will be full of bugs, I guess. Why oh, is there no Twitch stream? Uh, because my PC can't handle dual streaming right now. <laughs> I need a new CPU. Are you sure, Gremlin? Are you sure it's not just like confirmation bias? I don't know that like there's one island that has them disproportionately more than others. I literally never lost a proper fight, lose all your loot until that change. God damn. I love. <laughs> I have to address this, right? I love how chat is like, wait, Zilbrad is in chat? I'm just like. I need to act like I'm so not surprised, but I'm just as surprised as chat. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know why you'd be watching my stream, but hey, what's up? Welcome. <laughs> What's up with you CPU specific? Uh, I have no idea. Um, I have a very tech literate friend that ran the whole gauntlet of testing and troubleshooting and we could not find out what's wrong with it. It just sometimes blue screens, but it's not a real blue screen, so I don't get an error message. And we've identified certain like high CPU load scenarios what happens. Like today I found out I can't stream in 1440p because my damn PC crashed. So that's that. I heard console lobbies were a lot more chill from people I've played who use console and switch over. Mm. I basically considered the game again and checked YouTube and saw yours was the best. Yeah, I'm kind of a big deal. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of the biggest fish around. That's pretty true, that's pretty true. True? Yeah, it's true. Chat, show some, some respect, come on. Show some re show some, I cannot speak, damn it. Show some respect, chat. Him and Todd need to get back on Sea of Thieves. It'll be fun. It's always, to me, it's always fun seeing people that, um, <clears throat> that, like, used to play the game come back and re-experience it. Especially after, like, really big updates where they change the core experience. 
like when Wellen came back to the game uh, we played together, the first thing I want to show him was like, hey, check out Legend of the Veil. Hey, check out Hourglass. You know, because like that stuff's brand new. Cliff being so humble. Yeah, I am the biggest CODs YouTuber on the planet. What about it? <laughs> it's just numbers, chat. It's just numbers. You can all read numbers. It's fine. All right, gamers. Time to do merchant stuff. You just went past the rarest thing in the game? Like what? How many levels are there to Seeker of Ancient Vaults? I have no idea. Uh, the trader. God, my FPS is so bad here. I have a 3090 Ti with a 5950X. Rare, please. But I bring the spoils of plenty, alright. Oh, I can't see stuff and things. You know one thing that's like more difficult about YouTube streaming, besides there being more people in chat and me getting overwhelmed? Um, <clears throat> I, I can't curse on YouTube. I mean, you know from my videos, I always censor it or I just don't put it in the videos when I curse. Uh, Twitch doesn't give a frick about... Damn it. Yep, these guys want these hands. What's that, Athena? No, it's also guilds. Oh. Damn it. It's not looking too good for us, chat. That's a 2v1. I don't have the right loadout right now. Okay. So they're not like crazy good at PvP, but there's two of them. I feel oppressed by YouTube not having to swear. I'm okay with it in edited videos, but it's a lot more difficult in live streams. Uh, I need blunder bombs for one. I've got pineapples, more pineapples, here we go. Okay, since this is a 2v1, I'll try and double gun. Let's see if they let me on the ship. Now here's where we learn how good they really are, is whether or not they let me on the ship. Okay, yeah, they're paying attention. Oh, somebody donated! I'm so sorry! Daryl, thank you for the 499! I appreciate that. Oh, damn it. I'm not entirely sure how we win that, because at least one of them is actually competent. And there's a 2v1. Please let me back in the game. Thank you. Uh. Ow. Okay. <laughs> Screw you, bro. Sweating on me like that. Come on. I can't ace combat anything. There's just one of me and there's two of them. Should you call up a friend to join the crew? Me. I just take these L's on the chin. Uh, can you buy things for the five bucks? Sorry, I did not see that. Can you guys stop, you absolute sweat loach? It's gonna be on me, isn't it? Pretty sure it's gonna be on me. Screw you. It's on me. Ways are stopping me right now. I 
take a peace bolt. I'm whiffing, dog. Okay, dude. Blunder snipe. Oh, go home. Oh, I can't get on my own ship now. Wait, he fell off. I got food dragged. There we go. Uh, this is really bad. My anchor is down and my sails are down. But I paid protection money to. Uh, <laughs> the skelly sloop. Come on, skelly sloop, go get him! It's all you right now. No! Other guy! <laughs> Not me! <laughs> Not me! <laughs> get the other one! Oh god, what is this like? Jesus. Get the other guy! I can peace bolt! Come on, man! <laughs> this is- This is- This is not fair, man. I need to deal with players and the skelly? Oh my god. I'm getting absolutely ruled. Gonna be on the ship any second now. I'm stuck on my own damn ship! Okay, this is this is the guy that's not very good. And I'm lagging like crazy. What the hell? Okay, ship is gone. He's a blunderbot. The other guy's good. This guy's not very good. Yeah, you better eat. You better eat, homie. Keep eating. Keep eating, bro. I got bullets for days, homie! GG's, guys. I got bullets for days! I'm not gonna kill the other guy. The other guy's actually good. Damn, bro. I got just teamed up on. That's not fair. Dude, the skelly ship joining in on that was not fair. Wait. Pretty sure I took everything out, yeah. So take one of these. Uh we take this. Oh god, I forgot how annoying these are too. No! You sweat lords! Damn it, man! <laughs> Screw you guys! Dude, the one guy could only hit me when I was literally st standing still. Ah, oh, the damn 2v1s! It's always the 2v1s! I think we did- I think we did as well as we could have, considering we literally had a skelly ship spawn on us in the middle of that fight! Should've been there for the glory days of PC PvP. I feel like I will get shit on even more than I am right now. Man! At least let me have my 2v1. No need to have the freaking skelly ship join in on that. I literally got rared, yeah. Literally got rared. Oh, free supplies. They're empty! God damn it. Okay, dude. That's a soul play experience, yeah. That's what I'm saying, chat. Like, I could invite somebody into my group who's, like, really good at PvP and then just, like, have them kill these guys from me. But that's just disingenuous. Like, the whole point of my videos is, like, being relatable. And that is the relatable solo play experience. You get 2v1'd and then the skelly ship decides to help them instead of you.
That would be amazing if the scholarship helped me. How nice to see you. I'm gonna tell you that three to four years ago, you would have won 97% of your battles. Is it like uh, Apex at launch? Yeah. Apex at launch, before SBMM, we literally won almost every single fight. Uh, sorry, every single game. Man, those were the days. Pre-SBMM. Open crew? No, I hate open crew. You never know what you get for open crew, man. I could have somebody just like spouting racist stuff into the mic. Give me one second, chat. I gotta read this message. I got a company reach out about a partnership, and they just got back to me. So I'm very interested. It's because of console players used to go into PC lobbies and uh, all that open mic, I would verse like no PC players ever. We still get Xbox players, just not that frequently, I guess. The thing too about uh, fighting Xbox players is that there's no like super egregious uh, aim assist. I don't like Fortnite, bro. When I played Fortnite, uh, I could literally tell in the first second of fighting somebody whether or not they were a console player. Because they would beam me from across the map. I was like, no PC player has that kind of aim. And the vast majority of the time, I would be right. It's like, yup, that's a PlayStation player right there. <laughs> Better take cover. What should I do after Pirate Legend? Just play the game. Amos is an Apex. Uh, well, when I when I played Apex, I don't think there was crossplay. I don't think there was crossplay between uh, PC and console. But wait, don't pro players in Apex literally play uh, controller and mouse and keyboard? Don't they do mouse and keyboard for movement and they switch to control in fights? Isn't that literally a thing in the pro scene? Fortnite video soon? Absolutely not. You can loot that wooden box and learn something there every day. Hey, what's up, Lloyd? First time seeing you live. Uh, love the videos. Thank you. Glad you enjoyed the content. And welcome. Do you want to know a secret? <laughs> I don't think I've ever won a fight on a YouTube stream. And that's a good thing. I can't talk about it more. But if you're on the Twitch streams, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> it just dawned on me. Like, of all the live streams we did, I don't think we won a single fight uh, on YouTube. If you're in a coma, do you actually learn something new every day? Bro asking the real questions, oh my god. Uh, <laughs> here's, here's the thing about dreams, right? Dreams are like, one half of your brain comes up with something, and the other half of the brain is genuinely surprised about that. But how can you learn something when you don't get, like, outside information? Do people in comas, like, hear other people around them talk? Is it, like, incorporated into their dreams? Like, I don't know. Do you learn something new every day in the coma? Hmm. Curious. Hey, good luck, Murdoch. I don't have a sword. My sword back. Have you tried lucid dreaming? Yes. <laughs> I have. 
Apparently, there, there are people, I have a friend, uh, who says he's uh, he does want to mess with lucid dreaming because he's, like, afraid he's going to get addicted to sleeping and, like, being in a state of complete control of his dreams. Around derp. Dude, the music goes unreasonably hard. <laughs> uh, are we done? We done? Okay. Oh yeah. that Merchant Hall? Nope, this is the uh, Fates of Fortune Hall. Let's go, Lucid Enjoyer. <laughs> I tried to get uh, a card to hit me while Lucid, but it served on an... It swore on an invisible wall? Wow. <laughs> Dude. I remember once I had a Lucid dream. Now, you guys gotta know about me. Something I enjoy is, like, hero tropes. I enjoy media with, like, heroes. Like, good guy defeats a bad guy kind of deal. Um, and I had a lucid dream where I, uh, I had, like, superpowers myself. And I would just basically, like, spawn people for me to beat up. <laughs> so I was like, whoa, this is so cool. I got superpowers now. <laughs> yeah. So I, I, until I woke up, I was just like, time to beat up bad guys. Superman? Now Superman's too boring. I got scammed. I didn't get my meat. Dang it. Out of new stream, never caught one before. Now I need more of your content between videos. Uh, Walsh, we might be doing this more often uh, on weeks where I don't have a video. So when we don't have a video, we're going to be streaming instead, or at least a short. Other than that, if you enjoy the streams, uh, check out my stream on twitch.tv slash Clefterios. Link in the description below. Also, let's get the off the sword before we get our ke teeth kicked in by that guy again. I don't think we had a lot of loot. What do we want to do? Let's do uh, ash ashen bottles. Let's look for ashen bottles, hey? Where the gang at? No, 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 not sail to location. I keep doing that. I mean, it's better this way than the other way, but... Don't hey. Die. You can find my Twitch in the description below. Dude, this music goes so hard. How on earth do these people remember their dreams? I can't remember what I had for breakfast. <laughs> Simply skill issue. An issue of skill. You get less loot for diving? No. Do you think Rash should add more historic stuff from when pirates existed? You mean like curses and magic? <laughs> Realism is of no concern to me. Oh, thanks for hanging out, Gremlin. Have a good one. You can have my basil spikes over there? I will gladly take them. We all know Davy Jones was real, yeah. We're gonna hit the island. Reality check yourself right now, you're dreaming. I can see my hands, now we're good. Oh my god, real Zilbrat in my chat. Am I dreaming? <laughs> real celebrity in my chat room, Pog? And we get a new robot. Do you like season 11? I love season 11. Yo, the actual rarest robot! Okay, chat. Don't let rare gaslight you into thinking that the rarest robot is the, is the white one. The, the good boy one. The non-colored ones are so much more rare. Trust me. I've seen more good boy robots than I've seen uh, basic robots. Where the gamers are. You... 
Oh, I forgot I didn't have cooked food. That makes us a little annoying. For the basic rowboat in the middle of the skelly fold, we spent 30 minutes trying to drag it out. I respect that commitment <laughs> more than anything. Of Jessica Bonebreaker. Yo, it's my ex girlfriend. Let's go. We got the goods. Not that this is what we're here for. <laughs> we need to check for messages in the bottle. At last. Right, looting here. Grade one, Voyager of Souls. Of Voyagers of Souls? Can you say Megamine Line explosion when you fire that thing? <laughs> Can you imagine if I could recite that entire thing? I mean, she has a different one every time, right? That entire thing. Darkness, that's darker than darkness. <laughs> Someone <laughs> absolutely made up stuff. Explosion! Uh. Okay, no messages. We move on. Chat, when the PlayStation set of play was running, um, we were diving over and over again onto new servers uh, with the Skeleton Voyage, uh, or the X marks the Spot Voyage, and just checking the islands for, uh, for messages. And we didn't find a single one. <laughs> like, they're so rare in the raw, it's crazy. What's up, DJ? A man of culture? Absolutely. Absolutely. Any other common super enjoyers? Have you played Subnautica? I, I watched a playthrough of it. I did not play it myself. Imagine Chess of Wonder Secrets. That's a goal. Hey, good luck with that, Jones. What's up, Fungus? Hey, appreciate that, Eric. Glad you enjoyed the content. Uh, I do not need this help. Oh. Yeah, I didn't even get a chance to curse dump them. Oh, man, that sucks. I just realized I have a whole bunch of curses I could have used if the stupid skelly ship didn't show up. Yes, I'm still salty about that. Uh, nom nom. All right, where the heck I am? Uh, we do glowstone, brimstone, flames, and roaring sands. Northeast. Oh, where the volcano is. Sec. Like, you have the skelly curse? I only have the golden skelly curse on my alt account, but I don't like to brag about it. Two things I would accept as an apology from Rare um, for sending that skelly ship after me in middle of combat would be either a box of wonder secrets or the shard of ghost. Rare, your turn. Uh, I've not counted the amount of balls we found in the game. We found a decent amount. In fact, we got to sell the vast majority of our loot. I'm pretty sure our ship was empty when we got attacked. Yeah, it was empty. We were picking up merchant supplies. Um, when we got attacked. We literally didn't even have anything. You're questing the war? I'm looking for messages in the bottle. I'm not happy about it. Are those cannons? I think those are from last season's plunder pass. Ooh, sheesh. The merchant grind never ends. It ends at level 500. Chat, if I had ever found the Shard of Ghost, you would have seen it on my channel. So before you ask yourself that question, before you, before you ask me that question, just check my channel. The best piece of loot you ever found? Uh, I don't know. I don't actually know. 
you find a lot of the same stuff. Make the immersion world fun again was the best thing where it's done in a while. Real. Hey, thank you for the kind words, Finn. Thank you for the content. Are you looking for bottles? Because they're really good now. They changed them, they buffed the loot. And they're really good now. Okay, chat. So you know how I always say, um, don't keep your anchor down when you go on an island? There's one exception to that rule, and that's when you're in the Devil's Roar on a small island with a volcano nearby. Um, so it's happened to me more than once that I was on an island, a tremor begins, and then a pancake hits my, my boat. And what happens is that your boat keeps drifting further and further and further away. And I couldn't get there in time to save my ship. So, because of that very traumatic experience, I tend to leave my anchor down uh, when there's an erupting volcano nearby. Just so he can't drift away. I'm a scout child. X marks the spot. Let's not keep it too close so it doesn't get stuck on anything. Like here, I think. Can you just use the harpoons to anchor your ship? Nope. Because uh, if you don't hold R on them, they will let go eventually. I knew I was going to. But we got cooked food, man. So now we actually have cooked food. Excellent. What's the next island? It's just due west. And there's a volcano over there. It's like. Relax, please. Volcanoes everywhere. Is the guild emissary worth using? I mean, depending on what you want to do. I just do it because I'm not hard sending a faction. I would usually just rather run uh, a single faction emissary. That tends to be better bang for my buck. Um, but because we're just doing messages today, I'm okay with it. My favorite island is Sea Dogs Rest. Hey, let's go, Eric. Have you ever kept fish? Yeah, for the when I was uh, grinding up levels for Hunter's Call. How's the quest for mill going? We are halfway through. We got half a mill in one day. Uh, we are level 30 uh, Order of Souls. And next stream on Twitch, we're gonna finish it. So yeah, there was uh, three days, three sessions, to go from zero on a brand new account uh, to owning your own ship and having a million gold. I think that's pretty good. And it's like easily replic replicable for any new player. Besides the PvP thing, but we address that. I want to level up my order MSA, what voyages would you suggest? I haven't done all of them, so it'd be disingenuous of me to like pretend that I'm an expert. Really, the only faction I've done good testing on is uh, Merchant, because that's the first one I, I hot sent to 100. Uh, but for Order of Souls, low key, I just do uh, Ash and Winds raids most of the time. Though I do enjoy the boss uh, skull quests. Thank you. 
thought the roll wasn't that bad until I tried doing the Athena's quest for the Ash and Chest of Legends. Uh, now I have PTSD. You're finally on the right side of history. Don't listen to all these uh, Devil's Roar apologists. This place is awful and I hate it. But I will say uh, I get attacked far less frequently in the Roar because PvPers don't usually like coming here. So when we had that one day, literally yesterday, um, when we had just non-stop fights and even when we sunk them, they just kept coming back. When we had that day, uh, after like four and a half hours of non-stop PvP, I said, okay, screw, we're going to the Roar. And then for four, for the remaining four hours, we only got attacked once. So like, if you want to break from PvP, your best chance is the Devil's Roar, I feel. But then you have to deal with a Volcanoes. So good luck with that. It's funny when you lead an a galleon to an active volcano. It's funny that they would like fall for that. <laughs> that they would follow you all the way out here. What's safer seas? Now safer seas is the trash uh, for making progress on anything. Because you are capped to level 40 and also you only have 30% of the rep. Are the gold for the ledgers good? I have not checked. <laughs> nah, mm -mm -mm. hate that. Like this, do not like that. Uh, the shovel is trash. The speaking trump is pretty good. Tanker is neat. Bucket looks good. Yeah, I know. I just feel like merchants far and away the best classmates in the game. What are you doing? Uh, making people read the title of the stream. <laughs> Play any other games? Not right now. Ever doing Legend of the Veil Voyage? Flack, I literally have a video on that. In fact, I've done it in multiple videos. I've had it happen to me as well, Kanekin. One time, uh, it wasn't a custom server. I was trying to set up a thumbnail in the roar. Uh, so I, I, I was like, oh, screw I can't choose my spawn location. I'll just be on a brigantine. Like, just zoom on over there, whatever. It's going to be fast, right? Fast trip in the game. Just before Moro's Peak... I get krakened and hit by a volcano. I'm just like Ulta 4. I'm not I'm not working on this thumbnail anymore. <laughs> this thumbnail can go effort F itself. I'm not doing this. Oh, don't tell me what to do. Uh. Chat, if there's one thing some of you need to learn, it's just like ba not even stream etiquette, just like basic human decency. Like, don't go into a person's stream and, like, and pretend like they're your entertainment monkey. Go do this, tell me that, say this, say the line streamer, lul. Like, be more respectful than that. Jesus Christ, can't be that hard. I have, like, a zero tolerance policy for people that are annoying. And some might call me petty, but I always see it like that, right? It's not my job to teach people how to behave. That's your parents' job. And if your parents did a bad job, I shouldn't have to suffer the consequences, so get the hell out of my stream. Uh, no message. Nope. Your video on Merchant Grinding got me Pirate Legend yesterday? Let's go, Harry. Let's go. What was your first experience in Sea of Thieves? The first time you played the game? Literally, that's in my Pirate Legend video. <laughs> that's literally the first time I played Sea of Thieves. You can see the tutorials pop up. It's my Pirate Legend video. From Swap, was it? From Swabby to Pirate Legend or whatever? What did I call it? It's literally one of my most viewed videos, if not the most viewed video. Second most. From Sailor to Pirate Legend in 100 days. The first part of that video was my very first session. But it's only 100,000 views behind Hunting the Rarest Megalodon. 4 million and 3.9. That's crazy, though. Cheers. Hell yeah, gamers. And hey, what's up, Lux? How do I get better than at PvP? Uh, by doing more PvP. Get better at everything the more you do it. If you want specific tips, uh, check out blurbs. 
blurbs on Twitch and YouTube. He has uh, a lot of PvP guides for solo players. You need more subs with those views? Subs are pretty meaningless. Subs don't make me any money, views do. I could have a million subs and get 10 views, you know? The views are what's important. How do you even do ledgers? You just raise an emissary flag. Uh, your... The loot you sell with your emissary flag gives you emissary value and it just adds to your ledger. Hey, what's up, Myth? Thanks for the five dollars. Learned so much from these streams. I used to be bad pirate game. Now I'm filthy rich and can't keep away the ladies. <laughs> okay, Myth. We literally talked about you teaching me how to PvP. They know. <laughs> Chad, this is this is a paid paid advertisement. <laughs> oh my god, thanks for the five bucks, man. Uh, once again, because there was like mid-fight, uh, Daryl as well as Kayuba, thanks for the five bucks each as well. Sorry if you're not here uh, anymore. Riveting gameplay. <gasps> Wait! At long last. God damn it, rare! Ugh. I keep getting the merchant garbage. It's so fr- It's the one that you don't want. Out of all the things you can get, that's the one. The one that you don't want. Damn it, man. Chat, don't get too attached to yourself. Chat, I need you right now to not get attached to yourself. Jiggle physics. We're definitely not taking that. Uh, six crazy name of a frick and the one crazy. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. I will not do that. Where's my ship? Oh, there it is. You keep making me look when you say that. That's the whole point. That's the whole point. I learned that from uh, Josh Strife Hayes. <laughs> so Darcy. How do you get that new loot? Play for three hours and never got it? Uh, this? I, you, I just found random skeleton captains. And those are their heads. Uh, but also, message in a bottle. Also, shipwrecks. That's basically all the place where you get it. Southeast! Onwards! Hope that the volcano doesn't break out. You keep making me look when you say that. Hey, what's up, Jimmy? Could be going better. <laughs> Just got run up on by a duo sloop and then a uh, skelly ship showed up for the assist. That was a little frustrating. But it is what it is. I just, uh, well, that's what COTs is sometimes. Oh yeah, now that you mention it. Oh no, never mind. It's it's not actually weird. Uh, you get the Ashen variety from uh, Ashen Captains. So it doesn't matter. If you're in the Roar, if you find regular Captains, regular Skull. If you're in the Shores of Plane, then you find Ashen Captain, you get Ashen Skull. Uh, can I get a thing with those six euros? Super chat. Gotta go now. Have a nice evening. Plus, we love Jiggle Physics. Thank you so much. I'll see you on Twitch. And thanks for the six bucks. Find the last tall tale, Lords of the Sea. After that, I'm 100% done with all tall tales. Let's go. Let's go, dude. Gaming. Chat, I want to do a little test. Uh, Exodus, thanks for the 4 dollars These streams are so informative, my pockets are full, and the ladies are leaving me food for my kingly treasure hoard. GG, easy. 
Chat, don't believe them. <laughs> don't believe them. Even I wouldn't fall so... I would stoop so low for that clickbait. Trust me. My tips will not get you all the ladies. I can't get any ladies myself. <laughs> Entirely maidenless. Don't believe them. Thanks for the 499 Exodus. All right. Surely this is where you find a message in the bottle, right? Surely. Good feeling about this one, chat. I believe him? Oh no, it's working. Oh no, it's working. Fireworks. Winkies. Mm, looks like a skull over there. Started watching Cliff and I grew three inches. Listen, man. People don't need to know that you're into me. We can keep that to the DMs, okay? <laughs> people don't need to know that. <laughs> uh, please, God, give me one message in the bottle, please. One that isn't merchant garbage. I'm begging, bro. Why are you in the, in the roar? Uh, it's it's my default location I go to uh, when I'm trying to stay away from PvP. Which has been happening. Yeah, you know, it's one of these things of like, you know, if I had a if I had a penny, if this happened every time, I'd have two pennies. Which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it happened two days in a row. <laughs> Sean, thank you for the five dollars. Watch your videos for years, first time joining the live stream, and suddenly I can't keep the ladies away. John, stop! <laughs> Guys, stop lying! No! Watching my stream does not get you laid. Stop it. Oh my god. Thank you for the five bucks, John. Uh, 90 chance of fortune grind when? I'm at like 39 or something like that. Um, I should have done the more when it was in the FOTD. But I just didn't... I wasn't feeling like it. Um, but I know that Toxie has some videos on that particular grind. Are you loaded in Sea of Thieves? Uh, I got 16 million, so you decide. I love that this is now a thing. Oh my god, it's only a thing if you make it a thing. No joke, I started watching you, now I have a GF. Yo, is she single though? <laughs> you can't tell me that's how that works and I can't find one myself, dog. That's not fair. Maybe doing the maiden voyage can help you with the maiden problem. <laughs> I hate you guys. Oh, uh, bless you, Sia. Um, Alright, Devil's Thirst, Northeast. Sharing is caring, not no relationship. <laughs> well, not, you know, you don't want to share your partner with other people, unless that's what you're into. I guess, to each their own. Uh, not something I would want to do. You gotta start watching your own stream. <laughs> okay. On the contrary, ever since I started playing, I lost a girlfriend. You know what? That makes sense. That makes sense. As a CFDs player, not getting any maidens. First actual married stream starring Cliff? Bruh. I'm about as far away from marriage as it gets. Devil's Thirst? Yeah, because I'm thirsty. Drink some water, damn it, chat. <laughs> What's up, Benjamin? Welcome back. God damn it. Got me some slack rare. My ship is literally named Maidenless Voyager. I've seen that one a couple times. Pretty good one. And I'm getting screwed by waves. Okay, dude. Okay, 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 he just gets to turn like that, I guess. What's up, please? Thank you. He's just like, nope. F this, uh, I'm out. Eat. Been watching for 10 minutes, now I have a wife and two kids and a house. A house in this economy? We Devil's War stacking on Saturday? I'm down. You know my stipulation. I'm down to do whatever you want to do in the Devil's War. 
uh, as long as we also do message quests. When we, when we find them, obviously. What's your favorite faction? Uh, Reaper. Well, for gameplay, it's Reaper, because you can sell all the loot for uh, maximum profit at one place. Uh, but I think Merchant has the best cosmetics. That's not close enough to hit me, right? Surely. What's up, Liam? Alright. Checking the Beatrice. Wait, they posted in the group chat. What's up? I was just birdie complaining about taxes, which honestly, same. You get worse ball requests as Reaper? Okay, shut up. <laughs> That's not a thing. First time watching the stream, now three people are calling me their girlfriend. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I got a crusty bottle. I don't want these. I don't want these. It's a treasury at least. I guess. Yeah, screw this. Mm -hmm. Man, I'd be done with just... Just give me one x Marks spot bottle, please. I'm begging. I'm desperate. My girlfriend started watching this stream and now she's a lesbian. Okay, chat. If you want to, if you want to have me read any more of these, you're gonna have to do that via super chats. I'm, I'm not indulging this. I'm not indulging this clickbaitery. I am the one who clickbaits. Let's see. God damn it! Even the chests are disappointing. Do you think I should add more ships into the game, especially more gimmicky ones like on the cannon in the front, different tier like that? I would like new variations of existing ship sizes, but not. Like, bigger ships. I, I think there's no point to bigger ships. In the current state of the game, where it can't even handle, like, more than five ships on the server. The videos make me happy? You you watching my videos makes me happy. Thank you. Guys, I'm in chemistry. Do any of you know how to draw a Lewis dot structure for CO2? I literally don't even know what that means. I'm called drop out. Good luck. <laughs> I cannot help you. And what's the best way to level up Reapers without PvP? Uh, PvE. <laughs> Reapers are like actually not the de facto PvP factions. The servants of the flame that are the PvP faction. Uh, just do world events. Raise Reaper, world events, and I hope you don't get attacked. And if you do get attacked, sink them. LOL. Forehead. I say that after having just lost the fight, but. You know what I'm saying. J I wish I could jam us, but cannons are literally my weakest point as well. <clears throat> I'm very, very bad at cannons. Got a ball quest for lookout point yesterday with an eight chest on it, but lost it because I didn't realize you lose ball quest when you dive. It literally tells you though. It literally gives you a warning, like, hey, you're gonna lose all your merchant quests. The game tells you. Oh, that's frustrating. Eight digs on lookout point? That sucks. Uh, Wash, thank you for the $10. Left my dog along the room with the stream on, uh, came back, and now there's a female dog here. <laughs> okay, dude. <laughs> okay, dude. <laughs> thank you for the $10 super chat. <laughs> oh my god. You guys. You should watch Fuzzy Bones and how to aim with cannons, yeah, that, that didn't do anything for me. <laughs> I don't learn uh, via tutorials. I learn uh, by doing things. Literally, in the like, few days of practicing with Mifu, I got better at PvP than like, watching any guides could have ever done for me. Uh, Heather, thanks for the two pounds. Keg my bro, keg from Caleb. Don't know what that means. Thanks for the two pounds. <laughs> Pyro with the five dollars. Second time watching the stream. I had a wife, two kids, a house, went through a divorce, remarried, and grew old with her. Pyro, I don't have time bending powers. It doesn't work like that. 
What? Thanks for the five dollars. It doesn't work like that. Just recently discovered your channel and this game uh, I thoroughly enjoyed because of, because of them now. Hey, I'm so happy to hear that, John. Glad to hear you're having a good time. Go pick a fight with someone now. Become our PvP sweat lord. No, that's bad for my brand. No, I'm supposed to be the everyman. My gameplay is supposed to be representative of the average player. If I get too good at the game, people can't relate to me anymore. I can't do that, chat. Actually, I have bombs for AI, I guess. Bet you won't read this message. Bet you owe me a Twitch Prime sub right now. Wait, this is YouTube, damn it. Apart from fishing, what's the best way to get reputation? What do you mean apart from fishing? Fishing is a horrible way of getting reputation. <laughs> you mean with the Hunter's Call? I literally made like three videos on the Hunter's Call on us getting reputation to rank 50. Check this out. Thanks for the content. You're the reason CFT has become my favorite game as of late. Hey, I'm so glad to hear that, Pyro. And thanks for sticking around. What do you do if the average player gets worse at the game? <laughs> it does sometimes feel like that <laughs> in Sea of Thieves. But it's not because people get worse, it's just because Sea of Thieves cycles through uh, players uh, at like an alarming rate, I would say. There's always new players coming in because of Game Pass. Um, we just gotta stop people from like wanting to leave. Origami, thank you for the five dollars! I want my name up here too. Well, now you can. Thank you so much for the five dollars. Guys, thank you so much for all the love today, I really appreciate it. All the support, both uh, just, you know, mentally, just leaving nice messages, I really appreciate that. Financially as well. You guys have been really kind to me today with all these super chats. It's been surprising, but like in a good way. <laughs> thank you guys. <laughs> What's up, Bonbon? Stream on YouTube is blowing up today. Yeah, this is, uh, I mean, it's one of the longer ones, right? I will try to do this more frequently. Um, we're still going to be on, on Twitch most of the time. Uh, but I'm going to try to stream every time that I don't have a video. So, you know, depending on what you consider best or worst case scenario, you might see me once a week here. Hey, what's up, Mason? Much love right back to you. I'm so disoriented here already. What's your ship's name? Uh, the Gilded Horizon. Dude. I did not know that I play this music in the, in the shipwrecks. That's, I love this music. That's so good. Okay, the loot, however, is trash. Message in a bottle anywhere? No? Hmm. Man, the loot was really trashy, huh? Level three. Unlucky. How many hours you can see of these? About 800. See, this music is gone here. Any Kraken encounters? N not today. Not today. Bro is fluent in Riz? Bro, I wish. Uh, Carmichael. The thing is, I, I don't have like a set streaming time. So it's like, sometimes I stream like early in the day, sometimes I stream midday, sometimes I stream evening. I just kind of like, what works for me, I don't really have a schedule. So... <laughs> you know, whatever time zone I'm, I'm in, I, I can't really promise a stream at a certain time right now. How much gold do we have? What, 16 million? I do not like these guys. I ship a little bit here. Yeah, Krakens do give you loot. 
but not very good loot. They're not usually worth the time to kill. Because the loot is very disappointing. And we said this before, but I wish like with all the all the touch-ups they've done on existing content, on like old content being relevant again, uh, it would have been cool to see. Uh, the loot drops from sea monsters being worth it. Alrighty. Kevin! I just got here, but I thought I would like to know that you make some amazing videos. Hopefully I see you on the sea someday. Thank you so much for the $49.99. That's a massive super chat. Thank you so much, dude. Yo. I'm glad you enjoyed the content. Man, that's... <laughs> I, mean, I don't even know what to say. I don't know why people are, like, throwing money at me. I, I appreciate it. I wish I had something to, like, give in return. But I mean, we're working on the emotes. To be fair, we're working on the emotes. So hopefully, uh, that's gonna be a thing soon. The 99 is crazy. <laughs> Another PvP crate? I guess I'll take it. Ballast Ball? I think the chat is us giving back to you. I mean, oh man, this is gonna sound so dumb and cheesy, but it's like the most valuable resource you can give somebody is your time, in my opinion. And you guys deciding to spend your time being here is actually very meaningful. And also, oh man, I, I always I always say that like when I have the choice between taking money from my viewers or taking money from advertisers. I will always default to taking it from advertisers because they don't need the money, right? I, I don't feel bad taking money from them. I do feel kind of bad taking money from people. Um, so I try to provide something of value in exchange, and it's always a bit awkward for me uh, when I get, like, <laughs> donations like this. And I, I don't have anything to give, right? Because, like, as far as I'm concerned, you've already thanked me for the videos I make by watching the videos, right? I make money off the ads. Um, my channel grows because of the watch time, and to me, that's like, that's, that's fair, right? You, you give me your time by watching the content, I make more content. And as long as I can remain ad-supported, I can continue providing that free content. So, these donations is like really, genuinely, like you guys going above and beyond, to a degree that I would never expect. And I think I shouldn't expect, because that would be conceited. Which sales are those? Those are the Merchant Ambassador sales. don't take money from viewers, you're getting generous donations. I mean, it's kind of the same to me. Also, chat, make sure you stay hydrated. Drink your water. Water's good and important. Pyro, with another $5 super chat. You will take our money and like it, it fu funny pirate man. Just decide you really deserve this, even if you don't think so. Oh, man. 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 You guys go from, like, troll troll donation comments to, like, actually wholesome comments. Thank you, guys. Uh, I'm currently using the guild emissary. Wash with another $10 super chat. You are giving back. Have you seen all the relationships you create? <laughs> okay, Okay, those, those are the messages I was expecting. <laughs> Thank you for the $10. Thank you for the 5 pyro. I don't like that this tremor is happening right now. Yeah, I'll just uh, do this real quick. If the action goes, let's go, funny rad. Hell yeah. I haven't cracked in half a year. We did get cracked recently on Twitch.television. 
You stream on Discord too? No, I, I, I stream on Twitch. Not right now. I don't do multi streaming. Another crossed ball, are you serious? It's a shrine too. Gross. Uh. Whoop. Damn, I don't want the crossed ones. See ya, come over here. See ya. Girl, where are you? Come over here. There you go. I know you, I know you don't like it here. I know. I know. Can you wait here while I kill this guy? Eat. Eat. And eat. Calculate. Oh, speaking of calculated. Ow. Chat, this is why I never want to be in the roar. I mean, I never want to be in the roar, period. But I never want to be in the roar without uh, overheal. Uh, you take so much just, like, random environmental damage. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme. God. <sighs> okay. But end here to the left. I'm mean, on YouTube. My brain was trying two things at once. Yeah, uh, I'm trying to make this more the thing now. Can I send a super chat because I lost the bet, but it's not working for me? Hey, don't worry about it, Daniel. You don't have to. It's absolutely fine. Whoa! Whoop. There we go. <laughs> Team Rocket Simulator? Seriously, yeah. Yeah, honestly, Pyro, you're right. I love when the PvE PVs itself. Some would call it EVE. Environment versus environment. The boom punch. Oh, okay. We are actually almost ranked five already. I just realized that did not take very long. Never mind, it's rank three. I'm a robot with three and a half. I thought we almost ranked five already. I was like, this did not take long at all. That's because we're not there yet. Rank. Like, mind you, we're doing this with literally no voyagers. We're just going from island to island, seeing what we find. At the catches uh, cliff stream, uh, this channel's what convinced me to give CRTs another chance. Keep up the great content. Hey, I hope you have a good time, Jinzo. We have a good time in the game. Are you Jesse or James? I'm definitely James. Definitely James. I'm not smart enough to be Jesse. <laughs> Your favorite and least favorite specific items and um, specific enemies in Sea of Thieves. <sighs> I hate the phantoms and I despise the crawlers. And I'm fine with the skeletons. The skeletons are okay. Any variety of skeletons is usually okay. At 799 Australian from Stupid Spider. I bet you're not stupid. I bet you're probably really smart. Literally you've been fishing in game while watching the stream. Your stories make fishing a little more ex exciting. Going to bed now. Good luck with the stream. Thank you so much for hanging out. I uh, hope you got some good catches and have a good night. Thank you so much for the super chat. Chat, say good night to stupid spider. He's meowed the brain behind everything. Yeah, okay, dude. Uh, sheep, thank you for the tier one membership. Welcome in. Hello. Should they make uh, pets be helpful interactions like helping sniff out with treasure, etc.? That'd be interesting, superhuman, uh, but then they would have to make them attainable through gameplay. Because right now you can only get them in the store. Um, and that would be like pay to win, basically. Which, to be entirely clear, I'd be fine with that. I'd be super down if we had some basic pets that we can acquire with gold or doubloons, whatever. I'd be super down with that. I just don't think that's what Rare wants to do. Is Chrome here? Yes. <laughs> What's up, Shadow? <laughs> Another Ashen Guardian. Fight me, coward. Which, uh, which trading company should I level up? I mean, whatever you whatever you like. There's always two things uh, in choosing a trading company. It's like, 
Number one, what are you trying to get out of the trading company? And number two, what do you feel like doing? You know, the voyages are different for the different trading companies. So, if you prefer one kind of voyage over another, pick that. Or, like me, uh, I do a lot of merchant stuff because I really enjoy the merchant cosmetics. So, I do a lot of merchant stuff. That's how I would always choose. Especially because there's only cosmetic progression in, uh, in Sea of Thieves. Choosing something based on how cool it looks is very viable. Uh, yo, Vince, I just uploaded a video on me hitting level 100 in the Merchant Alliance. And I do drop some tips on what I think are good ways of uh, leveling up. Not necessarily the fastest ways, but things that I consider good ways. I really like the video, so I hope you like it as well and you can take some tips away from it. Where do you see Ashen Key? Uh, on this chest. So, chat, they changed how Ashen Captains work, where they will drop a key and they will drop a map, and the map will always give you a chest for the key. So that didn't used to be like that. You used to have to find two different Ashen Captains, one the key master and one for the for the chest. But now you will always get both from one. So just pick up the, the skeleton orders. You will get the key uh, just from killing the guy, and then you have the chest. Uh oh nope. Here we go. What do you think about the merchant raid voyages? I mean, I, I like all the raids, just in general. I enjoy that raids are a thing now. And I do outline my thoughts in the aforementioned video. Favorite cosmetic? For sentimental reasons, uh, the merchant pathfinder sales. Because I got these when I did the video, uh, was it All Out War? Was it All Out War? I think it was All Out War, let me check. I'm gonna get ads on my own videos, am I not? Yep, I definitely am. <laughs> okay, I'm pretty sure. Final episode of 2020, yep, uh, All Out War. Because it was so much, so much happened in my attempt of getting those sales, I would say Merchant Pathfinder. My favorite. Okay, uh, north. Is an ashen winds all the way in the distance? Whoa. Do you like the Athena voyages? Uh, the only Athena voyage I enjoy is Legend of the Veil. And I wish they would let you turn off the damn narration. <laughs> skip the dialogue. That's the only thing I don't like about it. And also the suds part. I always skip suds. Uh, but I, I love it conceptually. I love that there's like different modules. And the modules that are there with the exception of suds are really fun. So I think Legend of the Veil is like the best voyage in the game from a fun perspective. And it also gives you a really good amount of money. Isn't it safe if you put all your stuff inside? Yeah, but it's faster to unload like that. The thing is, if you put your stuff inside, like, here's the thing, right? Let me put this downstairs. So this is here, where nobody can see it, right? Um, now I'm at the outpost. I'm ready to harpoon my stuff. I'm like, oh no, I need to move all of my stuff. So here, as a solo player, I'm like... Right, here's number one. <clears throat> Going back down. So uh, here's number two. Okay, let me just do that uh, two more times. Uh, you get what I mean, right? Like, this is gonna take ages as a solo player. So that's why I keep it up here, so I can just harpoon it very quickly and easily. Hey, thank you, Richard. Glad you enjoyed the content. And welcome to the stream. Boom, boom, boobies fall. <laughs> see how you're always in the way, god damn it. Uh, what do I see? Mermaid statue? I don't really care about that. Uh, you stream on Twitch too? Yeah, but not simultaneously. 
my CPU is broken and it cannot handle the load of uh, dual streaming. So I'm only streaming on one platform at a time. But yeah, you're right. Usually I'm on Twitch most days of the week when I do stream. I don't stream every day of the week. But, uh, now I'm on YouTube as a replacement for the video. It's a good idea to take Reaper's chest as a solo player. I mean, if you can sell it quickly. Um, people rarely chase Reaper chests anymore. It's not really a thing people do all that often. So I, I don't think, like, if you already have a Reaper Emissary up, right, that, that's when the Reaper chests are really worth it. Uh, if you already have the Reaper Emissary up, I don't think picking up a Reaper's bounty makes it, like, any more dangerous. Just feel free to do that. As far as I'm concerned. Your mileage might vary. Any tips on PvP? The best tip I can give you is to check out Blurbs. <laughs> I'm not very good at PvP. Uh, Blurbs is, and he has a bunch of guides on YouTube, and uh, also gives tips when you ask him on stream. Uh, you might want to restart cities in like an hour. We're approaching the 7.30 hour mark. Uh, we don't because my PC crashed five and a half hours ago. Another Mermaid Surgery? Brad, thank you for the $10. Super chat. Cut live stream. Love you, work, Cliff. Been enjoying the videos throughout the journey to Pirate Legend over the last year. Thank you for all you have done for the COTs community. Thank you for watching. I feel like saying what I have done for the CFTs community is kind of overstating my impact. <laughs> I make videos primarily for people that don't play the game or haven't played the game yet. My videos aren't usually like super targeted at existing players. So I don't think my impact in the CFTs community is as high as you give me credit for. But thank you so much for the uh, super chat. I appreciate that. Okay. Uh, no messages. And we're probably going to get an eruption, so we might want to leave. Sooner rather than later. We're almost done checking all the beaches. Come on, let me run. I can't say the JoJo phrase because I don't want YouTube to demonetize me thinking I say something that I didn't say. Smokey. Run away, Schmooky. All right. Tick. Come on. Where do we go next? I might want to skip. I can't. Fl I can't skip Flintlock. Here's the thing, chat. Flintlock Peninsula has a really great beach to land mass ratio. And we know that messages in the ball sp spawn on beaches. I hate that island with a passion. It's so big and convoluted. <laughs> but I have to go there. West by northwest. Do you need to do all nine tall tales five times with the gold cross? This is just the last one. Uh, you need to do all of them five times. I need to find all the journals. Basically, you need every single achievement for all nine tall tales. Good luck. <laughs> There's a reason I haven't done it yet. And if I'm going to do it, I'm probably going to do a checkpoint cheese. I'm not going to do it legitimately. It's too much work. Do you have any advice for new players who play? Uh, I made a video specific for new players. Uh, Skylar. It's called What to do on your first day in Sea of Thieves. It's a little outdated by virtue of the UI being different. Uh, but the messaging is still correct in that island hopping is one of the best things you can do early on. Uh, the, when you watch that video, What to do on your first day in Sea of Thieves, just... Think about one thing. What I'm showing you is actually better in the current version of the game. So the loot you get from island hopping is better than what I show you in the, in the video because it was buffed. Um, however, I'm also working on a new video specifically for new players, which is called From Zero to One Million Gold. Um, and that's a work in progress. Give me a couple more weeks uh, and then I'm going to have to lie. But that is going to be the video you want to watch as a new player on how to make your first fortune. What's command for, uh, for that video? I don't think we have any commands on the YouTube stream. Are you in the raw? I'm looking for messages in the bottle. Do you find messages commonly never find them when looking for them? I feel the same, Jack. It's like when I don't look for them, I find a bunch of them. When I do look for them, not as much. We still found a decent amount. Dragab, thank you for the tier one membership. Welcome to the crew. Thank you, thank you. 
I've been talking so much the past like six hours. <laughs> I need to drink more water. Oh boy. Is there a specific setting for the Sea of Thieves to be for the Sea of Thieves to be good at the game? No. <laughs> There's no setting to be good at the game. Absolutely not. It's just becoming good at the game. Which I have not done. Hey, see you around, Demara. Thanks for dropping by the YouTube stream. I'll see you on Twitch. Why did I get an ad? Okay, so this is confirmation, I guess, sheep, that... How does buying a membership not remove ads? That's so weird to me, man. It makes membership so pointless for me right now, because I don't have any good emotes. My emotes aren't done yet. If you activate a voyage but not do it, you get more messages and bottles as you would be doing a voyage and searching for them. Mmm. Trying to psychologically uh, manipulate the video game. I like that. Ad revenue needs to happen. I mean, the, if somebody pays $4.99 for membership, uh, then that person has, in bold terms, that person has made me more money than they would ever make off of ad revenue. Because one view is like a fraction of a cent. It takes thousands of views for ad revenue to become relevant. So, if one again, if one person pays four ninety nine for membership, I would absolutely want for them to not get any ads, like have a better experience, you know. That dead Dutch, oh man, I know that just kind of upsets me. It's not those. It's another one of these decisions I just don't understand. Outside of YouTube. Play us an ad, give us an ad break. Okay. I mean, Zobrat said it, so I guess I'm gonna run an ad right now. If you wanna have complaints, uh, direct them with him. <laughs> Inserting ad. <laughs> it's not my fault. I wash my hands of this uh, responsibility. <laughs> Benji! Is that the Benji that I think it is? I'd much rather spend my time watching content I like than ads, and I believe paying for things in which I find value. Good luck, have fun. Thank you so much for the donation! I don't know what currency that is, but thank you for giving me a hundred of them. I appreciate that. And I'm honored that you would consider that valuable enough to spend money on. Where's my- are you not- do you have YouTube Premium? Because I have YouTube Premium. I'm running the Guild Emissary. Adds up literally two seconds. Well, I'm not gonna make any money off that. <laughs> Chat, ads on YouTube, are, uh, YouTube streaming are so weird. When I run ads on Twitch, they literally, like, they ha I have granular control over when the ad runs and for how long it runs. YouTube has a button that says, insert ad. I don't know when it starts. I don't know when it ends. I don't know how long it is. Like, the YouTube UI needs to improve. Live with another five dollars, enjoy my one dollar per minute YouTube premium ad-free viewership. Thank you so much for- Also, Miff, stop spending money on me. You make me feel really bad. <laughs> You're already, uh, like, helping me with the content and just, like, hanging out so I don't have to be alone and play COTs on Twitch or television slash Crypto's. You don't have to spend money on me as well, dude. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, also, we got another 50 knock. Worth the money. F ads. <laughs> you guys still get ads. You- even no premium, no ad blocker. I respect it. Uh, I could not do without premium. <laughs> I, I need. I don't want to use ad blocker because that that's like disingenuous as a YouTube creator who lives off ads. Uh, but yeah, thank you for the fifty of your local currency. It's worth it. Keep up the good work. Hey, thank you so much. I keep getting baited by these. They're not real. Chat. I want to find at least one. Message in a bottle that's not merchant in the war. I'm begging. The thing is that, like, the reason I feel good about buying YouTube Premium, but I don't feel good about, um, about buying Twitch Turbo, is because when I watch my favorite creators on YouTube, they make more money off of my views. Like, substantially more money off my views because I use Premium. But when I use Twitch Turbo, my view is counted as just an ad-supported view, and I don't get the ad. 
And that sucks because, as I just told you, one person watching an ad is a fraction of a cent. So, like, I feel like on premium I get good value because I don't get ads and I support the creators that I like. Heavy Tall Tail? Um, the Trap Maker. Not a singular massage in a bottle. Ah, uh, there's not, no sheep. There's no shrines of treasures in the war. There should be! <laughs> in my opinion, there should be an Ashen version of all the content in the game. Ashen Vault of the Ancients, Ashen Treasury, Ashen Shrine, Ashen Sea Ford Rare. In short, Twitch is a scam. I mean, Twitch is also like, I don't know if YouTube is profitable, but I mean, they're running off of Google. Then again, Twitch is running off of Amazon, they're, like, they're struggling with money. Um, but yeah, Twitch is not profitable. So that's probably a reason why. I can't even open my loot because my ship got drifted away. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, is this going to stay on YouTube after the stream is over? Yes. Hello, people who watch the VOD in the future. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Love the video of the Shores of Gold. Brooke, that is my favorite video on my channel. The journey through the Shores of Gold is literally my favorite video I've ever made. Besides Reapers, which is your favorite trading company? Uh, it... Okay, Scotty. I was like, is that the player? Uh, it's gonna have to be Merchant. Uh, not for the gameplay, but for the cosmetics. I think Merchants have the best cosmetics in the game. I just really enjoy the color scheme. The, the gold and blue. Love that. A little bit of bias, because it reminds me of uh, World of Warcraft. The faction, the Alliance, which is the faction I play. Now we're rank 4. Mm. Alright. Where's our next destination? Cinder Islet in the northwest. Gonna be going around the whole ass island. It's Norwegian currency. Okay. I don't know what the conversion rate is, but thank you. Python, listen. I've not given up on finding the box of wonder secrets. Okay. Someone from Norway adopt me, please. <laughs> okay, now dude. Well, addict here agreed. Man, I always played. Uh, I always played WoW with my friend Josh, but he's a. Uh, I don't know that burnt out is the right word, but like, uh, he's kind of done with WoW right now for the season. And I don't really have the motivation to play solo, because I like doing Mythic Plus, and Mythic Plus is just way more fun with my friend. What is the guild emissary? Guild emissary is basically like a Reaper, Diet Reaper, Reaper Light. 75% of 150% um, on the rank 5. You can sell all of your loot to the sovereigns and get reputation towards all the trading companies. Except Reaper. Do you like to make friends in Sea of Thieves? I haven't ever made friends in the game, but I've made games, uh, I made friends through the game, like as, you know, in the content creating space. I joined the Discord? Hell yeah, let's go. Just make sure you read the rules. We are very strict on the rules. And we can tell when you don't read them. Hey, welcome in, Dolphin. We're just trying to find some messages in the bottom. Why do I feel like merchant items have got less expensive? Because we've become more... Uh, more loaded. 60 million gold in my pocket. YouTube crash because you watch too much. Go home. Chat, we're not ending stream until we either find a message in a bottle that's not merchant or we are rank 5. Or we get sunk, I guess. <laughs> We've got two ancient skellies back to back in the span of 10 minutes, still no shrouded. Bruh. I would trade every ancient skelly I ever found for one shrouded ghost. Who's with me? The royal pirates? I feel that, yeah. Merchants as royal pirates.
you like driving boat? I mean, the, the boat needs to be driven. <laughs> Doesn't matter if I like it or not, it needs to happen. Didn't know you stream? Well, now you do, Bloggy. Now you do. If you enjoy the stream, make sure to drop me a like. If you want to see more, uh, you can find my link in the description to Twitch. Twitch.television slash Clifterios. I've said like a million times. I feel so bad <laughs> for people who watch the VOD later. Uh, <laughs> because I repeat a lot of things because answer them, you know, and it's like three or four times. <laughs> that must be so annoying for a VOD viewer. I'm so sorry. Oh yeah, I'm trying to make it a good life experience and reply to questions. <sighs> can stay there. Don't have to move, it's fine. Oh god, there's more than one. There's more than one! Do you think CFT is a good game to stream? Dude, CFT is like one of the best games to stream. Not from like a viewership perspective, it's... it's I wouldn't say that it's super niche. It's not massive on Twitch, right? Or YouTube streaming. Um... But it's a good streaming game because it has a really good mix of like high stakes, high intensity action in the fights. Uh, but also like a really chill time to talk to chat when you're just sailing. That games are way harder to stream. Like battle royales are so much more difficult to stream because uh, there's like almost non-stop action. Like finding the time to reply to chat in these games is so much harder. Something like Overwatch. Like, I rarely, when I streamed Overwatch, I rarely got to answer chat unless I was, like, literally in, in queue. You play Helm or Cannons, or, and do you have any tips for them? Uh, I, I'm learning how to Helm, and once I've gotten a decent grasp of that, I'm learning how to Cannon. Uh, I got, you guys might have seen him before, uh, Mifu, he was in chat. Uh, and also dropping super chats for some reason. Uh, Mifu is teaching me how to PvP and I'm trying to make a video on that. So everything I'm learning, I'm gonna compile in that video because I too am not very good at PvP. So I'm trying to get, I try to get somebody on board uh, who is very good at PvP and can teach me. And I mean, Mifu is the best of these player on my friend list. He has over 10,000 hours in the game. Uh, and he's imparting a lot of wisdom upon me. So that's gonna be that video. At some point in the future, I don't know man, maybe in a month or so. <laughs> <laughs> These videos take so long to make. Uh, welcome back, Cloudy. Guys, try refreshing. Audio is fine for me right now. Oh, did it break? Whoops. Favorite One Piece arc? Uh, probably the... Aenys Lobby or... Yeah, it has to be Aenys Lobby. I was gonna say Water 7. But, I mean, there's a lot of really good arcs. But Aenys Lobby, I think, is my favorite. Still good? Alright. What's up, Francis? For me, it lagged earlier, but now it's good. Okay. What inspired you to narrate your videos like stories? Uh, that came from between... So I saw somebody do it successfully, my friend Ragtag. Um, but what really inspired me to do it myself was a YouTuber by the name Barney64. Barney makes literally, in my opinion, by far the best World of Warcraft videos on the platform. And uh, she does a lot of narration. So that's why I was like, hey, I saw Ragtag do it successfully. I really like the style that Barney has going on. Uh, let me try this myself. And so I did. True and base One Piece take? Let's go. One Piece approved. Hey, welcome back, Troll. Hey, first I'm catching the stream. The wife and I started getting into the game last year, and you're one of my, uh, you're one of my favorite content creators. I I'm very honored. Thank you so much for that form. Hope you guys are having a great time in the game. Eagle, you would you would see a video about the Shadow Ghost if I found him. With the, you know, we don't count the adventure, obviously. Hey, good luck, Justice. Get that reputation. Rollo, you mean the gutter to your game. My favorite straw hat? Uh hmm. Favorite straw hat. 
Man. I feel very strongly about most of them. So picking one favorite is like really difficult. I like Usopp's whole arc of like becoming braver. I really enjoy that. Zoro is just straight up cool. So is Sanji. Luffy obviously up there. I really struggle picking a favorite to be honest. Um, picking a favorite Straw Hat is difficult, but my favorite One Piece character period is Trafalgar Law. That is my number one. Why doesn't Rag do CLTs with you? Uh, I don't know. I haven't talked to him in a while. I think if he wanted to, to do CLTs, he would have probably told me. Or just done it. Frankly, he doesn't. You know, we're not married. <laughs> but uh, Rag just kind of does his own thing. I think most of my friends know that I switched. Um, pretty sure all of my friends know I switched from Overwatch to, to Sea of Thieves. In fact, I just recently had one of my oldest uh, friends I made on YouTube, uh, Candy Roo. I had him reach out and was like, hey, I want to try Sea of Thieves. Uh, would you mind like uh, guiding me and a friend through the experience? And I was like, hell yeah. Well, so Candy Boom, Boom Razzle and I, uh, we recorded a video together. In fact, uh, the video is already live on Boom Razzle's channel and Candy's still working on his. So you got that to look forward to. I'm going to be appearing in these videos. It was really fun. I really enjoyed um, taking new players to the Sea of experience. Kind of like reliving the excitement, you know? Hey, I found Drag Up, and thanks for dropping by. That's a Bobo? Okay, I took that personally. Hit Drag? Cool. Marry him? <laughs> Okay, dude. <laughs> I thought you and I had a thing going on. And suddenly you tell me to marry somebody else? It's kind of messed up. I thought I was special to you. Uh, what's it again? Northwest. Fetcher's Rest. Are you serious? No. Mm -mm. Nope. Not gonna let this slide. Whoa! Come on, boat! Bad boat! Damn it! Bad boat. It's gonna be fine. Just gonna circle around a little bit. Cade World event is uh, Ashen Winds. I got over 1 million loot on Saturday, but I only got to sell 500k of it. I mean, better than zero, I guess. Uh, they won't collab with One Piece. Don't think so, the Devil's Fruit would remove the immersion from the game? I don't think it would. I don't think it would remove the immersion at all. Like, did Jack Sparrow remove immersion? Did Monkey Island remove immersion? I don't think it did. I think it would fit perfectly fine. It's, it's a magical world. But magical things happen. What's the plan? I'm just looking for messages in the bottle. How do you like the Burning Blade event? You mean the, the Phantom Armada? Phantom Fleet? It's okay. It's All the naval events are very tedious as a solo player. Um, but the the Phantom Armada raid is very, very profitable, especially for merchants. Immersion be damned, give me that collab. How much money do you spend on the Uh Probably like a couple hundred. You saw that, John? That was hockey. You saw that? She was about to bite and I just looked at her. I was like, no, you're not doing this. Conquer is hockey. Got him. Got him. What's the next viral genre of games? The last one was like VRs. Yeah, I feel like, I feel like we're just now fizzling out of VR. And for a time, I thought that extraction shooters were going to be it, or like extraction games. Because Tarkov is getting more popular, and we had the Dark and Darker boom. But not so sure anymore. Dark and Darker now feels really niche. And Tarkov makes for a horrible watching experience. I'm sorry, but like, that game is so boring to watch. I'm sure it's like really fun to play, but it's one of the most boring games I've ever watched. The One Piece is real!
Uh, did we already address Avon? Wait, when did Avon drop $5? Did I miss that? Avon, are you still here? Oh no, really enjoyed being here and watching you sail. Had many laughs, but now I went to good work. Made the one be in your sails. No, okay, I don't know when that dropped. I hope I hope that wasn't too long ago. Uh, it wasn't too, too long ago, right? Avon, good luck at work. Thanks for dropping by. Uh, sorry, I don't have any alerts for these right now. I, I just completely rely on YouTube telling me that it happened. Thank you so much for the five. Oh man, I feel bad. Missing comments feels bad. Like, missing super chats, it feels even worse. It was a while ago? Oh, crap. I'm so sorry, Aiden. I'm trying, Aiden. I'm trying. Like, James, right now, with the $5, what is your hunter's call at? We're Max. We have been Max for a really long time. Uh, have you not seen... The finale of the Hunter's Cold trilogy, or saga, I've forgotten how many episodes there was. Check out the Forgotten Treasure, that's when we get max level. The Forgotten Treasure of Sea of Thieves. Okay, I gotta pay a little bit of attention to find some bottles. Man, I feel so bad. I'm a save and super chat. Yes, yeah, Spark, we're basically beach cleaning. <laughs> when it comes down to it, we're just looking for bottles, because uh, the bottle quests got buffed and they're really good now. Yeah, shipwrecks as well. You can also get them for shipwrecks. We have been checking them. Uh, I have the legendary rogue equipped. That's my favorite title because I main rogue in pretty much every game that has rogues. Don't think I'll ever finish my hunter's call. Well, I mean, I hope they make it easier in the future. I'm not one of these, like, gatekeepy people that's like, no, I had to do it the hard way, no, everybody has to do it the hard way, no. Actually, that might be a shipwreck over there. Um, I hope they add, like, you know, quests and then uh, emissary flag, etc, etc. Uh, Delta Ray, thank you for the five Canadian dollars. If there's one thing you could change about the game, what would it be? Are we talking, like, magically? Like, if I could just snap my finger and it happens, or are we talking, like, realistically? Um... Realistically, and I think Rare is already on the right path now, I would invest fewer resources into story content and more resources into the open world. Into tools, not rules. Into um, sandbox improvements, stuff like that. If I could just snap my finger and make it happen, and, you know, realism wasn't the concern, uh, I would say I would make the... <laughs> I would make the bugs disappear. <laughs> like, all the performance problems, hit registration issues, stuff like that, I would make that disappear. What's up, Yugi? Hello, hello. We love Seal Thieves. Hey, what's up? <laughs> Interesting name. Are those ball quests better than quests found in barrels? I haven't found any quests in barrels in a really long time, but they might be the same. I'm not entirely sure. But they're generally better than like regular voyagers. Chad, you've been like absolutely popping off with these super chats today. Thank you so much. No bugs, that's not magic, that's stuff from beyond real. Make the world bigger with a gigantic landmass which would work as a volcanic wasteland. Pirates did the thieving on land as well. I don't think the game can handle that, unfortunately. It's like we're not gonna get any more uh, landmasses because the game can't support it without falling apart, lagging even more. What's up, Galaxy? Why are we ye yelling? Why, why are we yelling, Galaxy? Hello! I'm old. <laughs> What's that? What's going to Uh, Hunter's Call. Hunter's Call is the grindiest faction. Do you think they plan on doing anything with the Sea Dogs Tavern? I hope so. Right now it's just kind of like, like a relic of a forgotten time. It'd be cool if they repurpose it for something. You'll find quests and barrels more than messages and bottles? Really? Interesting. How oh, the seas today? Been pretty okay. Seas been pretty okay. Uh, okay, we did bring appropriate food. Could you imagine if they added devil's fruits to the game? I would love that. Like, temporary power-ups? 
That'd be so cool. Ooh, is that a rare fish by chance? Uh, nope, it's not. Oh, you have me checking barrels as well because you told me you found quests inside. Ooh, hello there. Okay, dude. Should have emptied my pockets before coming here. Well, at least we found one king treasure. We also haven't checked captain's quarters yet. I'm max level spicy. I'm max level underscore. You have the ghost or skeleton curse? Uh, I only have the golden skeleton curse on my alt account. But I don't like to talk about it because it feels like a flex, you know? Low key, you play more this season because it's fire. I know, right? I know, right? I just want to play all the time. They are no longer voyagers and barrels. I removed them in season 11. It's in the patch lock. Okay, thank you so much, Rolf. Thank you for clearing that up. Okay, captain's quarters. And we can go ahead and I'll leave to the next island. What's up, Daniel? Give them no quarter. No captain's quarters. Not taking this. Might come back for this. I'm not sure about that. Definitely gonna take this. Hey, congratulations, Norpy. Enjoy your costume and ring. I'll be content follow you since the Shrouded Ghost video, but first I managed to see you live. Welcome in, Nick. Thanks for sticking around. So anything new except the, the King stuff and the UI change? Yes. The way we do voyages is different now. Uh, they added raid voyages. You can basically do any quote-unquote world event you want uh, on demand. Um, but they give you loot specific to your faction. So there's king loot, there's hero loot. Hero loot you get from world events, as from raids that uh, have world event clouds, basically. It's all in the video I uploaded. It's all in the most recent video I uploaded. How much is the chest worth? Without emissary, I think about 3,000, between 3 and 4,000. So with an emissary, with a gold holder emissary, um, how much would that be? 7.5k with a rank 5 gold holder? It's really good. If you could have any devil's fruit, what would you choose? Probably, um, probably laws. I think laws power is like basically unlimited by imagination. Ow. Probably go for Lost Power. I think we need more random encounters like Meg's Crack and Skeleton Ships. I think so. I would love that. Maybe not necessarily random. Not random in the sense that like they appear on you out of nowhere. But it would be cool to have like. I could leave. Uh, it would be cool to have like um, stuff to fight that's not just skeletons and phantoms. It would be cool if Reapers had the ability to, like, spawn AI merchant vessels to hunt down. That'd be neat. Have we been to Scorch Pass yet, Chad? I don't think we have, no. At least. Law is OP, I swear. I love Hunter's Call said no one ever. I love Hunter's Call because all my Hunter's Call videos do really well. Like, people really love that content. And by extension, if the people love it, so do I. Right, that's the guild emissaries then. How many role players do you get in Sea of Thieves? Not too many. Not too many. How do you keep your energy up? Uh, energy levels up whilst streaming for this long. I mean, if you look at my old streams, <clears throat> I'll be like knocked out after three hours. It just, it's something I didn't believe was gonna happen because I was always so exhausted after just short streams. Like my voice will be completely dead as well. 
but Toxy, Toxy Sinclair, a friend of mine, um, would always tell me, hey, the more you do it, you know, the more tolerance you build up. And lo and behold, I got used to streaming longer because I've been streaming longer. And that's kind of what I keep saying. It's like, whatever you want to get better at, you got to do what you want to get better at. I want to, you know, I wanted to be able to stream longer. I just had to stream longer. You know, I started with three hours, then four, then five. I actually, did more like four and a half. And then I did five. And then I, I kept increasing it like little by little. And now I can do like six to 12 hours. <laughs> what faction do you think has the most players? Uh, probably Gold Order. It's because it's, like, it's a quintessential, like, X marks the spot that people think about when they think about pirate games. Or pirate fantasy in general. By the way, chat room, speaking of 12-hour streams, um, we've done a couple shoutouts throughout the, the stream, but I know that people keep cycling in and out. Um, there is something on Twitch called Twitch Drops. <clears throat> they do that roughly once a month, where you can get free cosmetics for Sea of Thieves by watching partnered streamers. Now, I happen to be a Sea of Thieves partner, so if you join me on the 9th of February, that is when the Twitch Drops begin. You can join my Discord, you're gonna get pinged. Um, you can watch my stream and get free cosmetics. You just have to link your Twitch account and your Microsoft account, and then you can claim them as soon as you watch, I think like one to four hours, I forget. And usually for, for drops, I do like 12 hour streams. 10 to 12 hour streams. Uh, but that's gonna be over on Twitch.tv, so make sure you go to twitch.tv slash so link in the description below. And again, yeah, you're gonna get pinged on the Discord if you wanna join that, just make sure you read the rules, because we definitely can tell when people don't. And we are very strict on people following them, because as we said earlier, we have a zero tolerance po policy for people being annoying. So yeah, if you enjoy free stuff, you can get free stuff approximately once a month uh, on my Twitch channel, just by watching. And also, it is worth mentioning that, chat, when the emotes are done, um, Twitch and YouTube will get them, so it doesn't matter if you're a Twitch sub or if you're uh, uh, on a YouTube membership, you will get the emotes. Um, but Twitch will get more of them faster because I have more emote slots on Twitch. I have like, I think five or six emote slots on YouTube because I don't stream enough and you need like certain amount of paid memberships. Um, and on, on Twitch, because I stream them more frequently, I have a lot more emote slots. So there will be more of the emotes once they are done over on Twitch. How often do you stream was the first one I saw? Uh, I've been streaming like a few times a week. I don't have a schedule, but I've been streaming more because the season has been so good and I just want to keep playing. So yeah, I've been streaming like, I don't know, three to five times a week recently. Which granted, uh, I don't know if I'm going to stream tomorrow or if I'm going to uh, if I'm gonna work on the video. Maybe I'll work on the video first and then start streaming later in the day. That might be the play. But yeah. Uh, the regular live streams are gonna be on Twitch, and sometimes, like, roughly once a week, if there is no video, uh, I'm gonna be streaming here. And if I'm not gonna be streaming, I'll try to at least get a short out. How do you get the world events on demand? Uh, you just go to your quest table on your ship, you hit voyages, choose a company you want to represent, say Merchant Alliance, then you hit raid voyages. You need certain levels to unlock them, at level 40 you can do all of them. There you go. Agreed on season being good. As a new player, I feel like I'm uh, not as jaded, but I'm having a lot of fun. I'm really glad to hear that. Because me, as like a long-term player, someone who's been playing this game for a couple of years now, uh, I'm super happy with it. And I know that there's a lot of content for new players already. Uh, so this update feeling good to new players and old players is like a testament just to how good it is in general. Be gone. Hey, what's up, lobster? Welcome in. Keep it anchored for now. Don't tell me this stuff's on. It is on the tree. <laughs> like a Christmas tree. Come on, guys. Give me a break here. Give me a break. Hey, what's up, Michael? Let's see. 
between the two rocks. There's no eruption over there. By the water. Oh yeah, the new season's really good. He's just been getting combat trades recently. Where's the loot? I want treasure. Have you found an efficient way to get ballers? Unfortunately, no. I don't know of any way to, like, manipulate getting bottles. So I'm just purely relying on RNG. Um, that's really all I can tell you. <laughs> I'm just sitting around trying to find them. Good evening, Drake. Hello, hello. The best instrument? I like all of them, to be honest. Uh, I tend to default to the banjo. Classic. But I do like all of them. I'm not doing any voyages, I'm just looking for uh, messages in bottles. Okay, uh, back to Cinder Island. Oh, there's a Reaper 4 coming. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Hey, remember I said that until we sink? <laughs> it might happen sooner than I thought. My third COT shanty is uh, something like that. Uh, I don't think Kendra. I think it needs to be a company, and Guild does not count as a company. So, bro, gotta use the Admiral stuff. I mean, I like the Admiral stuff. I think it looks cool. That's southwest. Let's see if we can peek a gander. Are you filming a video? No, I'm just streaming. So, southeast. Too far away. Oh my god, I got an ad. Woo, another, bring me another. <laughs> Chat, I'm sorry, but like, when Zobrad asked me to run an ad, how do I decline? You know, it's like, if, if, I mean, if you have complaints, you can't have to talk to Zobrad. Gotta, gotta do an ad right now. <clears throat> I love when it's not my fault that the ads are running. <laughs> Ad, let's go. <laughs> They're actually going to Morris Peak. Interesting. Now oh, I got one too. That's still ludicrous to me. I hate that subscribe people get ads as well. You play here, why are you not playing in online servers? What do you mean? Huh? What? What What? what do you mean? <laughs> what, what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean not playing in online servers? Any hurdy-gurdy enjoyers? Hmm? Go fight him, you go fight him, Murn. I just saw it. <laughs> Listen, PvPers don't gen generally enjoy going to the roar. And if I want to have a chill stream where I can talk to chat, the, the roar is usually why I default to. Fuzzy just released a video for stacking uh, the messages. Mm, I might have to watch that. If he found a good way, then I would definitely be interested in finding that out. Gonna pull out the rowboat strat, real. Real, true, and based chatter. Agreed. The roar is ugly. Not as ugly as the wilds. Alright, this I, I can feel it, chat. This is where it happens. This is where we find the message in the bottle, the legendary message in the bottle. We get an X marks the spot, and then we find the box of wonder secrets. Trust, 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 trust. Still busy, yes sir. Well it's is better? Okay, sheep. Okay, dude. There's no way you just said that. 
There's no way you just said that in my chat under my presence. Which faction do you think you'll uh, max first with the new levels? Uh, probably Gold Hoarder, just by virtue of there being a lot of Gold Hoarder loot in the game. But maybe it's gonna be um, Order of Souls, just because of like they have really good money farms. And I might make use of that. It's probably not gonna be Merchant, because you kinda gotta go out of your way to find Merchant stuff. Uh, and I don't know how much I want to do that, now that I've already done my level 100 video. I'm pretty sure we left this piece of loot here earlier. <laughs> about that. <clears throat> so anyway, you alternate between YouTube and Twitch. Uh, because, here's the thing. Not everybody uses both platforms. So some people don't want to watch YouTube streams, some people don't want to go to Twitch. And I am a YouTube main. I enjoy streaming on Twitch, just because like the whole streaming community uh, vibe that has been fostered there is really pleasant. Um, but I do feel like, you know, especially on weeks like this where I don't have a long form video, streaming and like connecting with the community that's here and they wanna be here is important. And usually I do that by the comment section, right? I would reply to comments uh, of the early birds under my videos. But if there's no video, there's no connection. So here I am now, like, hey, I don't have a video this week. Let me at least live stream. Hang on with people. Uh, that would, you know, otherwise have watched a video. Oh my god, can you leave me alone? Yeah, I cannot multicast right now. I mean, for one, it would be really overwhelming. I already struggle keeping up with YouTube chat alone because I have way more viewers on YouTube than on Twitch. Um, if I have two chats, how am I gonna reply to anyone ever? <laughs> like genuinely, there's just too much going on. Uh, but also my CPU is broken and I cannot multi-stream. I can't even stream at 40, 1440p as I would like to because uh, my PC just blue screened. So yeah, dual stream is not gonna happen, unfortunately. Just be two people, what? Found a five? Hey, let's go get it, Brixen. I mean, if you want to get it, that is. I watched someone who streams on three platforms with a pain. Here it's one message per pages. Per page. Ooh. One message per ages. There we go. Fine. We got there eventually. Three of them. Okay. Take those. Uh, I might actually bring a chest over. I have 5950X, Ryzen 9, 5950X. Your voice is so nice, thank you. Appreciate that. Three out of one moment. Yeah, they changed that in like season nine or 10. I forbore. They changed that, you can get up to three. Right, Sia? Even Sia is excited about that, right? Exactly. You tell him, Sia. It's going to cluster islands, increase probability of bottle or mermaid spawning. Cluster island. What is a cluster island? It's like a bunch of small islands. How often do you stream? Recently, I've been streaming somewhere around like three to five times a week. But most of them are on Twitch. Is this? this is the guild emissary. I'm sorry about my words that said wilds is better than the roar. The roar is still ugly though. I mean, I'm not gonna fight you on that. <laughs> the roar has like cool factor, but I wouldn't call it pretty. I, I, I get where you're coming from. Uh, but the wilds are just like so but ugly. Jesus Christ, man. This is your new favorite easy money method? It's not really easy money at all, to be honest. What did they do to the Reaper's chest? Huh? And why wouldn't they sell it? Did they hide the Reaper's chest? What are these dudes doing over there? I 
I mean, that's why I'm here right now, Lost Mage. <laughs> so I can farm bottles in peace. Basically. But the Reaper's Chest, they might- they must have hidden it, right? Okay, chat, I'm gonna take a quick bathroom break. I'm gonna be back in two minutes. Gonna run some ads in the meantime, alright? Thanks for hanging out with me tonight. I'll be right back. I'm back, gamers. How were the ads? Oh, we ran right past. Uh... What are we dealing with here? A brigantine. Clueless brigantine, huh? Did not mean to do that. Also, did not mean to run to rocks. Did you raise your FOV uh, in the settings. Have a toilet paper ad. Fight them, chat. That won't be much of a fight. One or two things hap would happen if I go there, chat. Either these guys are completely clueless new players. And I just absolutely wipe the floor with them. Or there's three of them, one of me, I get sunk. There's no in between. I, I think, I felt like you guys would know me better by now. Like you, you guys know that I usually don't fight unless I defend myself or somebody has something I want. You guys know that I'm not the go and attack everybody type. Recruit him. Okay, that's more like me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that'll be more like me. Tell you what, chat. If they are still there by the time we either get a rank 5 or we find another message in the bottle uh, when we go sell, if they're still there, we'll attack them. Okay? Nope, no shroud of ghosts yet. I get the steering wheel? Uh, I don't actually know. It's the gold leaf. Gold leaf uh, capstan. So if you just Google it, I don't know how to get it. Put all my stats in diplomacy? Yeah, pretty much. Attack or recruit? That's the question. 
But it felt so super. I wish uh, you luck on this endeavor. Also excited to finally catch your stream. Welcome in, Malachite Not Melon. Welcome, welcome. Six hours plus time before the crash. Oh yeah, the seven and a half hour crash. It's true. Well, is something I need to be wary of. Captain! Welcome back, Harry. Okay, now that I want Ashen Captains for the higher value items, I'm not getting them. Oh, it's just gonna be a PvP crate again, isn't it? All this stuff is for Order of Lost Artifacts Combination. Okay, I mean... If that helps somebody, <laughs> it doesn't help me, but... Uh, there you go! That's, that's how you get it, I guess. Selling 450 artifacts to gold hoarders. I see. Okay. Any advice for chronic solo sloopers? Sometimes you're gonna sink, sometimes you're gonna lose your treasure, and that's fine. I take L's all the time, and I am okay with it. Inherently, this game is another PvP grade. More people equals more better in this game. So, you know, don't beat yourself up over losing fights. Oh. Whoa, the raw did the raw thing. Anchor wall. I know, Sia, I know. Opinions on rocks have always been there. I love rocks that have always been there. <laughs> uh, Gorin, love you and your videos. I thank you for the kind words and thank you for giving me six of your currency. Sorry, I don't know currencies very well, but thank you. Are you still doing zero to a million? Not today. We're gonna continue that on Twitch, probably tomorrow or Thursday, or we could finish it on drops day. No, we can't, because do they do drops together? Do they do community day? I don't think they said that. If there's no multiply, we could do it on drops day. Hmm. Hmm. Um, all of these are really good cross balls, by the way. And I have so many of them. Peace ball. I'm only going to need one anchor ball if I hit. All right. Okay, little change of plans. Um, because my game is going to crash in one hour. It's a weird steam bug, don't worry about it. We need to go sell right now. That's a galleon, oh God. Now we definitely need to sell before they come over here. Better not miss the anchor ball. Uh, take all my best food. God, I'm so stacked on supplies, it's actually crazy. What's an anchor ball? It's a cursed cannonball that drops the anchor if you hit the uh, enemy ship with it. Alright, chat. I told you, one of two things is gonna happen. Either they're complete noobs and we will wipe the floor with them, or there's three of them we will lose. <laughs> Three versus one. Oh god, the galleon is actually coming over here. Oh god. I hit it here. Uh, yup. Mm-hmm. Draw a card to Valhalla. <laughs> that does not sound friendly. Uh, Sheep, thank you for another 55 of your local currency. Uh, have you ever done a fall after season 9? Love your streams, thanks for the experience. I don't remember if I have. Maybe I have. Um, okay. Changing the changed plan? We desperately try to sell before the galleon arrives. Okay, the brigantine has saw them, has seen them. Maybe they can distract them. Okay, the galleon seems to be after the brig. Hopefully, please, let me sell my treasure. Bro, I'm so screwed. <laughs> There's so many big ships. <laughs> Why can't I find other solo people? At least give me a chance. 
the brigantine is just out of here, dog. Uh, maybe they didn't see the galleon. They're just after the reaper's chest. Okay, if the if the brigantine says screw this shit, I'm out. Uh, the galleon might be like, hey, this is not worth chasing. Let's go with the sloop. I am mortified. And we gotta keep the losing streak alive, chat. <laughs> gotta keep the losing streak alive. Uh, where do you find the most color purple green ball? Uh, you get them from PvP crates from uh, Captain's Orders. That's why I got them from, I mean. You don't only get them there, but that's why I got them from. Them. Okay, do not leave anchored. Can we sell this treasure before we get run up on? I don't know if the galley has seen me yet. I mean, their ship name definitely sounds like they're for, in for trouble. What spikers are you using? It's from last season's Plunder Pass. Okay, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Just solo things, you know, desperately trying to sell my loot. Slowly and painfully. Sick, okay. I know we're not rank 5, but it's better to sell at rank 4 than not sell at all. We got a bunch of king treasure as well, which I definitely want to go towards my commendations. Alright. Alright, where's the galleon? Okay, the brigantine is probably like. Oh, yeah. Like, that's the speed of a brigantine. The time it took me to sell my stuff, they're already over here. Uh, where's the galleon? They were, like, literally coming towards us. Is that them? Is that the galley? Oh, that is the galley. I think they're coming back. I think they're coming back. I mean, now that we have no treasure on board, it doesn't really matter if we sink. Hey, let's go, iFox. I just got to sell my stuff as well. Go say hi now. Uh, if they come towards me, I will. I could curse dump them. Hee hee. Hee hee. If they give me a chance. Firebombs are good against galleons, but border defense is also important. Chat, don't try the mods. I don't want these garbage tier vibes in my chat. If you're gonna start fights with the mods, just leave. Uh, that was the guild emissary, Panda. Any reason bottles are so good, just doing it for fun? Uh, they got buffed, Nathan. They got buffed. You get king tier, you can get king tier treasure from them now. Okay, the galleon is not coming towards us, Chad. They're just chasing the brigantine. Uh, how much money do we make today? Mm, 29,000, no, 293,000. Almost 300,000 gold, just off of, off of messages and random stuff we found. Okay. Chat, unfortunately, um, I think that Galleon is just chasing that Reaper and both of them are faster than me and I don't think we have the time to catch up to them. If the Galleon was coming towards us, I'd be like, hey, let's curse dump them, see if we can make something happen. Um, but it doesn't look like they want to do that. 
I think they're just horde chasing. So we're probably gonna call it here. A semi-successful stream? I mean, the goal was just finding bottles. The copium was trying to find the box of one of the secrets on one of these bottles, but he didn't find a lot in the roar. Uh, so I'm gonna call for the stream here today. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. It's always so much appreciated. Thank you all the support. I cannot express enough how much uh, I appreciate you guys both spending your time and hard-earned money on my stream. Um, usually I'll be, I would be raiding out to somebody, but I don't know anyone who streams on YouTube for the COTs besides me. <laughs> so I'm just going to be logging out over here. Uh, thank you guys so much for hanging out. Have a wonderful rest of your day, evening, morning, whatever time of day it is. Uh, and this one goes out to Zilbrat. Jiggle Physics. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys have a day filled with the riches on the sea. And until next time, peace.